Hello, everybody. Recording live from somewhere. Lord, 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 Say hi, take your yes, you're rolling hip hop. Say J roll, just yes, you're rolling hip hop. Redefinition, say you're rolling hip hop. Say black soul, come to rock it up. From the first to the last of it, delivery is passionate. The whole and not the half of it, forecasting after map of it. Projectile and I'm blast away. Accurate assassin shit. Me and Quali close like Bethlehem and Nazareth. After this, you be pressing rewind on top of your master. This shining like an asterisk for all those that you gather. Connecting like a roundhouse from the townhouse to the tenements. Cause all my Brooklyn residents don't let heavy regiments. Don't believe, hear the evidence. We're Brooklyn. See that? Try to take it all, can't believe that. From where they said they true, yeah, to where the police were, yeah. Tell them quality, equality, go tell them what we be at. Yeah. Brooklyn, New York City, where they paint murals of Biggie and Cash we trust. Cause this ghetto fabulous life look pretty. What a pity, blunts are still 50 cents. It's intense. Street sense is dominant, can't be covered with incense. My presence felt my name is quality from the eternal reflection. People think your MC is your hand for misconception. Let me meditate, set it straight. Came to the conclusion that most of these cats is featherweight. Let me demonstrate, walking the streets is like battling. Be careful with your body. You must know karate and think your soul is bulletproof like Sade. Stop acting like a bitch already. Be a visionary and maybe you can see your name in the column of obituaries. Third grade teacher reading and talking about I knew he'd amount to Whoa, 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 whoa. Who'd have thought they was fighting? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Hold on. You're talking. Wait, hang on. It's Wednesday? You're right. It's Wednesday. Hang on. Why is the stream not. Okay, hang on. What? Wednesday wheel. There you go. With three exclamation marks. I forgot it was Wednesday. I just straight up don't remember what day it is. That's fine. But it's Wednesday! It's Wednesday wheel! My dudes! Um... Uh, 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 sorry. Talk aloud like you and RCA Get carted away with body parts and trays What a way to start your day Yo, it's like One, two, three Most have been talented quality We came to rock it on to the tip top Best alliance in hip-hop Why, oh I said one, two, three It's kind of dangerous to be an MC It's shot to pot and Biggie Too much violence in hip-hop Why, oh my hat and keep on making it. Brooklyn keep on taking it. So relax with the game and back. Red hook where we're living at. Plenty guys be struggling and hustling and bubbling. It ain't about production and what is we discussing when the cock crows, my crop grows and they want me to rock flows. Driving for perfection ever since I was a snot nose. Colossal, true original, we were apostle. Standing on the rooftop with the Zulu Gestapo. You think you the shit, somebody in the wings will force you to quit. It could be your crew, a click, or some random kid you smoke Buddha with. Consider me the entity within the industry without a history of Spitting the epitome of stupidity Living my life, expressing my liberty You gotta be done properly My name is in the middle of equality People follow me and other cats to hear them flow And assume I'm the real one with the lyrics like I'm Cyrano Still sipping with your well water imported From Pluto, 360 milliliters For all the believers in miles of kilometers Most cats cannot proceed us in the jungle with the leaders We the lions, you the cheaters A cypher who complete us as we come through your receivers You can play us and repeat us and then take us on Marita Quality just make a pussy freeze up. Think it over, ease up. One, two, three. Most have been quality. We came to rock it on to the tip top. Best alliance in hip hop. Why, oh, I said, one, two, three. It's kind of dangerous to be an MC. This shot to park and biggie. Hold your head when the beat drop. Why, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're good. We're good. Welcome to the stream. Uh, how you guys doing? Hey, how, how you guys doing? I don't know what, I don't know where that voice comes from, but multiple streams I've, I've been like, hey, how the hell you bastards doing? I don't know where that comes from. It's probably like a side character in like an earnest movie or some shit. Uh, but welcome. I'm sorry I've been busy for the last five days or something. <clears throat> I, uh, started playing, I, I, I started, well, I was playing Fallout, like original Fallout, like er earlier this month or, or whatever, last month. A and then I was playing, um, you know, New Vegas as well. A and then I started playing other kind of RPG stuff. And then I was like, why have I never played Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines? Uh, and, and now I'm playing that and also Deus Ex and, and just Immersive Sims. So now I've, I'm, you know, I'm busy. I'm very busy. But I'm back for a stream. We're doing a stream. 
I'm I'm um <clears throat> I uh I'm I'm back. And uh, tomorrow I think I'm going to be doing the dog food finally. It's been long awaited, long put off, but tomorrow I've got a bowl sitting right here full of uh all the the greats, all the temptations and and there's like begging strips, there's like snossages, all the dry dog food and cat food. And then I also have some extra weird little treats, uh, so so that'll be exciting too. Uh, not a cooking stream, just a, another me sitting here in front of my computer eating garbage stream, or at least trying it. Uh, so so that'll be tomorrow. But for today, I just want to do a little bit of you know, I just want to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of wheel, a little randomized shit. I don't know. I've changed up the wheel just a little bit from last time. There's a couple of new things. I'll show you all here. Uh, synonym for feminine. Um, that was uh, some some black star. Well, stuff and talib quality. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, thank you to uh, thank you to Milk Steak with the uh, the uh, five uh, gift milk steaks. Um, and then five bucks from Milady Class. Let me know when you finally watch uh, Across the Spider Verse. Oh, I'll mention it. I'll, I'll mention it. I, uh, I'll, you know, I don't know if it's on streaming yet, but I'll probably watch it whenever it is. I uh, didn't wind up seeing it in theaters. I did see the Barbie movie. I saw the Barbie movie, and I, I gotta say, this is a pretty not bad movie. I, I would all, I would almost go as far as to say it's like a good, it's a, it's a fairly good. I like the movie. Barbie movie was good. It was a good movie. Um, some weird theming and stuff. There was. I'm not going to pretend there wasn't the whole part of the movie where it was about women using men's insecurities against them and how that's like girl boss behavior or something. Which that I don't know if I like that. You know. Uh, but mostly, good movie, you know, uh, uh, much better than you would expect from, uh, a, a, a toy commercial. There was even this, like, I think it is legitimately might be too, a little, a little bit too smart for some people. Because some people are like, no, there's no way, this must be parody, right? And I'm like, well, yeah, it is. Like, a lot of it is. There was this, like, ad before the movie that was like this, Girl's Dream by Mattel or whatever. It was some fucking, like... You know, every girl deserves to dream big, like some fucking corporate pander bullshit. And I rolled my eyes and I was like, well, this feels like an advertisement. And and then the movie, like, I got to like halfway through the movie and I'm like, oh, that was probably intentional. Like they either knew that they were going to make like pandering garbage like that surrounding this movie or they did that on purpose. Like, I don't know. There's 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 some good stuff there and so uh, then there's that then they say the beat you off joke like 500 times and that's less good good music though but uh but but yeah i wouldn't i don't know i'd say ben shapiro has a couple of valid points but mostly it's 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 a pretty good movie i don't know i i i, I kind of want to watch that ben shapiro uh video again <laughs> like i want to see him shit on it because like a, a lot of it because i remember because up until where i stopped watching i kept being like oh is that what he was talking about oh and like <laughs> like when the narrator comes in and he he was like a little bit like ruth bader ginsburg and i'm just like first of all she's british <laughs> like i'm pretty sure that lady was american but uh let me see uh uh f five bucks from c griff 12 update on tamatoa he got kicked for drawing cp of himself and the toho girl also dead six maybe a bit oh, well <laughs> oopsie poopsie how about that um <laughs> well you know uh interesting you know we need like a, a news stinger like a da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da! alert it's the news there's more creepos <laughs> like <laughs> thank you for watching more at 11 uh, well, 11 is in five minutes. Uh, Tamatoa Gaming da no! <laughs> but what? What about Tony Sonic and his grandpa? God damn it! Oh, ask the hard questions! Um, by the way, I am going to see the fucking, uh, the fucking Neil Breen movie fairly soon. The new Neil Breen. Ask the hard questions! Get the hard truths! I killed three million people today! <laughs> like, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking for- it's the, the first direct sequel to a- 
to a Neil Breen film. But anyways, I'm putting it off. We got to do the, uh, we're going to do the wheel. Thank you to everybody. Uh, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good time. Get yourself a soda. Get yourself some cereal. I just had some Lucky Charms, you know. Uh, I, felt, I felt lied to, by the way, just slightly, because the box... I didn't get them on purpose. I mean, I wasn't going to get them, but then they were, like, on sale because the box was, like, a little dinged up. I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll get some Lucky Charms. I like Lucky Charms. They're actually pretty good. They're, they're not bad. Uh, but I... I, uh, you know, I, I, they had this whole thing on the front that was like, oh, it comes with this free snack box with a Lucky Charms thing on it. And, and I'm like, I don't need this. But then I open it up and I realize that it's like, oh, you send in the fucking thing and they mail it to you or some shit. Or you, like, go to the store. It's like some 80s ass, like, like, fucking mail order your x-ray specs from a Superman comic type of shit. And... <laughs> I just felt like, man, why can't they just include it in the box? What a shame. But, uh, let me see here. Um, oh, I'm probably gonna, five bucks for Milady Class. Yeah, I'm probably gonna see the M Mutant Mayhem. Uh, it does look good. I saw a trailer for it when I, before the Barbie movie. And, I mean, that is one where, like, you know, I get it. I mean, again, we can all acknowledge that it's a little weird that every red-headed white girl in, in, in movies is, and, like, in, in pop culture is being replaced by by black women specifically like i've mentioned this before it's not that it's ever it's never like a chinese lady replaces her it's always a black lady it's it's strange we can acknowledge that 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 april does indeed look different yes but i mean if the, if that's the big complaint against the movie that looks really beautiful and uh like it had like like the, like the first thing i've ever cared to to watch from teenage mutant ninja turtles like if that's if that's the big complaint i mean i don't know man that that i uh, that does seem a little racist. I don't know what to tell you, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that movie looks great. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I, I I hope it's nice that I saw a video that was talking. I mean, we're really still putting off Wheel of Trash, but we're gonna get into it. <laughs> I saw a video that was talking about uh, was talking about like the downfall of Pixar and how Disney kind of sucks now in terms of animation, and it was directly comparing it to uh, uh, Across the Spider or Into the Spider Verse or whatever the the first one uh and 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 how that like inspired you know like mitchell's and the machines came out and and puss in boots too and now the uh the the teenage mutant ninja turtles movie and now there's a sequel which looks even better apparently and meanwhile disney is just kind of they're just kind of still doing like what if fire and water were together like you know just very simple things people aren't really interested in anymore uh so yeah it's, it's a good series it's a good series i'm looking forward to it uh the 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 uh the the sequel to the the first one and uh and also the the mutant mayhem movie is, is looking good i gotta i gotta watch the puss in boots as well apparently the first one's even pretty good but uh, anyways we're we're finally getting into it wheel of trash and now i've updated it a little we got plushy people and mario adults an old friend we just did old friend but uh odyssey or kick we look into those mystery segment i'll leave that up to mystery chat video suggestion adult babies public freakouts and karens the list which is the cringe list we haven't looked at that in a while control alt delete we'll re read some more of the web comic uh retro youtube rants ai dickery uh, we'll, we'll do some AI fucking chat GPT shit. Deviant art and fur affinity, classic commercial. Oh, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. okay. Well, okay. Well, um, well, why are we, well, why are we purple now? Whatever. It's fine. Spin. Spin. Oh, we're doing AI. Well, well this is interesting. Now I, I, I haven't done this yet. This is going to be my opportunity to do this. I've been saving this for like a year or something. Uh, I don't know. It hasn't been that long, but, uh, uh, there's this site that does, uh, like, AI quizzes. I think Mike has done some quizzes. Jabroni Mike has done some, like, it's, I think it's called Sparkle or something. And they, they have, like, specific, specifically AI, yeah, Sparkle, a world of quizzes. Specifically AI-themed quizzes. Which, I don't know, random quiz, like, just AI, AI I guess. Ends to Z, no, this isn't the right. Chat GPT generates terrible animals. What is this? Oh, okay. Sure, sure. Yeah, this works. So, so AI nonsense will consist of. We'll do a couple of these like weirdo quizzes. Uh, I've been meaning to do this for a while. This isn't exactly what I was looking for. I th probably have it bookmarked somewhere. The what I was looking for, but um, yeah, and ends in AI to ZI. I mean, that's that's the wrong thing. AI generated art novels. Uh. 
Like, 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 what is this? Is this illegal? No peeking? Oh, oh, the whole image is hidden. Okay, can you bait? Can you name the novels based on an image? Well, of course not. That seems unlikely. But, but, uh, well, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck that one. Fuck that. The 70s songs? What is this? Name the songs. All right, we'll do this one. We'll do this one. Uh, <clears throat> what, uh, Chains of Op. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Okay, Ab Abba, what's happening? What the fuck is ha- uh, I was gonna say Chains of Opulence. What is going on? Why am I jumping around? What happened to- the uh, Okay, this is a fucked up website. Uh, Beatles songs? No, what- what? <sighs> Let me find it. I have it bookmarked somewhere. There was a specific thing I wanted to do here. Um, manage bookmarks. Yeah. 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 Yes. Um, Let's see here. Sparkle. You know, I started watching this guy, uh, Mike's Mike, on YouTube. <clears throat> and, uh, he's, uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, let's check him. Okay. Um, Mike's Mike on YouTube. He's uh, legal, factually, contractually, and legally Mike. He is not a person who, like, he, he consistently says things about slaying, and, 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 and he's very fashion oriented and stuff i never thought that i would watch a person uh w with that kind of you know like vibe like like talking about like like fashion models and, and and shit that i just don't get but it's great great channel great channel big recommend big recommend if i start say saying stuff is slaying if i if i say that anything took its slay pills because they're slaying then you know where that you know where that came from but uh yeah, it's his it's his fault for making a video about Lost and now we're here. So my 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 bookmark is actually just what <laughs> just what I did just searching on this website for AI quizzes. The problem is okay, sort by uh yeah, is there sort by rating? I don't know. No, sort by play count. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the same thing. AI Oh yeah, this was the one. This is the one that I did that was pretty good. AI generated celebrity faces. Uh, I don't know what we're supposed to uh, do. I guess we play quiz. Okay, his name is uh, Chris Ponce. Uh, okay, that's definitely uh, shit. Shit, that's um, Paul Rudder. Rudederberg. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Oh, well, that's... Silly. That's... Jo Johanny Deep. Come. That's him. Oh, I mean, that's just a picture of... I mean... Leonido... De, de Vito. De, there you go. <laughs> all right, all right, fine, fine. Um, m more, more, Morgenstein Flanders. Yeah. Uh, have I not? I haven't gotten any of these yet. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Um, t uh, t Tony Tank. Uh, is that just like seal? Uh, seal? I guess. I think that's just seal. Uh, Tom. Uh, um, well, it's like Tom. What is that? Tom, it's like Tom Cena. Yeah. It's like a little bit of John Cena. I think John Cena was in the Barbie movie, by the way. So, what is this? Tom. Tom Hux. Uh, H Huckabees. That's his name. Oh my goodness. Well, that's just uh, Will. W Will Jackson. That's that's like Will Smith and Janet Jackson, I think. Okay, that's just okay. That's literally the just fuck me up hair. That's the just fuck my shit up hair. Uh, just fuck my Harrison Ford up. Fam, I, I, fam, I got you. And then that's George 
Ich ist George Clooney. George Clooney. I don't think I got any of this. No? Oh, I gotta go back. Wow, this sucks. <laughs> I wanted to do that. I think the site used to have, like, a different interface back when I first did it. There's, like, this new shitty interface that's really, like undercooked i don't know uh, i don't know ai bullshit i don't I, I think we're gonna just spin again i think we're good on ai you know i uh i don't i don't have yeah because i'm like i need to take that off of the thing really because i had this whole thing planned i wanted to do an ai stream that was based on like um what is it i forgot what it's called it's this library of like ai shit that you download and install to your computer and and it runs like an ai fucking server that yeah, I, I don't know, it uses my fucking video card, and I remember it just was not fun functioning, because my computer isn't like a Bitcoin mining machine, or whatever. Um, so, so like, yeah, uh, I, I wanted to do that, I wanted to do like a whole AI dungeon thing, we've done some of that before, uh, but all of the versions of that will like, shut you off, or require, like, you, you pay them more, or whatever. Um, I know Bane is offering to give me a fucking, like, video card that he used to use, or I think it's his current one, or whatever. Uh, but, like, B Bane is offering to comp me a video card, so maybe I will be able to do more AI shit in the future, because that would be nice. I would like to do a whole, because I remember the last time I did AI, we did a, a story of, like, it was, it was like a Quickville apocalypse with, like, George Costanza and Majima, and I forget who else was there. But it was a scene. It was a wild scene. Um, <clears throat> let me see here. Let me uh, do this again. Um, we're gonna we're gonna spin the wheel again. Let's see what we land on. Speed, speed. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, good. Uh, you know, quite a pick me up from 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 the AI thing. Uh, plushy people and and Mario adult. Well, here's the deal. We've got a few that could take a while. Shit. I mean, I think we're gonna focus on the Mario adult side of things because, uh, well, if I go here, I wonder if this channel even still exists. Uh, might have taken it. No. Oh no. Did he take it down? No. Okay, I found him. It's just spelled differently um he hasn't made a video in a month yeah channel update okay <laughs> uh so i haven't i didn't get a chance to make i didn't get a chance to make uh um uh, a video yet about it was in the stream that i did the to boldly flee film uh, we also looked at the response video from somebody who we looked at on the More Mario Adults live stream. if you saw that one. It's got the guy like Bing Bing Wahooing in the thumbnail. Uh, it's, it's, it's public on my channel, you might have seen it, but it was this long stream I did where we looked at other people in the Mario Adult sphere associated with, uh, or in some way similar to the, the De Dogs Eating Dogs 6 Origami Kingdom people. Uh, we happened to find a guy named One Up Films, and he made some interesting videos screaming at eight-year-olds and calling them, I know that they're eight years old, but this is fucking stupid, like, like, just really laying into these kids for liking Jeffy from Super Mario Logan, and, oh good, I think there's a, uh, there's a fucking dump truck going by my house now, that's cool. Um, that's, that's good. That's going to be good on the stream. Um, but, but, but yeah, he was doing that and, uh, he was a very interesting character. We had some fun looking at him and then like, yeah, like a month later I did to boldly flee. I love how I tell stories by the way. I don't know if anybody else I'm picking up on just like, why am I, this is like non-linear way of telling the story. I've like, I told you this part before and then I had to lead up to it's weird. But, uh, but yeah, like a month later to boldly flee stream. Uh, we also looked at a response video from the Mario adult, as well as a thing from, uh, the, the original, I think, response post. No, that might have been in a different stream, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was the, the response video from 1UP Films, and it was a very strange video. I did not upload it onto the channel, but it, if you, if you were there, it was a very, very strange video where he was, um, 
he was like apologizing for how he acted in like light of my channel finding him or whatever. But then he was like going into, oh, nobody loves me and I don't have a girlfriend and I'm just really sad, bro. And like, that's why I'm so upset and yelling at kids or whatever. Uh, and, and, and it was just not great. It was not a good response. It was not, I don't, I, I feel, I almost feel bad. Like, I don't want to, I'm not sure if I want to put that up. Uh, but I think he, uh, I don't know if he, I don't know if he took that down or anything. Oh, well, no, he didn't. <laughs> oh, geez. I was urging him to maybe consider doing that when I was watching it. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is one up, one up films and he's made some stuff since then. Uh, but he, he did this, uh, and, uh, he got my circle bear. I don't know who gave him the circle bear. Maybe it's just out there. I don't know. But Paul Reynolds over here hates animation and queers, so that's cool. Um, but but yeah, he he was he has this video and it's this very yeah Yoo very strange video. Well, Ooh, if any of you guys are new to this channel, and 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 he just like months and to be honest, my dad called the cops, but the cops didn't do anything. He starts going into like his whole family drama and everything, and it's it's. I remember watching it and just being like like bro, I'm really sorry, and that's really unfortunate, but I. I'm trying to find who asked like because it doesn't none of it is really an excuse for why you have made a channel about like screaming at kids it's maybe an explanation for why you're upset but but bro you again you made the whole you made several videos that were edited of you going like I know these fucking Jeffy eight-year-olds are eight years old but they're fucking stupid bro and they're selfish and and dumb and like and like yelling at these like fans of a a stupid character from a, a puppet show meant for children like like I, yeah i don't know if i don't know if your dad calling the cops on your brother or whatever the hell is going on whatever is happening is even relevant but like a lot of shit has been happening and a lot of shit basically yeah basically yeah i just like life has been depressing and i just don't believe in love or you know <laughs> or good relationships because how could this happen to me i've made my video yelling at jeffy fanboys um yeah, he doesn't believe in love anymore because of his relationship. Somebody came into the chat and said that he repeatedly got thrown out of a Dollar Tree for being, like, weird to a 14-year-old or something. I don't know, something like that. It was something not great, but I don't know how... That's not necessarily verified, but, uh, interesting, interesting. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this guy. Uh... He, uh, he has posted quite a few things since then. He hasn't posted in... Wow. He posted a lot since then. Has it even been that long? It's been three months, I guess. And then he's he's got all these videos, but then he hasn't posted in a month. Uh, so yeah, he's t he's taking a break. I guess it's because his editor broke. Uh, we'll see what what he's uh, editing here. YouTube needs to stop now. Oh, there's oh Neil Mohan. We're gonna have a YouTube. Well, that might be very agreeable, but I want to see what's happened to his his editor, his editing program. Ah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck love, Jeffy. Fuck love. Hello there. It's me, Nick known as 1UP Films. And I know you guys have been wondering where I've been. And, well, the answer is that... Huh, what's this doing here? <coughs> huh. I don't remember leaving this here. Oh, God! So ugly! Go look oh, well, the it's not that important, oh, anyway. Okay, well that's a fetish, clearly. Right? Yeah, yeah, we, we did notice before that he has all these giant holes on his wall, too. Which, that's a shame. I should start recording now, anyway, so... Oh, dear God! Yeah. Yeah, he's... Hey, guys, it's me, Nick... No I just love the, uh... <laughs> know one of these days i might play this on stream i might play this on stream because i've never i've never really even seen much from these games but i do know this what do you see in his eyes do you see the eyes of a man Pray, tell me. He is a god. 
amongst mortals. Hey guys, it's me, Nick, known as One of Films. And I think I'm just right gonna now, keep the ambience I'm going. With little plushy Nick. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to let you guys know that I'm I'm fine. I'm all right, and also it's fine. Yeah, I know I haven't been uploading quite a bit right now because well, I, I just need a break, honestly. And I hope you guys understand. And I just you know uploaded my re-upload you know video of. Of my, you know, of part two of my Rise of the Warrior Bro series, and nice. I suggest you guys go check it out. I put I'll, so much I'll work check into it out. that I'll video, check it out. and I had to re-edit that, that video due to YouTube's copyright, you know, copyright nonsense. So yeah, I had to re-edit that. So I managed to re-edit it, and you Good know, job, and bro. thankfully it didn't get a copyright claim. So basically, yeah. Hey guys, it, I just. <laughs> Anyway, it's me, Marco! For you guys. Right now, I'm currently going to be taking a break, you know, on the uploading for a bit, and just have some me time, just to, you know, just to chill, relax, because it is, you know... Yeah, so, um... It is, uh, why does he have the furry plushie? Like, I don't remember him being a furry before, maybe, like, some parts, but I, now he's got, like, a f He's like Jeff Dunham with a little furry, like, ventriloquist puppet that he has. Except it's just not. It's just- I, does he have his hand up the ass, though? He might. I don't, I don't know. It is July right now, and it is mother of God hot here, and- <laughs> There was a hole here. It's gone now. Well, there was a hole in his wall before. There's, uh, there's, like, I Heart Zoe, or maybe Joey. I think it says Joey. I think his name is Joey. Uh, I Heart Joey, blah, 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 back here. I think it's, like, from his mom or something. We've seen that before. Jeez, uh, His room is yeah. interesting. I'm actually boiling in here, because this room does not have AC. The gaming room is the only room that has AC now. Uh, because my old AC stopped working. It just, it just gave up on me. Anyways, oh, Mario, Marco I, Diaz I is definitely a Mario that I'm doing all right, and I'm going to be taking a break, because due to some issues and problems with issues and problems. DaVinci Resolve. Because DaVinci Resolve is having some issues. Oh, well, my man. I mean, I have problems with fucking Premiere all the damn time. You know? Like, either fix the problems or use something else. I, I, I don't know. There's other options if you want to... It's just sound. It sounds like an excuse. I mean, if you want to not make the videos, that's fine. You don't have to. Nobody has to make the videos. But like, you, you know, the the reason you're giving sounds highly specious and questionable. Issues and problems. And, and no, I'm uh, not stopping the FNAF yeah, ambience. It hasn't been having these problems since like a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, pretty much like basically. I don't know uh, why much... Davinci Resolve started to, you know, not work for me right now. I forgot how it was listening to this guy. Like, listening, he sounds so much like Ross, like Bathtub Ross, like, pretty much, uh, basically, like, uh, pretty much, uh, uh yeah, so, like, pretty much, uh, basically... DaVinci Resolve suddenly crashed, and it stopped working for some odd reason, and it wouldn't open at all. And I tried to call, and, you know, and send an email to, you know, to the, you know, to contact, you know, DaVinci Resolve, the, you know, the creators of the, of the software. I Basically, sent an email yeah, to I'm, Leonardo Da Vinci himself, but he told, he put me on block, goddammit. I have not gotten anything from them. They haven't, you know, called me or, you know, or emailed me back at all. I've been waiting <laughs> for them for- Damn, even Da Vinci left him on red. For the, like, the past- Four or five days, actually. Did he so, say yeah, Da Vinci? I, I guess. Or called me back yet. Da Vinci. And honestly, I just don't think that they're gonna email or call me back anytime soon. Because honestly, I, I bet like literally a lot of people have been having this problem. No joke. Da Vinci Resolve no it sometimes crashes on other people. I believe and it. People have been going through this issue and have been frustrated so much, and this is starting to frustrate me as well. I've been trying to figure out how to fix this issue, this issue and problem, and nothing worked. I tried uninstalling it. Does he... Fine, fine, I'll turn off the ambience. Do, does he... 
Because, like, I remember having a lot of problems with fucking Premiere, and then I realized that a lot of it was because I fucking stole Premiere. <laughs> I was not paying for it, and then when I actually started paying for Premiere, most of my problems are resolved now. There are some. Like, exporting things is kind of a pain for some reason. And the big problem with pr Premiere, at least, I don't know about DaVinci over here. Uh, DaVinci. I don't know about all that, but, uh, Premiere. Problem with Premiere, it will, uh, it will, like, invent new problems. Uh, it, like, randomly out of nowhere, there'll just be new issues on Premiere that there were not before. And just like, oh, now this is an issue now. My premiere, like, got a fucking bug, and now it's, like, it's it's broken. Like, I got the funny bad premiere, you know? Um, and I think, uh, from what I've heard, Vegas is the same. I don't know about Da Vinci, Da Vinci Resolve, but, uh, but, but, yeah, he's, he's having some trouble. I, he could try something else, maybe. Uh, this could be an opportunity for growth there, buddy. And reinstalling it, and I made sure to give my computer a lot of storage in space. Because I just got myself a flash drive that just came in the mail, you know, like a week, like I even, I ordered it a week ago and oh, nice. yeah, and it finally arrived and Big this stuff. Resolve still is not working for me. But yeah, I really wanted to start working on more videos. Pretty much I like, so uh, many basically video I wanted to do more I videos. I really want to work on, Pretty that much. would be a lot of fun to make. Like but... basically like. But DaVinci Resolve is, da Vinci. you know, giving me a hard time right now, mm -hmm. and if you guys don't know what I mean by that, well, I'll just show you. Okay. Alright, here is my computer right whoa, here. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Okay, so we got DaVinci Resolve, we got his game capture, we got his 4K capture. Surprisingly, uh, Spartan desktop. This is like generic background team. He installed the team viewer, ma'am. He got the team viewer. He's got an S. Is that like an episode of Doctor Who? What is that? View. Hang on. Computer doctor. Uh oh. Is he getting like scammed? He's got fucking team viewer and weirdo computer doctor. What are all these, these links? This is. I don't know, man. Just be careful. Be careful. All right. Here is my computer right here. My computer has enough storage, so might have it should be working, but do not redeem. Yeah, like see here, right now. I guys, do you think he? Guys, here. Do you think he please read this now? Do you think that he read this? Because now I want to know what's in there. I mean, it says to please read me now, and now I'm curious, and I want to know if he knows what what it is in there. I. I feel as though he's one of the, like, types of people who would just like, No, it's fine, I'll figure it out. I, I don't know. My computer he has he enough storage, read. so it should be working, but when I tried clicking it, yeah, like, see here? Right now, I am clicking on it, and it's still not opening. I don't, I don't know if that's Like, storage. look at it, you know, buffering and loading. It's loading and loading, and suddenly it stops loading, and still nothing. Well, that might be the thing where it's like there's a secret background task of DaVinci open that you need to, like, close. I mean, legitimately, maybe restart your computer. That might help, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think you're, you're probably fine. And I can wait for a couple minutes and still nothing. Like, look at this. And I even tried, you know, triple-clicking this, and... Yeah, still nothing. Triple clicking. Yeah, this is the issue. Well, that's that your problem. You didn't do the qu the quintuple click. That's the secret. You got to do it three times and then pause and then do one long one and one short one. And that's how you get in. That's the secret. It was all bad. And I started, you know, restarting and shutting down my computer. Oh, and yes. It still won't work. Well, that like, seems seriously. Like an issue. I don't know yeah. why the developers of this software thought it would be a good idea to literally make this thing crash <laughs> and stop working and, and stop opening for I, I don't know why the developers intentionally programmed in these crash bugs. I don't know. I didn't ask for this. Uh, yeah, I guess that's a, that is a shame. If they were doing that on purpose, then that is unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, again, maybe yours is like a pirated copy. You might need to just pay for it because uh, I do remember having... Lots of issues. I don't even know if it's related. It might not be related, but I like to imagine Adobe just cripples their software and then you, you like pay money for it and it's like mostly fine. 
but you know, cause, cause I was, cause I was just having crashes like every three minutes and then I'm like, all right, fine. I give, let me pay you money and see if this works better. And, and it actually did. So, so, uh, so, you know, there's like a little in informal ad for fucking Adobe there. Don't steal their products, I guess. But, 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 you know, Resolve, he might be doing the same thing. I don't know. I don't mean to imply that he might be a bad boy. If he paid money for it, it is a shame and he should be getting support, whether or not his problem is like his fault or like a real glitch of the problem. But I do like him saying that, uh, I, I do like him, him going off on like, uh, how it's really stupid that they made it this way. Like, well, yeah, probably I, if they, if they did intentionally design it in this fashion, then that is pretty dumb. People like, seriously, this is, this is horrible designing. right? Wait, here. Da Vinci's really free. Who it's a free. Oh, <sighs> Well, in that case, I mean, I guess you just fucking, you know, you're not really, it would be nice if they were supporting it better, but I mean, it is free, I, you know, yeah, in that case, I don't, I don't know, I, I think you, you, hmm, well, that might be a real issue then, I mean, I don't know, it might, it may well be a real issue, but it's also like, I think you could just move on to, the, just move on, get, get a, get a, uh, Get it, get like, I don't know. I don't know what you would do. I mean, stop making videos, I guess. Whoever designed it like this should be Forgot fired. Forgot to download RAM. So basically, yeah, these are the issues that the Vinci Resolve has. The Vinci. And the designers for this, they did nothing about this to fix the issue. They just let this happen. Like for real, why would they allow, you know, a software, a video editing software like this to crash <laughs> and stop working. I don't know, bro. I don't think they usually allow it, dude. I understand being mad. Trust me, nothing gets me more upset than technical problems. I feel it, but they probably didn't intend for this to happen. And it's like, I don't know, man. It's, I think it's, I think it's fine. For other people, it's absolutely stupid and ludicrous. ludicrous. I don't know wh what makes them think that this is a good idea in their heads. This was absolutely stupid and horrible. Because honestly, yeah. He really he, like, thinks that they, like, programmed in the, the feature. Like, it, it's a feature that it doesn't open. Like, this is so silly. Why did they in why did they include this in the new update where it goes from working to not working? That's a really dumb decision, guys. I really hope they reverse that one. I, I hope someone gets- I hope someone gets fired for this blunder. For real. The support center- they still have not contacted me yet. Like, I'm still waiting for them to contact me because I want DaVinci Resolve. I even sent a dick pic. But I'm going to have to take take it to a computer store huh. or anywhere else where where there's actually people that know how. And imagine him going into the computer store. He's talking exactly like this. It's just giving the guy, like, anxiety. He's just hearing fucking, like, he's, he, he, just, he just walks in. He's just like, <sighs> I need my computer, bro. I need it fixed. Da Vinci is not working. Like, you know. How to fix a software, because this is actually ridic- This is absolutely ridiculous right here. Like, I have never been this pissed- He's gonna go to a computer store. In my life. For his- like, for real. Video like, editing pro what problem. What makes him think that this was a good idea? Like, this is not a good idea at all. Imagine like, him explaining it holding that plush. Yeah, he walks in with the plush, you know. Dick in hand, you know, plush in one hand, <laughs> dick in the other, and he's just, you know, like, yeah, let me explain it to you. Ah, for real. Ah, for real. Honestly, I just absolutely hate the this, that, that they thought this, this was a good idea to make the software crash <laughs> and, you know, and stop working for other people. It's really... <laughs> Dude... <laughs> That's not how, that's not how it works, dude. I mean, it's like, it, I was saying, like, maybe it's, like, the only way it makes sense, the, the reason I was saying, like, buying Adobe products or whatever, the whole reason that even came up was just, like, maybe it would be one thing if this was a paid program, and I'd be like, oh, maybe they fuck it up. Like, it's got, like, anti, very subtle anti-piracy that makes it, like, bad. It makes it shitty if you're, uh, if you're not, um, if you're not, uh, 
if you're not paying for it, but it's a free program. So, so like, no, I don't think they programmed in the feature that it's broken, dude. I just don't. Stupid and dumb. It's stupid and dumb, The Davinci Resolve is really the only video editing software I use for my videos. So, yeah, if it weren't for Davinci Resolve, I would never have made videos like these. And I like making videos for fun and, you know, and to entertain people. Nice. But now, I'm going to have to see if there's going to be anyone that's going to be fixing this issue and problem. Well, you'll, I've been you'll looking at some solved, tutorial bro. videos and still nothing worked. Oh. Like, I followed every step and every every videos that... Every videos. Even some tips that people have, have said how to fix this. And Man, I do not want to be rude and start playing the Rugrats theme, but it's like, I just, it's it's playing in the back of my head, you know? like Still I, nothing. I, It still hasn't been fixed for me. So, possibly I could just take this to a computer store or anything like that, because I don't know what, what else to do now. I don't know... I don't know who to turn into right now. I don't know who to ask for. I'm at the end of my rope, bro. I need to keep making... He walks into the the computer. Like, this is the real scenario, right? He walks in. He doesn't have his dick in hand, but he's got his plushie, maybe, still. And he's got his computer, and he's just like... Like, he walks in with the full tower, just just, just plops it on the desk. He's just like, well, I, I gotta keep making my plushie videos and to to calling out the toxic Jeffy fanboys. And, and I just don't know, man. I'm just at the end of my rope, man. I don't know what else to do man and then he starts talking to the plushie and like maybe making out with it a little and the guy just decides to you know what we'll just fix your problem for free it's fine help just get out just get honestly out. any help is good help for me right now because honestly i just need this to be resolved and fixed I mean, so basically, yeah, guys. Basically, I hope yeah, you guys, guys. Are there's somebody in chat is like, this is why I won't have kids. You can't guarantee they won't be like this. I mean, I don't want to call into question his parenting or anything, but or like his, you know, what what parenting he had. But he does talk about how his his family is like calling the cops and shit, and and a lot of weird stuff happening in his life. So I don't know. I feel like if you're, you know, I. It's always funny to be like you're a fun you're an excuse for you're you're an advertisement for abortion. Your mother should you know that kind of thing, but it's like I don't know. Uh it, it's probably the it's it's more on the the parents for how they, you know, raise their kid. I mean, if he wound up this way and they, you know, didn't do much to stop it or whatever. I I feel like I don't know. That's also maybe putting too much blame on the parents. This guy's also a grown-up as well, so it's you know, it's difficult to say. It's a whole situation understand that i'm gonna be taking a break and also i'm gonna be working on a, a criticism video someday with oh. my friend ray rants if, and if you don't know who he is okay he does you know some criticism and rant videos e even some sml criticism videos oh, as well. and i suggest yes. you guys go check him out because basically yeah i'm gonna be making a video with him one of these days and i just finished recording my video like my part of the video and i'm still going to be waiting on him but i gotta get resolve fixed first <laughs> and i am going to be working on some video series as well and i am almost done with the next episode this guy reminds me a little bit of the guy who had the like edgy mario channel he had like a, it was like action mario films or something and it had this whole um it had this whole uh like <sighs> like there were school shooter ones it was very very clearly meant to be like you know an edgy joke uh this this kind of reminds me just this guy specifically reminds me of that guy well that's his problem with da vinci and uh the 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 editing issues but uh we need to see uh what his youtube needs to stop now take a shit now um there's also like this the most disrespectful man ever the, mo the worst speech in Boston history. Boston? WGA strike versus... Oh, okay. Boston? It's just a prank, bro. Paul has lied about me. Oh, okay, no, but who is this guy, though? What's going on? Who's Paul? Yahoo! If any of you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, because it would really help us out a consider lot. Consider it. We are very close to 1k subscribers. Please help us reach our goal. It would really mean a lot to us. So 
Please consider Dude, subscribing. They are pretty close. That's great. I, I big, big ups one up films, honestly. I mean, leaving a like, hit that notification bell, hit and that anyways, bell. enjoy the video. Wahoo! So yeah, you're the number one. Yahoo! <laughs> God, I love the wahoos. Okay, we don't need the loud noises. Thank you. We don't need the noises. That's that's very loud. Uh, what's where's okay? <laughs> Did I watch this already? Cause I remember just a video starting where he looked exactly like this, and he was wearing the same like shirt, or like no, I think it was he was just wearing the same like hoodie, but he just looks so I. <sighs> I think I said before he looks like Namba from Yakuza Like a Dragon, or whatever it's called. Like a Dragon, Like a Dragon. Uh, he, he looks a little bit like that, but that's a disservice to Namba, frankly. Uh, hey guys, it's me, Nick, known as One of Films, and well, today I'm making a video on Paul Reynolds today. Paul yeah, Reynolds. Yeah, I'm making another video on him, because he did basically made a video of me, and to be honest, Okay, I'm just gonna have to say this. Paul's video on me. I'm just gonna hater. say this. It is pretty dumb. Who is this guy? 107 views two weeks ago. Paul's archives. Okay. Paul's video on me. I'm just gonna say this. It is pretty dumb. Because honestly, Paul, if you don't mean no harm, Paul, then why do you, you know, insult? other people on Twitter and online. What, like, why do you insult them all the time and stalk them? <laughs> there are reasons why I make videos about you because you don't know when to, to quit or stop. Yeah, Paul. You have harassed- You're like an internet harassment terminator, Paul. You can't be reasoned with and you absolutely will not stop. Act other people. Like, seriously, Paul. Like, how do you explain Come on, this? Paul. Yeah. Do you have an excuse around this? You are a- wait, no. You are a fat little baby. Can I repost your art without credit and then scratch out your signature? <laughs> Stop watching cartoons. Also, kids who are deaf can't even watch cartoons because they can't hear. So these people aren't even helping kids in any way. Shut up! Also, stop dressing up like a girl. I saw you do that on your main account. You are not a girl, so don't dress like one. No, honestly, I honestly just think that you need help because you're a crybaby. If your family loved you, you wouldn't act this way. <laughs> oh man, Paul's unchained, dude. Excuse around this? Because I doubt it. Because there's no way you're gonna- So this guy's got a troll then. There's somebody who's like, you know, trolling him, I guess. Get out right. of this mess. Because the reason why I make videos of you is because that I want to spread awareness about you. And I want to expose you of, of the lying hypocrite you are. Seriously, fucking scumbag, Paul. Just for real. Like, seriously, what do you get out of this, Paul? You just do this crap because you think it's funny. He just does it for ten lols, oh no. But yeah, no. No one is laughing, Paul. No one thinks that this is funny. I am no categorically laughing currently. Look. <laughs> Look, it's a laugh. No one likes there you being go. harassed. No one likes being insulted, and no one likes to- Yeah, uh, 20 bucks from Wagugus Jr. This music making my subwoofers go bonkers. My entire room is shaking. Help. <laughs> there you go, is that better? Here. I think we're good on that. We're good on that. It's just the haunting, vacuous stare behind his glassy eyes. Have their opinions back. Frightening. And even Paul's stories are fake as well. Like, Paul's story about him, you know, him hating cartoons because, you know, because his girlfriend is addicted to cartoons and blah, blah, blah. And her addiction to cartoons is the reason why they broke up. That story was obviously fake. And even Paul admitted it was fake. And so, I mean, I don't know what this Paul dude's deal is. He seems like if somebody in chat said regard fight, and yeah, I'm sure both of these folks are very well regarded, but I, I'm not sure if Paul, I mean, I think he is trolling, certainly. 
Uh, that never, that doesn't necessarily mean somebody's not also well regarded, but, um, you know, yeah. Listen, Paul, we all knew it was fake. We all we knew, just, Paul. You know, didn't want to believe your bullshit. Nobody wanted to tell you. you doing this just for attention is just really sad. But still, Paul, after everything you've done, do you think saying that, you know, that all this is fake and meant for a joke is going to be, you know, undoing everything you've done? so people would forgive you? Yeah, I think not. Because still, people don't want to be harassed or stalked. Because that's basically what you've done. That's basically what you've done. This is a 20 minute video. I mean, like, how much, like, what's going on? ...with him, but now I blocked him. Oh, I see. Kaling and David Zaslov? Yeah, real funny stuff, Paul. Real funny stuff. Like- uh -huh. Okay, well, we need to watch one of his Rise of the Wario Bros. Look, Two out of two. This one is 47 minutes long. Where's the other? Where's part one? Oh, 21 minutes and 50. God, you know, it's fine. We're going to start at episode two. I'm sure it's more interesting that way. Sorry for the re-upload. YouTube's BS broken copyright system. Yeah, there's a claim on your thing. I mean, not going to argue with that one there, uh, Joey. There's, there's definitely issues with with that uh no no com no complaints there so basically the theme i used was an undertale theme by toby hot toby fox was causing issues but basically pretty much uh, i hope the soundtrack i replace will do good pretty much basically um and speaking of soundtracks i gotta say if you've never heard so i i i have first of all i have to play this for you first of all I, this is completely and entirely unrelated but i, I need to i need to play this for you um yeah. If you've never, if anybody's never played Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, there's the really cool, every time you open up the menu, you get this theme. Which is really good. It sounds like uh, Angel by Massive Attack. You are my angel. But then, like, the, the real part of the song starts, and, like, you're just sitting there trying to pick out your character. You're, like, you're, you're, uh, your 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 stat points or whatever and wow 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 <laughs> it's a good song though but <laughs> it's really funny but uh, i got to say also the Deus Ex soundtrack not to be fucked with not to be trifled with i don't know why more people don't talk about the Deus Ex soundtrack that shit is incredible more people need to listen to the Deus Ex soundtrack. That's an inc that's a fantastic soundtrack. But I'm just realizing on my second playthrough, like a decade later. Oh yeah, this is really this is really good. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I just got completely off track because he mentioned soundtracks. Sorry, I needed to do I needed to do my thing. So he replaced the Toby Fox Undertale because I want to use epic boss battle music for the final scene in this. Well, there's ways around that. You could pitch it down, slow it down, whatever. Like, there's, there's ways, but, you know, that is a shame. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be taking over the intro now. Anyways, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and hit that notification bell. Anyways, our main goal is to reach up to 1K subscribers. You know, I just, you know, 1UP Films, listen, just be careful, okay? Because once you hit that 1K subs... It's not going to make you happy, and then you're just going to feel empty as you search for another goal meaninglessly. So just set the goal higher. You're so you're so close, but like, I don't know, just be careful. Don't don't let it don't don't let it don't let it take the wind out of your sails once you actually get there cuz you will. I believe in you, pal. I believe in you. Here's your supper, pal. If we don't reach up to 1k subscribers, <laughs> I'm going to fucking shoot my Let's no, say no, me no, and right. Waluigi, we'll blow up your house. And we'll completely demolish it! I like how Wario's got braces. This plushie gives Wario, like, 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 braces. That's, that's what it looks like. He's got, like, barbed wire on his teeth. Shit. Subscribe <laughs> <laughs> And make sure we reach up to our goal. Anyways, enjoy the video. <laughs> Threatening terrorism against children. That's, that's true. <laughs> I mean, 
I don't know. I mean, I don't know if his audience is meant to be children because he's an adult. I made the mistake of assuming that the fucking dogs eating dogs, six people, the the origami. I assumed all of those people were like secretly children, and he was the the ringleader, Pied Piper, grown up. But no, most of them were at least adults or late teens or whatever. Uh, mo most of them seemed to be adults. It seemed that none of them were actually kids, and and and. I mean, even the fucking people that they were making fun of, only one of them is verifiably, like, a ten-year-old. The other two might have been, well, at least one of them was a grown-up. The other one is un unknown. But, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, we, 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 we charitably wish to assume that this is, uh, we charitably wish to assume that this is meant for an audience of children. But, uh, I don't know about that, necessarily. Oh god, oh god, it's so loud, it's so loud, it's so loud! It's so loud! Why does it need to be so loud? <laughs> Roblox rabbit hole? Hey, Bear. Roblox rabbit hole, it was all adults. Yeah, I mean, again, you think it's children. You assume it's children. You you thought you assumed you know there's all there's all this I always assume that the Caillou ground, grounded 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 people, which I gotta say that's one of my favorite like subcultures of people because I keep finding people that I didn't realize were gonna be like grounded grounded like 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 Caillou people like the Go Animate community and it turns out they are and like that could just keeps seeping into my life somehow, but like you know you assume most of those are kids too but not no indeed. No, indeed. A lot of them are just very, very, very wonderful adults who need a lot of attention and care. Basically, I think the only thing that- Basically, the, the first line- that Would basically stop us from the Mario Brothers themselves. But, oh wait, that's us, so there's only one Mario Brothers in this planet, and that's us. <laughs> there's only one Mario Brothers in this planet. And that's us, ha 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 ha. So I guess it's Wario and Waluigi, and they like body swapped the the Mario Brothers, and plumbing's not their game, I guess. Or maybe they're just evil Mario and Luigi. I don't know if I, I I'm gonna be real. I don't know if I give a shit. They don't consider me as a threat anymore. Mr. Have I really lost my touch, Kamek? Mario Brothers, they will not get away with this. <sighs> Gotta figure out a plan to destroy them. <sighs> I'm Wario. And Dude, could you have at least turned on a light in your house? I mean, like, I get that you don't have... I was gonna complain about the lighting. I get that you can't be like... Um, fucking Neo Jesus and afford an eight hundred dollar lighting rig in your living room, but I, it looks like you didn't even turn on a lamp for this, dude. This is so dark and hard to see. I'm Waluigi, and, and we're, we're the Wario, Wario Brothers. Brothers. I'm not your Mario. I'm bad Mario. <laughs> They're all yours, Lord Bowser. Yeah, finish them off. Wait, <laughs> is that Bowser who's making a way? Hey, hey, hey. That's like that's like a that's like a Wario voice, kind of, or Waluigi. Why does Bowser sound like that? Yeah, <laughs> they're all yours, Lord Bowser. Wait, what? Wait, wait. Why are the voices wrong? That's clearly a Bowser voice. Yeah, finish them off. <laughs> yeah, finish him off, see? <laughs> what is this? What is this Bowser voice? No, this is wrong and bad. Kamehameha, <laughs> me. Uh oh. Uh, um, so once again, there was somebody who did say that there were certain allegations against this guy. I mean, it's all conjecture and hearsay, and it might just be that Paul guy spreading more slander, but...
you know, I don't know. There is this, there is that, there's both of those things. Ah, she looks beautiful. You have outdone yourself this time, Captain Bootybeard. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hey, free candy, free candy. But first, you gotta let me see your booty first. Free candy, free candy. Just go in my me van and I'll be able to get you some. And maybe I'll get myself a tree as well. <laughs> but anyways, free candy. So like you're in a public neighborhood and this guy, like does it make it better that this guy is over here by his thing saying, free candy, free candy. And, and does it make it better that he's surrounded in plushies? Like does that make it? Because, like, it's, I mean, it's, you know, and he's got his camera, it's clear that he's, like, filming a thing. I don't know if that makes it less creepy and insane than if he was just actually standing there with a sign saying, Hey, little girl, free candy! Like, I think it's, a vis optically, to people who might just be passing by, I think they might have just about the same reaction. Like, I, or it might be worse. Why does this strange man have these little plushy toy Mario toys? Candy! Oh, why hello there, kind sir. I heard you got some candy, right? Uh, 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 yeah, I, I do. Uh, it was, yeah, you better pick something quick because I want to make sure that there's no cops around, okay? But anyways, what do you want? Hmm, well, I would like some Snickers and who Kit Kats and Reese's. That's what I would like. Reese's guys he's gonna make me do my rant again okay he's gonna do it so it's not it's so Reese's but there's 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 R-E-E-S-E -E -E. there's not two it's not Reese's there's not a second there's not a second E and there's not an I there there's no reason why it would it's fine it's fine hmm that depends how about you show me your booty and then maybe I'll consider giving you some candy Oh, all right. So you wanna you wanna see this booty? Hmm. Is this what you wanna see? Oh, oh my God! That is the finest booty I've ever seen in me life. Holy crap! But it's not as beautiful. Anybody, so is anybody in chat? Like, there's no judgment. But if anybody's like left yet, like. Let yourself be known. Like, it's fine, because I've laughed before at stupid things on stream. It's fun. No judgment. But I genuinely, I wonder if, like, like being honest with us, chat, if anybody here has laughed at any, at any of this joke yet. Because, I mean, it's, I mean it's, it's pretty funny. But I just, I don't know. I just don't know. That's Big Booty Betty. Oh, Big Booty Betty. The most beautiful booty I've ever seen in me life. But yours... Oh, oh, how would you like some, you know, some chocolate bars with extra nuts in them? <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, I'm quite flattered. You know what? Would you like to, you know, give it Not a touch? Did it left. Oh, yeah. That'll definitely give you a discount on the destroyed candy I got. destroyed my jaw oh, laughing. Oh. It'll be a big pleasure. Oh, 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 oh. It worked, Wario! <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to do this! <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, the best part of a wheel stream when somebody's like, Claw, please spin the wheel. Please. Let's move on from this, Claw. There's no... Only the fool in me believes there is sense in it. Please. Bombs away! <laughs> Anyways, let's get out of here! <laughs> Ow! What the hell? You know what? So what is the target audience for this? Is this... meant for kids? I guess it's not so... Uh, so obscene that, like, your kid couldn't watch it, necessarily. Uh, but I don't know why you would allow your child to watch this man. This strange, strange man. Uh, like, because that's always the thing, is, like, people said... I remember there was somebody, like, years and years ago who made a good point. It was, like, during one of the ad senses, it was, or the, the, the ad apocalypses, rather. Like, you know, back in the day, and like, you know, on TV, you'd have, you know, various fucking bodies to regulate if your TV show had, like, 
crazy insane bullshit in it or like cult conspiracy rhetoric or something and nowadays you don't really have that and it's just like up to the kid to find some guy with a pu with puppets who maybe they let they watch i don't know if kids would i feel like kids would find this creepy i don't think i would be interested in this as a kid but then i don't think i would be interested in super mario logan either and claw lots of fucking people clearly are so i i don't know man for you uh, no candy for you well at least i got me van ah me van. this is a perfect <laughs> Me van! Me van! <gasps> no! <laughs> Probably better if your kid watches Cyrax. There was a fucking... There was a new Eudoxia Mysteries, like, Dark Mysteries of the Internet or something. And, like, one of the first ones that they showed off was Cyrax being arrested at his house. And then I think, like, immediately after was, like, a murderer or something. It is it is very strange. That Cyrax was there and on on this the this list of like horrible moments in internet history, and one of them was just the existence of Cyrax. It was pretty funny. Uh, uh, oh, oh, God! What happened? Ah! Oh, everything hurts. Everything hurts. Oh, my skin. My body. Oh. No attempt to give either of them dif dis dif different or distinct voices. Oh, everything feels like it's been torn oh. to shreds. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh, Mario, Luigi, you're awake. T Toad. Oh Did no, Toad they win? joined the Taliban. Uh, what happened? Did we win? Oh no, 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 no! You didn't win at all. They literally whooped you guys really good. And then Bowser, yeah, he just took the final blow on you too. That explains a lot. Oh, oh, everything hurts. But don't worry, guys. We'll take good care of you. Dr. Toad is here to save the day. Does he have a plush of every single Mario guy? I would be surprised if he didn't. If he didn't, I mean, all the relevant ones anyway, maybe if he had a Birdo plush, that would be really cool. Oh, hell no. Hell to the no. To ah, the no. I'd rather open up the window and literally fall down literally. head first and hopefully I would die than have him take care of us. I'd rather eat the rotted asshole. Oh, uh, geez, that's really harsh, Mario. Ugh, I don't care. Get out of here, Toad. We don't need you, all right? Ugh, we're gonna have Toadsworth take care of us, all You're right? We dead don't weight, need Toad. you, okay? Leave the room, now. Uh, okay, jeez, could've just said it nice. My God. <laughs> so, um, what would you guys like me to do for you? I could, you know, give you some, you know, water, food, or anything. I I'm here to help you guys. They literally all pretty much talk basically just like one-up films. They literally, none of them basically have any real, literally pretty much character or any kind of basically like, 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 like personality, literally pretty much. And they all just like basically like pretty much basically just talk like him, like in his normal videos. It's, it's great. It's great. I love, that's the mark of a good actor is because he's a chameleon. He really blends into every performance he does, you know? Guys, okay. It's like watching a wrestler. So you two could get back on your feet soon. <sighs> Cause Bowser- I sound depressed? Princess, no, I'm just again. high. And those two, Wario and Wall yeah, the GameCube is just like, so now the GameCube looks depressed. That's just sitting over there on top of a box, disconnected from reality. What a shame, what a shame. You put your GameCube on a pedestal in a high place of, of honor. Gee, guys. Or at least put it in a box somewhere or something. Come whatever on. they are. Basically, are still wreathing havoc around Basically... the world. <sighs> uh... the Mushroom Kingdom isn't safe with those two around, so... We gotta need you to get back up on your feet. Pretty soon. Huh, huh. Uh, well, all right. Just eat a fucking mm, mushroom, I'm bro. hungry, actually. Yeah, eat a super hmm. mushroom. You know, can you uh, stop by to a restaurant to, you know, to get something to eat? Ooh, I would like some Burger King. Uh, really, Luigi? Burger King? Oh, my gosh. I don't even like Burger King. Ugh. You know what, fine. Huh, huh. You know what, the only thing I- Burger King fans on Death Watch. Like about Burger King is the mozzarella stick, so, yeah, just- Get those for me, 
and get Luigi a Whopper, all right? See, this is what I would do if I was making a plushy series. I would make it, like, always on the cusp of something happening, but it would just be like Seinfeld, just the plushies, just, I would just use them as an excuse to rant for a little while about something. And it would just be like, oh, yeah, and then you order the fucking milkshake and it's too thick, and then by the time it thins out, it's like... You know, you mention you, you you just you, you just you know use it as a soapbox. It'd be fine. Oh, uh, sounds simple enough. All right, you two sit here, and I'll go get your Burger King real quick. All right. Anyways, they see have you lots later. of sticks. Do, yeah. do, 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 do. Burger King fans. Oh. I mean, listen. Okay, I really like the one burger they have. That's like the Roadhouse King or whatever. Roadhouse. Uh, where, where it's got, like, the onion rings and bacon and, and, and barbecue sauce. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. That's a good burger. It's also, like, $13 Canadian or something to get it. So, like, I don't know. That's, like, a full... But it is, like, it's a full meal. You have one of those, and I don't... I, I always feel like I could eat more, and then I have one, and I'm like, well, whatever other... Like little micro burgers I got, the Whopper Juniors. If I ever order from Burger King, which is rare, I'll get one of those and I'll be like, no, this is all I need. I don't even need to eat my fries now. This whole, this one burger is like a full fucking meal. And that's good. I like that one. Finally. People finally fear and respect me. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Peter Griffin burger. Roundhouse. To be honest, Warren and Luigi, they were the best thing that ever happened to me. Luigi really gave me good head. Finally, everyone fears. Why does he sound like War, like like Bowser again now? Like before he had like a <laughs> voice, but now he's different. But did he just? He literally just pretty much basically just literally like got the the words like got the voices wrong, for which character was talking at the time. That's that's great. He respects me again, and no one will ever ever treat me like a doormat <laughs> anyways how are you doing today peachy baby what do you think and besides well, see i just imagined a really way funnier thing than what than what would happen in this story i know this isn't what's gonna happen but like the way that that panned over and he was like now nobody's gonna treat me like a doormat and it just pans over all slow and comedic like to her and she's like tied up right i just imagine that this would be like a scene where he's like getting pussy whipped by his captive like he's got princess peach captive and she's just like well are you just gonna stand around and do nothing or are you gonna stop mario like when he's like sorry sorry i'll get to it sorry like like that would be funnier than whatever is probably gonna happen here this is just gonna be him like unscripted going off for a bit you guys remember the one i gotta find the guy again you know what? Actually, fuck this guy. Fuck, fuck this channel. We've looked at this guy. He's fine. This video is fucking going nowhere. It's fine. I want to show you guys a different dude. Another person we've looked at before. It was like Moses something. What the fuck was this guy's name? It was, um, if I just look up Mario, it'll probably come up. Super Mario Inc.? No. Okay. No, I, I'll just have to look at look it. Uh, Super Origami Kingdom, Zack Goes Red, the- oh, there's that guy, right, that guy. Uh, Tony Lopez, that's not it, no, no, hang on. It's, uh, Jilly Juice Journey, that's, that's, that's not it. Uh, let me see here. Mario, god, there's so many of them. Mario, like, I don't know. Mario Plush Productions, is that it? No, that's not it. action koopa no that was that was not it that's the that's the edgy one hang on i'm going back through my like 20 or so recommendations for mario adults because of one of them oh somebody's going by on like a fucking super scooter or something that's cool one of them is like um one of them was really funny i don't know if the guy is in chat it was like this guy named like moses xavier or something does anybody know super was it super moses brothers uh, that wasn't it it was like his real name was like moses xavier and he had like bare feet he walked around as like this grown-up man in like his dingy basement with bare feet playing with like sonic plushies and doing like rouge being too timid to ask out the werehog 
And he's like, well, go up to him and see what he says. And he's just like in his fucking bare feet. I don't know if anybody remembers that stream. I don't know if anybody remembers what that guy was called. But I'm trying to find that guy. Because that guy's very special. Star Plush World. Is it this guy? Yeah, this is the guy. Star Plush World, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, he's got a whole... This this looks ki this looks kinky. The Blue Care Bear Kidnapping. Star Plush World. Plush Doll Variety Show. We watched one here. What's up? What's going on, guys? Moses Xavier here. Semicolon. To entertain you. Uh, and, 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 and we watched one. Again, it was like Rouge Plushy being scared to ask out werehog so 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 she's like asking amy for advice and then like werehog is talking to sonic who are different characters i think uh or maybe it was shadow i don't remember but they were like it was just a rom-com it was like a plushy mario and sonic rom-com thing uh so i don't know what's going on here and this is a variety show uh the blue care bear kidnapping we gotta start with this one i mean this sexy sexy fuckable blue care bear there you know we got to start with that what a giant blue care bear that kidnaps people huh, great first it was the coronavirus <laughs> now it's blue care bears that oh man people. it never ends great thanks a lot china that's just great isn't that one of the fucking sister porcupine characters? Ovor! Oh, Ovor! Oh, 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 it's attacking! Oh. That's like the porcupine sisters from fucking Animal Crossing, isn't it? And maybe not. Ash? Ash! What is this, like a Life is Strange plushie? Yeah, quiet screaming so his mom doesn't hear him. Yeah. Doesn't beat him? Oh. Ash? Well, you took it darker than I would have, but that's fair. So this is like a horror film. I don't like this. It's a goth smurf? Wait, this is a smurf? I'm calling candy. It's not blue. You call me? Oh, I think you're right, though. It's got a hat. Yeah. Yeah, it's a smurf. It's, it's like a human-colored goth smurf. What the fuck is this? Where are these people getting these fucking plushies made? Because wherever they are, I guess I gotta get them made and and start making like like Deadwing Bear plushies. That you know, it's it's about time. Yeah, man. Me finding this community of people is a great advertisement for when I do start selling the plushie, the Deadwing plushie. Whenever that happens, I already know exactly how I want the design to look and everything. You know, but whenever that happens, uh, it, it's like, I just, I'll just do one of these streams. Like, you know, you like these terrible plushies. Take a look at mine. <laughs> It'll be great. What are they doing? Are they having sex? Okay. He got like a cust. This is what I'm saying is he got like a custom, like custom Star Wars figurines. Ava Mendez. No, he got a custom Smurf plushie with human skin. And, like, a gray hat, and then there's, like, edgy... Like, she looks like the fucking girl emoji from the Emoji Movie. <laughs> That's She's like that mixed with a Smurf or something. Okay. Jailbreak or whatever. It's a cell phone. It's Ash's cell phone. Oh, she never... She never leaves her phone at home. Exactly. I've been doing some research about how people's been magically disappearing. People's been magically disappearing. <sighs> Don't tell me it's that blue Care Bear. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. We can't be you sure. Think he's gonna come back for you. Does he? Does this character have like spaghetti for hair? Look at the hair. This is spaghetti, isn't it? It's like cooked spaghetti for hair. Or, like, or it's designed to look that way. It's very, it looks very similar. I think so. This is cinema. Look. I'm gonna be ready the next time he comes back. Wait, that's a mass-produced Smurf character. This is a real Smurf? 
This isn't custom? They made this Smurf legit? That's a real... Oh, that's embarrassing. That's a terrible Smurf. That's really bad. Well, some people say that he's pretty clever. Well, I am too. I need you to... Nope. It's real? I'm not hoping. They made a goth mommy dumb D D GF Smurf? Crazy. Why not? She's your friend too. Right, what do you want me to do? Why are they on the corner? I think it's because he's framing this so that he doesn't have his hands in the shot. But even still, there's no reason for them to be like awkwardly... Awkwardly in the fucking jammed in the side of the fucking screen. Just jam me in a circle. I get whacked. It's your fault. It's yarn, maybe, yeah. Uh... Here's the plan. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Doggy styles? <laughs> What's going on? Yep, just like that. Where is he even coming from? What is going on? Just, he'll be here. And where are you going to be at? Don't worry about where I'm going to be. Why well, I have to worry? <laughs> Why do you want me to sit right here? Y you'll see. Do not tell me. What the fuck? Then I'm bait. What is this fetish shit? What just is trust happening? me, Candy. Alright. But I need Poor you to candy. turn around. You're gonna become like your namesake for this Care Bear thing. It's gonna come on and eat you up, wrapper and all. Why? Just just turn around. Okay. Like Why that. can't they get a female actress? What? Yeah, this does feel weird. Why can't they get a female actress? Well, do you think they know women? Do you want lunch? Like, do I think, I don't know. I, I think it's like not even about knowing other people. Like, we all got spoiled by Brandon the Brony Pony who hired voice actors to play people in his tremendously embarrassing productions. Um, and, and so now we're back to the regular caliber of somebody just putting on, you know, funny voices. Uh, he's not even really trying to do voices, though. It's kind of just his voice twice. His One of them is a little higher pitched. Okay. Lexi, this is... Oh, what a shame. Yeah, Dude Man had, like, a girlfriend or whatever she was. I think that's the wife that he left for the doll. I, I don't know. There's lore. What is happening? Are they having sex? What's going on? See, like these these move these films exist. Whatever you would call these, they exist in this like strange liminal space, where like I don't know what is supposed to be what. These are supposed to be characters, but do they just live like in this world that's like your house? Is this supposed to be your house, or is this just like a location that they're in? Like, what's going on? Like, where are we in this story? I don't know what's happening. You're, like, setting yourself up for bait. Well, where the fuck are you? Where is this creature? None of this makes any fucking sense. Like, he seems that this is seemingly made without any joke or anything. This is intended to be, like, serious or, you know, we're supposed to watch it in some way like it's a narrative. It doesn't make any fucking sense. She's secretly the monster. It's like a David Lynch any, film. Anybody else I need? You need me to kidnap? Oh, hi, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am. No, that's it. Ma'am. So what's next? Well, we find those photos that Ash took of me. What? At that party we was at last Christmas. Oh, that's a, it's a... Bro, it's a fucking... It's a... It's a scam. It's all a scam. They're they're doing it. They're doing the thing. They're, this is like a... This is... Oh, it's a setup. It's all a fucking setup. She's... It's revenge. Yo, there's intrigue. It's just, it's a thriller. Pissed me off. It's happening. Techno girl over there was involved. Now they're both gone. What'd you do with her anyways? Hmm. Shipped it to Abu Dhabi. She won't be coming back. Cool. 
yeah, yeah, we f we skipped five seasons of whatever's happening. This is like, this is like the season six premiere. <laughs> we just jumped, we did, we pulled a Dylan is in trouble and just jumped to the final season. Yeah. Okay, you can go now. Final episode. What's up, guys? Uh, oh, hey, bro. Here. Uh, this, this plush doll sketch that I did was kind of an experiment. Oh. I've been wanting to do, like, um, sketches with, like, plush dolls and puppets oh this was like this was like his first uh, you know this was this was the first one that i did so. wow good job bro i'm glad you're getting out there you're putting yourself out there and that's huge that's big uh what uh what happens later on though vanellope's von schweetz execution agnes's epic laser canceling the 30-day challenge coppa this is from three years ago did he just stop making stuff yeah, he hasn't updated this in a while. He still makes f stuff, though, but I guess it's not in this series. And this last one here, there's one with a thousand views. Some of them have more views than others. Uh, Star Plush World, Dennis. I know what Dennis and Winnie is. Super Amy World, new plush doll channel. Oh, God, there's another channel. Hey, guys. Now I know so this one I think he did get like an a custom Amy Rose doll made. I remember this. It's like this is like a slightly fucking weird specific custom Amy. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen us on the channel for a while, it's because we moved to a different YouTube channel. This isn't gonna be our official plush doll channel. Look anymore. at those so we're not smooth arcs of hair. On Star Plush World anymore. We're gonna be a super Amy world. I like how depressed he sounds here. It's like what, like look at this is this is like a joke. I mean this is a fucking joke, dude. I'm sorry, but like, just this guy like, hey guys, hey, um, we're gonna be moving over to a different channel. Here, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, we're gonna be moving over to a different channel soon. Uh, I got it. I got basically what happened, but pretty much basically I got evicted from Star Plush World channel, and I have to make my own channel now. I'm I'm striking it out on my own. It's like the Cleveland Show, um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. And then you get this like you get this fucking you get this like fucking super colorful Super Amy World new plush vids every week. Like, are you gonna be alive come next week? Holy shit! I'm gonna put it, the link. In the description below that's gonna be our official plus this is real because, um, yeah we're, we're not uploaded on this channel anymore um, second um, we're not gonna be filming our inside plush doll skits in this room. so what why what happened wait you're not even filming in the same room what the fuck happened room anymore not ever again look um the people that we're staying with they make a lot of noise so always a lot of interference so we're about to start filming our inside plush doll sketches the people that are staying with me is that does that is that just the thing where people don't want to say they live with their mom or whatever like like the people the person i live with like yeah you could just say it's your fucking mom dude it's fine at Moses that's the least of your problems sister's house now we'll keep filming our Sonic outside dumpster. Skits. Yeah, this is so fucking depressing. It's like, why does this sound? Le it's legitimately like Amy. Like maybe this is within the canon of the the universe. Like Amy got voted off the island on the fucking story. Like the storyline, whatever fucking canon is happening, whatever story is happening, Amy got like kicked off, and she's just like, well, I'm gonna go make my own channel now. I'll try to strike it out on my own. Like. Maybe that's what's happening, because that's what it seems like. It's like when somebody's kicked out of a band, and they're like, well, I'll be doing my own thing. Like, like this is so strange. Again, this isn't as bad as the video that we first saw from this guy, where he was, like, sh fucking sockless, barefoot, walking through his kitchen with his Mario plushies, just, like, burping and coming all over the place. At the Hayward Park in it's great. Uh, Moses' uncle's apartment sounds complex. like he wants to die. Those are, you know, nice environments, so we'll still film our outside plush doll skits over there. So, like, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Now, I hope for those who follow Star Plush World, I hope I see you guys at the other...
Start plush world skits. Wait, 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 hang on. For those who follow Star Plush World, I hope I see you guys at the other channel. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool, plus we're about to start. Okay. Okay. Okay, Super Amy World. Seventy five subscribers, twenty nine videos. Hasn't uploaded in three years. Did this guy just wait? Did this guy just completely give up? Because he this, he hasn't hey guys, uploaded this and now I know you guys years. haven't seen us on the channel for a while okay. because. Oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! So he's he uploaded eight months ago, but not since then. Psycho Badger smashes microwave. Found some new VHS movies. Sonic the Hedgehog shorts compilation. So we uh, we watched the Big the Cat one. Yeah. I didn't see this that he had a separate channel here. I guess he mostly gave up again with the fucking Jeffy. God, I hate this fucking doll. Jesus Christ. I think I agree with One Up Films. Like, yeah, fuck this, fuck this pencil nose kid. I'm so sick of this fucking character, dude. Uh, Zelda, Zelda's Chipotle tacos. Let's watch. Ah, I see what they eat in the kitchen. Oh. Hey, Zelda went shopping. So dip tacos. Oh, Hell yeah, dude. Oh, I'm gonna eat these right now. Freeze, virgin. Freeze, virgin. You get laid. So so what? That now there's like editing. She called him a virgin. What is happening? So messed up, Zelda. Look, you're my friend. I know everything about you, buddy. What? Why would you call me that? You know I'm trying to- <laughs> Face Virgin! Somebody needs to clip that. That's great. Never mind. <laughs> Can I at least just have a little Yeah, bite? why is it so bright? No, I worked too hard to get that food and all this grocery shopping. <sighs> Fine. Hey Zelda, how's my best friend doing? No, Link, you cannot have my tacos. Oh, I just want some tacos. Look, I hid them somewhere where you can't find them, okay? Ah, oh, you suck. So, this, like, you know, I've lived in apartments before that had like the shitty artificial light and it looks all yellow and, and everything. But like, man, you could install a lamp in this corner or something so this doesn't look like you're gonna get attacked by a shadow creature when you turn your back. Like, I don't know, dude. This place looks dingy as hell. This is like a King Cobra apartment on crack. This is like the back rooms had furniture moved into it. Like, I, I would not live here, and it's not adding a good vibe to this children's doll plushy video with your hairy-ass grown man arm fondling the little toon Zelda. Fuck. Talking now leave me about, alone, I'm trying to watch my show. Talking about tacos. Oh, fine, I hope you get coronavirus. <laughs> God. Hey, I can't get any tacos. This is a great channel. <laughs> now it's way too dark, yeah. That's too bright again. I thought she said she hid it somewhere where I couldn't... You know what, screw it. Huh. I mean, that's women for you. Always hide- I want some that, that classic women stereotype. They're always hiding their tacos in the fridge, you know? And, you know, men know that. I don't know what- That's what- That was in the Barbie movie. I mentioned I really liked the Barbie movie. That was a part of it. They talked about how women are always hiding their tacos in the- In the thing. They also talk about that in Deus Ex Human Revolution. It's weird. Darn it. I have to eat these tacos. I don't care what Zelda says. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, she poisoned them. Oh my god. I can't believe she's done this. Uh, people in chat are saying that he's been essentially stolen all of his sound effects from Super Mario Logan. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. This It's amazing how that fucking guy has like spawned an entire like an entire genre of people like this just forever he's dead he's fucking dead and she's so happy about this this is like in the fucking cdi game where the thing dies and she's like good and she just walks away don't worry you guys 
It was just a spell. I just put Link to sleep. Okay, all right, all right. Never mind, never mind. He's just asleep contorting with Bonitis, right. And the spell is going to keep him from touching my stuff. Not just my snacks, but everything. Get out of here. That's the now, whole video. Oh, I'm so glad I made this spell. Well, he'll be sleeping for a while, folks. Can you clean your pan? Look at that pan. Look at the pan. Like, you d wash your kitchen a little before you do the recording, bro. What if you drop your plushie into the fucking scum water in your skillet? What then? What becomes of the, the, the Toon Zelda then? Then she becomes Tex-Mex Zelda. And you don't want that. Alright, remember to like, subscribe. Remember to like and subscribe. That's the whole video. I mean, shit, that video gave us a freeze virgin. So we can't, we can't downplay that. That's important. Uh, Amy the Hedgehog, the reality on YouTube. I guess we have to stop now. We gotta stop now. That's enough for plushy people. We've looked at plushy people. That's plushy people. We we have spun the wheel to get plushy people, and we've done a little bit of plushy people. Let's move on. Plushy people and Mario adults both. Um, but let's let's move on. Uh, this is uh, this is the wheel, and we're gonna spin. We've gotten uh, AI stuff and 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 the plushy people. Um, I'm hoping we get some more control alt delete, but I also want to just do a full stream of more control alt delete soon, so maybe we'll do that. Uh, speed! Speed! Oh, the, oh, right on the wire. Okay, well, this is interesting. We haven't really landed on this one before, but I've always been uh, looking for. I think we, we might have landed on this before, but I've always been looking forward to, to doing this one. Um, old VHS tapes, so. I have a few channels <clears throat> that are just uh, Dr. Rip VHS. Here is one of them. And he uploads stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, we might find something here. This is a little bit of a best of the worst or wheel of the worst segment, just like weird VHS training videos and shit. Desert Storm, one year anniversary. Uh, Awaken to zero point, the video. What the fuck is that it's three and a half hours long Okay, very loud. Is that a zero point? Is it like an instrument? I don't know. How is it still loud? That's awful. Life on Earth is very different from the life on Earth. Oh my today. goodness. There was much space on the land. Chat, this is like video graphics to rival Toy Story right here. A few people to occupy that space. And we remember. We remember the true nature. We remember. The compassion of our lives. Uh -huh. We remembered the gift of this world and the beauty within this world, the gift that we've come to call life. I mean, this is like music videos. It was licensed from fucking BMG or whatever, one of the music companies. I think I had this as a screensaver as a kid. And then something began to happen. Our lives changed as the memory of that gift began to fade. Feeling separate from the very world. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god! We began to Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, what, what is happening? Surrogates of our perceptions to explore. And now. Oh yeah, the graphics are great! As Better CGI stars, than Marvel! It's the memory of ourselves. Moving into the farthest reaches of space. I like to imagine space is just like a Mario platformer level. Like it's like Rico Harbor just surrounding a fucking space shuttle from NASA. That's 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 my version of space. Plunging deep in I guess it would be Mario Galaxy, wouldn't it? Quantum world of Mario Galaxy is fucking garbage though, dude. 
We find you know, the better the Mario game that's in space is Super Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy. Six golden coins, motherfucker. You don't need Mario Galaxy. You go to space in that one and it's way better. Fuck you. There is a force. There's a force that eludes explanation. This is like Terrence McKenna talking about fucking taking DMT and seeing machine elves. There is a... There is a hum. There is a tone. A... Scientists see this as a field that cannot be measured. A field that defies engineering. They call this an intelligence. That force, that field, that intelligence that binds all in its creation, the ancients called spirit. Bum, bum, bum. All of the data. Bow, wow, wow. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Do I still have that open? Oh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I was gonna play the the vampire song. Of the measurement. Wow, 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 wow. Point back to you and I, asking us to remember, asking us to once again know the mystery within. Collectively. As we approach this time in history that the ancients called the shift of the ages, our own... Yo, so is this, um... Like, what... What is this, exactly? Because we're six and a half minutes in, and I I don't know what this is. I, I still legitimately... Like, there was a guy with a flute. I don't know if that's the guy talking. Um, I didn't know if... It's called Introduction Awaken to Zero Point. And, and the flute, I thought that might be the name of it, or like it's a music thing, but no. Now there's all these, like, visuals, and he's talking about how we're reaching the time of whatever, and it sounds like an Ashtar video. It sounds like I clicked on Ashtar stuff. And, and I'm not complaining, but I am alarmed. I'm, I'm alarmed. Science is directing us back to ourselves. Back to the very nature of our being, back to what is very possibly this is like the single Marshall most Applewhite. sophisticated technology ever to have graced this world with its presence. It's the mystery of you and I, the mystery of life. Uh -huh. Through this mysterious force, expressing as our lives, once again we will know ourselves, and in that knowing, once again, you and I will remember. Yeah, there's a song from fucking, there's a song from Porcupine Tree that, uh... That they played at the concert for the first time in like 20 years that I saw last year. Uh, it, uh, I said, Porcupine Tree song, Last Chance to Evacuate Planet Earth. Uh, and, and it's just, it's got this long segment in the middle that's like a clip from Marshall Applewhite from um, Heaven's Gate. And it's this like sermon thing that he did where he's like, We came from distant space and somewhat of another dimension, and we're about to return from whence we came, and I would like to title this day Last Chance to Evacuate Earth Before It Is Recycled. And that's exactly what this sounds like to me. It's, 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 it's creepy. I mean, I thought I would, you, you go into this and I'm joking about, oh, this sounds like a cult thing, but it immediately sounds like a cult thing. I love the music, though. It and might I be Scientology. This presentation together. There he is! Oh god, uh oh, it's Jesus. Oh no, it's Jesus. Okay, hang on. I gotta go get a drink. I, I gotta go get a drink. Um, I'll be right back. Um, oh god, it's Jesus. Okay. We're about to get holy, everybody. Holy, holy, hallelujah. I'll be, I'll be... God damn it. Alright, I'll, <laughs> I'll be right back. So, this is going to be Jesus' love and uh, awakening to the beauty of Christ, salvation, uh, in his name, capital H, his, um, capital N name, maybe, I don't know. Uh, the rapture? Is it going to be about the... He's talking about we're approaching the time or whatever. It's it's very, like, end of days. It's it, the the... the 
the the awakening is soon to like it sounds it sounds like one of those i don't know it was so clear to me through my life experience and my life i'm not drunk it's a coke passion would play such a key role in the unfolding of this information uh through my life experience two near-death experiences in 1959 leading to a series uh -huh. of synchronistic experiences, uh, sacred journeys all over the world. Wait, when? Culminating in life experience, two near-death experiences in 1959. 59? Leading to a series of How? What is zero point? You'll just have to watch. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Rip VHS, for preparing us. I say that because I didn't watch this, so I have no idea what zero point is. I know Zero Hour is the movie that they based Airplane on, but that's all I've got. <laughs> uh, well, that's, you know, you, you did your best. Um, but it doesn't say when it's from or anything. So, I mean, this looks like the 80s. The guy's got 80s hair. In 1959, he doesn't look that old, so he would have been like a kid probably, right? Um, so he would have been, yeah, uh, I don't know. Synchronistic experiences, uh, sacred journeys all over the world, culminating in Mount Sinai, 1986, uh, in early 1987. Uh, compassion became to me the key to the graceful transition that we are asking ourselves to allow uh, as we live uh -oh. these days of the shift of the ages, the ancients call uh, the shift of the ages. Uh... In, this is Y2K, I mean... Uh, in looking for an image that to me conveys the feeling of compassion, I came across uh, this image, the image uh, of Archangel Mikael. Well, that's not Jesus, okay, it's a different god. From uh, an artist. A artist. different godly boy. It's a very good friend of mine, uh, Cheryl Yonbach Rose. She lives in the Mount Shasta area. She created this image the evening that the United States began bombing in the Gulf War. Huh. She went to bed that evening. What was that like the early 90s or something then? So this is... After yeah. turning off the television and Gulf seeing War. that we had, in fact, uh, begun the bombing. And this vision came to... Five bucks from Stephen Victoria. As a Catholic, don't trust this guy. This is cult stuff, allegedly. Yeah, people in chat are mentioning... Um, somebody was saying that it was like... Uh, Somebody was saying that it was like, uh, this, this guy's kind of, uh, he's known for talking about the magnetic p power of something like kind of a, a spiritual woohoo type of person. There were references in chat to car man. What was it here? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Greg Braden is an American New Age author who is known for his appearances in Ancient Aliens. He became noted for his claim that the magnetic polarity of the Earth was about to reverse. So, the, reverse, right. We're going to uh, flip it and reverse it, the Earth, and, and that's what he's talking about? The, the world's going to reverse or something, right. It's a vision of Archangel Mikhail Mikhail. in the Earth and the power of his presence and as you can see he is in prayer over a very specific portion of the earth this is over the middle east where the conflict was occurring and the entire earth is suspended over this cup the chalice cup of christ the cup of transformation and cheryl had a prayer that came with a vision that evening and to me her prayer cheryl embodies did, huh? the science of compassion her prayer was this that no one would ever win this conflict this is no three and a half hours long. What happens here? He's talking about the Earth. What's going on? What's what's up, buddy? Tell me about your. your really, ideas. really beginning to understand um, the meaning of what these phenomena mean. And I'll be very clear about this right now. Well, tell For me, me. Tell me about how you really feel. Understanding the meaning of the events as they're unfolding in our lives provides a context, and it is within that context. That you and I will move very quickly. We seek to create context, Jack. Beyond the charts and the graphs and the magnetics and the frequencies and all the things, all the technical all the vibes. things we're seeking now. We'll move beyond that into the very real, the very feeling, the very emotional world of our day-to-day -day lives and our relationships. The many styles, the many feelings, the many emotions of Costanza. And why those patterns, why the patterns of relationship are shifting so quickly right now and what that means to the genetic makeup of our bodies. So, does he just stand here this entire t What the fuck? This scale represents 4.5 million years. 4.5 okay. million years. 
And what we're seeing here, the, the two uh, columns that I'll call your attention to, is this column right I mean, This here. is literally too fucking blurry to see any of this. I don't know what any of these words are. I have no frame of reference for what to assume some of them might be. Chicago, Chibi, Jew Mile, Lansdowne, Whale, Puberty Range. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out Age of Incontinence Part 1 featuring. I can't, I'm trying to read what some of these are, but I'm not getting anything really. Here are these little boxes, and then right next to it, this column right here. And what these columns represent, each of these blocks represents a, a period of... I like the chat message. Wait, what in righteous hell he's cooking? <laughs> like, yeah, he's up to something. He's got a whole graph. That's what got me paused here. He had another one, too. It was, uh, yeah, he's doing, he's doing hard science here, everybody. Whatever this is. When you see low fields, uh -huh. what you are seeing is a decrease... In the rotation of the do you Earth. think okay do you think time cube guy saw this uh gene ray do you think this is an inspiration to gene ray's philosophy because immediately i'm just imagine i'm thinking about gene ray i mean this guy's american would have been around around about the same time gene ray might have had this videotape in like the 80s early 90s whenever it came out and that formulated his whole time cube four day time earth conspiracy I like to imagine so. Anyway, that's my head cannon. That's precisely what is happening. Earth right now. Yeah, the Earth is beach ball. Down, it rotates slower and slower each year. Our researchers know this. Researchers know this. Um, they measure this. The National Bureau of Standards in Boulder, Colorado. Oh, yeah, I did hate Every God. That's year, true. They must adjust the atomic clocks, the cesium-based clocks that keep track of our time. Cesium. They have to adjust those clocks to compensate. For the slowing of Earth's rotation. Uh -huh. Now, admittedly, it's not very much that they have to do the adjustments. They're very, well, very small. I obviously, know nothing about the fucking rotation of the Earth, but like recently, don't worry, he clearly does. We got, uh, we got a slur here. I don't know why you're using this terminology, sir, but that goes down, and then over time, frequency goes up. And now we're losing even more. It's happening. Oh, that's oh. Quicker. Oh, that says mass. Oh, oh, I saw a, I saw an AGS, and I didn't, I didn't see the first. Okay, that was that's an that's an that's an S, not a G. Okay. We can say mass, the mass. more that the fields drop, the faster they drop. Right, uh, right. Through mutual friends, I had the uh, the opportunity to uh, to talk about this information with someone from the the Geo Monitor uh, organization. Uh, they keep track of things like this, this kind of information, magnetics, frequency, and such. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they said, yes, they in fact, the Earth's magnetics are dropping. So this is, eight. Like, make no mistake, chat member who was saying, who was posting ZZZ emojis, this is boring. You're not wrong. But at the same time... So I'm going to make a distinction between the Egyptian, the Tibetan, uh, and the uh, uh, traditional like this is fasc fascinating to me it's a little boring but it's also fascinating because this is this guy's like this is this dude i've never heard of with a three and a half hour video detailing like his strange woohoo wacky philosophy about god and magnets and something and it's it's like it's like fucking flat earth cube earth time cube earth bullshit and and it's like a theory of everything where he's mixing in like Egyptian Tibetan bullshit and 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 like I, I I don't know it's a little bit fascinating I have to at least skim through all of it to see where he's going with it. Christian traditions and, and the mystery schools are saying something very different um, between these traditions and uh, and the mystery schools as we'll show them to you. Yeah, it's fascinating and and boring. It's very strange. So here's a tool album cover over here. <laughs> I don't do I don't do Tool really. I haven't listened to much Tool. Is this accurate? Is that is is this just a, is this just a Tool album cover? Because that's exactly what it looks like. So again, this is one of Alex Gray's drawing, beautiful draw drawings. This is a, a beautiful image of that moment where the soul transitions from the physical body. The physical body is left to deteriorate. It is the vibratory pattern of the soul, the will uh -huh. that holds these elements together, allowing this body to be what the body is. 
So through those, he says this is literally a tool level. You use the word literally. I mean, I think this is from before when tool existed. So I'm going to assume you're not using that word literally, literally. But I could see this being one. Yes, uh, and this guy from this angle, unrelated to any of that, he looks like he's wearing a Star Trek uniform a little bit. Conditions. What we are. Yeah, the 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 mic on the shirt from a certain angle looks like one of those like Star Trek logos like on the on the on the the starfleet uniform or whatever what we are conditioned to believe is at some point in our lives the the essence of our being transitions from the physical body into another form of experience existence and this body returns to the elements from which it was borrowed back to the earth ashes to ashes dust to dust that is a path mm. that is our conditioning in the western world and that is a choice. And now I'm going to the Western world, men of the West. So he hasn't really been that Jesusy so far in this. I mean, he opened up with the the Saint Michael or whatever, Mikhail. Uh, but but now he's just kind of going into like history and like New Age bullshit and and I don't know what's oh what's this Essene texts and forgotten books. Uh, into a, uh, a, a smaller form, some Books of the books of the that Bible. were taken out uh, of our text remain in the Dead Sea Scrolls, remain in the Nag Hammadi Scrolls, the Nag Hammadi text, also discovered in, uh, in 1947. So he's telling people to read, like, weirdo, obscure Bibles or something? In the uh, Tibetan text. Look at what some of these books are all about. This is fascinating information. Um, uh, the Gospel of the Birth of Mary. This is a beautiful... Uh, body of information that d details the, the life Dead of Sea Mary. Scroll. Is this a is this a, th a known thing? I've never heard. Is this like a? He's talking about like an a, an alternative like secret Bible where there's secret stuff that they don't teach you in the real Bible. And I don't get that in the Walmart brand King James, baby. You gotta. Mary, is that what's happening? Uh, Mary's mother, for example, eighty one years old when she gave birth. To, uh, to the verse. Someone in chat just goes, So Sans is Ness! Like, <laughs> just, just use this as like a reaction image for somebody. Like, it's like the guy with the whiteboard who's like explaining, just, yeah. Let's just use this. Let's be like, Ah, oh, right, so Ridley's confirmed for Smash. Gotcha, gotcha. Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus. And, um, and Mary's mother had been barren for those 81 years. Had never given, given birth to anyone else. <laughs> Uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls are a thing. All right then. Well, you know, I'm not, I'm not educated, but I mean, he does seem to have some opinions about that, and, and I guess these are like books of the Bible that were removed, rediscovered, the secrets of Enoch. Right. Mary was 14 Nicodemus. years old when she married her husband Joseph. All that information. The Essene mystery schools played a key role in these women's lives as they were Essene initiates. Uh, oh, wow. The books of visions of the prophets, uh, and the letters of Herod and Pilate. Uh, this is an especially interesting book. Uh, we'll go back to that. She was 14 when she met. No, no we're just going to move on from. Okay. Between these two men, uh, the letters were yeah. written immediately following the crucifixion of Christ, and, and the letters go something like this: Pilate wrote a letter to Herod, uh, who was the, the king at that time, and okay, said, "Okay, boring. <laughs> next, what's the next part? Uh, we got like people on like a cross or something. Is this Ashtar? No, it's Jesus or M Mikhail, I guess." Ride in the transition with the earth as the earth goes through her changes. Our bodies are being asked to go through theirs. So anyway, here's a Boards of Canada album cover. Uh, the image that you're seeing is uh, a frozen image, a still image, uh, of uh, a dynamic system from a science that we call the science of cymatics, the relationship between sound and form. In this pattern, you'll begin to understand now why the magnetics of the Earth falling and the frequency... Uh, uh, uh -huh. So that's the end of part one. Here he's talking changes. about everything down in the system uh, must respond. Wow, he really made cask so much shit to go along with this and just like talked for like three and a half hours and sold people this. Like, man, say what you will about a guy like this and whether or not you can trust him or believe what he says or if he's full of shit or whatever, but 
man, he is able to bullshit for three and a half hours. That's something. He's able to go out there and just sell you a car for three and a half hours, but instead of a car, it's like, whatever this is. <laughs> He's able to do that. And people probably believed him. Some people, anyway. Down through this like, circuit. he brought charts, motherfucker. He brought spreadsheets. He came prepared. That's what you do. You come with weirdo spreadsheets and whatever this is. Frequencies. And there's an Abe Lincoln over here. Uh, masks of fear. We're getting into Persona. Uh, accepted definition of life. Uh, there's like... Now, we have codes for these uh, for these antennas. Uh, uh -huh. And our codes are three-digit codes. Right. DNA on this Wait, image. DNA. What, so it's all in the magnets, bro. It's all it's all in the magnets, and he comes back to some of these. We get is there another tool album cover here? Wait, a, hang on a sec. I saw another tool album cover. Okay, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Emotion and feeling trip the I know of the pieces fit. I know the pieces that. fit. That's the only lyric I know from that whole band. <laughs> entire band i know one line from that one song i just i know the pieces right, so let's, fit. It. let's see let's see what we've got here we've just covered a lot of ground in a short period of time what uh what you're seeing here this bitch bitch it's been two hours and ten minutes it's not been a short period of time what the fuck are you well you, come on don't say that is, uh an image a schematic of an electromagnetic experience. The blue that you're seeing here, this is the electrical portion, this is thought. Oh. An emotion. Uh, and it's offset a thought. by 90 degrees from this thought. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. uh, here's the torture chamber, right? These are dating, too. This is like where the ISIS kills people? These chambers in sacred sites. Oh, well, possibly the best. Okay. Wow, okay, so this is like kind of fascinatingly boring and interesting. An There's a Dead Mouse album cover or, or something. This is a cool album cover, whatever this is. This would be a good album cover. Of, and then uh, and then for like the EP side project, circles. he put out this one. Like for, for the EP, the acoustic side version of the same album, you put out this one with this, this album cover. I could definitely see that. Um... A lot of good album covers. I like this Jesus face here. That's a good, that's like, it's it's kind of fucked up a little, you know? And then we got Hologram. this. The whole pattern is whole and complete unto itself. Right. And if you were to take any little portion of this whole out and examine it closely, you will see the entire pattern repeating itself uh, again and again and again. This is the way the Mandelbrot set works. The this entire image is Mandelbaum. Mandelbaum. Move yourself from the pattern oh, of life. Boy. You are holographic in nature. No matter where you move to, what part of the world, what part of the country. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Here we go. Let me just uh just uh What is it called? Yeah. Alright, well, we're getting copyright fucked, but that's okay. The pattern that we began with. Your relationships work in this manner. Your life works in this manner. The patterns are with you no matter where you go, no matter how far deeply into your life you move, or how far you attempt to remove yourself from the patterns of life. You are holographic in nature, no matter where you move to, what part of the world, what part of the country, no matter how many relationships you move into, or uh -huh. of, how many friendships you choose to initiate or complete, the wow, patterns dude. of your life remain the same because they are holographic in nature. Holographic. And now you see as we approach the end of the lifetime of this mathematical equation. We're approaching the end of our cycle. What we are completing with is precisely the same thing that we began with. The Mandelbrot itself. No matter how deeply into this pattern we would move, if we were to begin once again now, 
to look deeply into this the kaleidoscope of space weirdness same thing happening again you would see precisely these little mandel brought sets one after another after another again and again reflecting R right each of them mandel brought sets there's a story uh, that was recorded in the journals of the Spaniards when they came to this country uh, to explore the new world as they were exploring new paths. Uh, oh, um, we're on an amazing flight in space! A, a meeting with an indigenous tribe in the southern tip of Africa with a tribal shaman who had never seen white men before, who had never seen the shaman Never seen the white men before. And when the shaman, in his language, the shaman? communicated to them, communicated to them the question, where did you come from? And the Spaniards pointed to their ships out on the sea. The tribal shaman looked at them and he what said, What are you talking what? about, shaman? Because even though his eyes were looking the at the... The stamen of the shaman? The large wooden planks and the large canvas sails, they were so foreign to his expression of life. They were so foreign to his framework of reference that he did not recognize those patterns. And he was fascinated by this. And the shaman so, began to work with us, and he said, you know? So, so yeah, we're really going, he's telling this whole story. There's music in this, too. If I play with this pattern, if I... Like, if we just listen to the music here, there's like... Point my eyes a specific wow! way, I think I'm doing to And although that's interesting, the really interesting thing is this. It wasn't long before his... There's like synthy noises happening, but it's... And yeah, it's this whole thing is like a... Kind of like a music video. I mean, when there's like graphics and shit happening in this, it's pretty cool. But all the 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 ninety percent of this that's just him like standing in front of a thing and talking is pretty 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 bad. Entire tribe was able to see those ships, even though they were not on the shore with him. Why? Why did they learn to see differently? even though they weren't on the shore having the same experience that he had. The answer to that is what we call- Please bring your music back. Well, that was just Nostalgia Factory from Porcupine Tree. That's, that's first album Porcupine Tree, baby, when they were still, when they were still like a trippy psychedelic band. Uh, I, I used that one when we were doing that one drug cartoon where the kid fell into the drug dimension. And, and, and Bugs Bunny was there or whatever the fuck was happening. Collective resonance. And it is through collective resonance that you and I have the opportunity through compassion. It doesn't take many. So, so this just looks like a razor blade. I don't know about that. I don't think that's the answer. Um, this guy's preaching some more. He's doing some preaching. He does a bunch of preaching. What is this? Seven Essene Mysteries of Self. The first mirror, second and third, fourth to seventh. The mirror, is that, is, that, is that the word is? The mirror of the moment, the mirror of that which is judged, the mirror of that which is green text lost, green text given away, green text taken away. I seriously hope you guys don't do this. Uh, the mirror of most forgotten li lo love. That's love. Okay. Is you're able to see these mysteries. The, the mysteries of the mirror of um, what you are in the moment. Yeah, the it's mystery like an analog horror about cults or something. Yeah. It's, uh, again, fascinatingly boring. It is both dull, dull as all hell, but also really interesting. I think that's enough from that, though. That's zero point. Three and a half hours of that uh, for your soul. Let's do, like, another one here. Maybe something a little shorter or something else we can just, like, skim through. I mean, we got a Ronald McDonald cartoon. I'm already going to get copyright fucked by <clears throat> Porcupine Tree. So we could probably stand to watch a Ronald McDonald cartoon. Self-hypnosis training. Didn't Red Letter Media watch this? This whole channel is like Wheel of the Worst. Leslie Sansone's In Home Walking. Wait, what is this? This is just a video about how to walk in place. A lot of calories and you're going to continue to burn a lot of calories. Oh my God. One nice thing about these intense short workouts. After the next... Intense workout right here, Chuck. Three, four, five hours after, you're going to burn more calories because muscle activity will stay high. Chat, chat is going crazy for, for McDonald's cartoon. Chat... If you're good, we'll go to McDonald's later, okay? Down, down, up, 
Down. We up. gotta go to mommy's gym first. Down. Up. Just bend. 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 <laughs> and six, seven, four more times. Four. Bend. Those knees. Get a little stretch. You whore. Bend those fucking knees. All right, now bring the elbows oh, down and behind oh, you. Oh, forward and fan out your back. Say tyrant. If you can get your hands. Oh god! Oh god! It's loud. Back there. And hold on. Get your hands back to your ass. What is happening exactly with this wall? This is, this is legitimately. Oh 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 no! Is there skits? What is this? I got liquid protein, oh, and God. you walk to the town wall to the house. I survive. Okay, okay, we have to watch this. We have to watch whatever this is. Hang on, this is like long. Why is this long? See you the next time. Uh, okay. Bye bye. Let me go see where the kids are. Bye bye. <laughs> go check out the kids. Right. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Leslie Sansone, and this is my sister, Tony Ulrich. We have come together today. Oh, she does not look like she wants to be here. A great wait, Hi wait. Hi everybody, I'm Leslie Sansone, uh -huh. and this is my sister, my sister. Tony Ulrich. We have... This lady doesn't necessarily look... I don't... Th are they sisters? Maybe. They kind of look similar. I guess I could see it. The one on the the one on the left looks like Anita Sarkeesian. <laughs> Come together today to bring you a great program that I feel is needed because I've been in the fitness industry for 19 years, and, and many people coming to my fitness center and using my exercise videos. Right. It's, so, it's the most natural. So it's not a skit. It looked like it was so fake before, but they're just talking. And the formula is called. Uh, this is yes, just fitness? You're, you're right. Okay, then never mind. We gotta go back to... Wow, there's a lot of this, too. Is this the whole second half? Where's the part where she's walking indoors? Is that just this? Was she doing that already? I guess kind of. She was like... The heart rate is going right where you need it. This is what you buy this tape for. In-home walking. Like, you buy a tape to teach you how to fucking walk in place. To, 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 to do fucking, to, to fake walking, like move your legs a little bit. You, why? Why would you get this tape? To go for you to get a great conditioning This workout. better have been a horrible failure. For your heart and lungs. That's it. Kick. That's it. And kick, kick, kick. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep the kicks going. Now, when your right foot is up, Oh man, you could really turn this into a beat or something. You could, you could, you could add some beats to this. So, so we got a bit of walking here. Um, Kathy Ireland reach. I guess we'll look at a bit of the McDonald's one here for chat for chat's edification. Oh, Planet McDonald's. It's in 3D, chat. Oh my God. Oh, I love it. There's like a funky shelf and and that looks like a terrible shelf to put anything in, but 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 there's a burger bed. There's like a, a plant in the fucking fireplace. Uh-huh. Oh my goodness gracious, Dr. VH Dr. Rip VHS, can you can you deal with the audio just a little bit? I don't know, man. Is this okay? Okay, so this is um, right, right. Okay, uh, so this is real. This is, I guess, a not um, this is a this is like an animated short film or something. It's forty minutes. It's like it's like the fucking super show. Like there's a live action intro, I guess, and then it goes to animation. We're in Sunday. Do people remember this? Gotta get ready to enjoy the view. Looking kind of cool, looking kind of new. There are things we should be trying. I might legitimately eat McDonald's today, so don't ever tell you. Don't ever let me tell you that advertising doesn't work on a motherfucker. In me and you, a new day's here and fun is overdue. Huh, huh. Getting even cooler. There's irrepressible thoughts of death. Ronald. I, I like into that. a new beat. Got a tingling inside. Gets sick of this perfect contraption mouse trap house that he lives in. Me and it's spread into my feet. McDonald land is changing. 
Everything is rearranging. Oh, oh, oh god, what the fuck? What is he doing to these character designs? Why does that look like a, a Jerry Seinfeld Ronald McDonald now? I can't sit still because it's a beautiful day. And Ronald McDonald's got the editing too. And then there's like the, the. I mean, I love the set. The set is great with that. The different doors. Something to say. Like, if you're a little kid, this is definitely designed to make you, to get your attention. I mean, I mean, obviously it is, but, like, it's it's working. If I was a little kid, this is what I want to see, is, like, weird-shaped doors and, like, mystery doors in a house that gets my mind working. The walls are, like, ketchup and mustard with a, with a relish trim. I don't even think they do relish there, you know, but that's fine. Oh my god. Oh, it's literally just the Barbie movie though. I'm making jokes, but now it's Astronaut Ronald. Where where is where is Supreme Court and President Ronald? like an intro that's live action and now i guess we're getting into people are saying it's klasky chupo uh the the rugrats animators and like early simpsons and shit i think uh big big time name and animation i guess so let me this. get this straight you carbotine seems that like i'm probably gonna get fucked copyright wise but again I, I guess it doesn't it doesn't matter really as long as you get to watch it while we're live, it's it's fine, it's fine. Ship, cut it up and glue it back together inside a little bottle. That's the idea. We're still live action. This really is the 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 McDonald's Super Show. Somebody needs Vinny needs to show, to see this, because this is li like live action intro segment, and then it it's gonna cut to like animation, like it. But it's McDonald's instead of Mario, and it seems to be. Like, I don't know, the animation is probably going to be a little better because it's got, I mean, it's, it's like Klasky Chupo. Isn't it neat? Neat? Ronald, this is a very unusual hobby. Now, if I could only get this last piece to stay, it... Ooh. Oh! Don't get up. I'll get it. Oh, thanks, Roger Sunday. Buzzing. Oh. Hang on, hang on. This was well-known, well huh? Old resident Sunday speaking. Like, where did you get the, I guess you get this at McDonald's. There's, like, probably Happy Meals that gave this out. This is probably before my time, but I'm willing to believe people, you know, remember this. Uh, I've just never heard of this, necessarily. This is, this is, this is fun. This is some good nostalgia. This reminds me of that era. This reminds me of, like, you go to, like, a Pizza Hut and they've got, like, some kind of PlayStation deal or... You know, you know this this reminds me of like you go to a McDonald's and you go to like the play place with like the little N64, the communal N64 and you could play like Excite Bike 64 while people are throwing ball pit balls around or whatever like that's the, you know that kind of like Well, he's kind of busy with a ship and a bottle. Hmm. Ah, 98. Oh, yeah, I believe calling. it. <laughs> I mean, this is definitely filmed like one of those 1990s 2000s like super extreme in your face commercials uh i guess it was more 90s 2000s was like super apathy no no i don't know that might be backwards 2000s start because because in when i grew up mostly in the 2000s and they had like the fucking pizza pocket ads that was canada but like i don't know there were some gross out ones was a little bit apathy too. <laughs> But this is like that wacky sped up shit. This is like hey, the commercials from this era. Hi, <laughs> Guess what I just got? A new shower cap? <laughs> a sock puppet? Uh, no, not that either. A baby duck. No. It's just like Brian Griffin. Why is why does Ronald have a Brian? Why does this dog? Uh, no, not that either. I love CG Grimace. A baby duck. This is, this is, it's, it's Brian Griffin. It's just like a puppet, gr grumpy dog. He's even got the same, he's like the same type of dog. He's got the same nose and everything. No! I give up. What'd you get? A letter. Oh, that's great, Grimace. What's it say? Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> uh, I've just been looking at it. Oh, Russian.
rest in peace, dog. That's fucking reboot graphics and grimace over Great. here. Great. Don't you want to know what it says? Sure. Well, open it up. See what it says. Uh, yeah, I mean, reboot graphics, actually, I'm thinking more. It looks like the fucking Amazing Bulk. It, the, the Grimace looks like the Amazing Bulk. This is great. Hurry, right, right, Grimace. I'm on pins and needles. Dear Grimace, we need to... It says A. I got the letter A. What does that mean, Ronald? That means you're a slut, Grimace! Help! You're our only uh -huh. hope. Save us, please. There's a treasure if you do. Signed, all the Grimaces of Grimace Island. Grimace Island. Grimace Island. This is a race of people. We're learning the lore of Grimaces. Yeah. I always wanted to know what a Grimace was. This is great. It's the original home of all the world's Grimaces. Oh, a great big island that's been lost for hundreds of years. Lost Grimaces. Why am I not surprised? Peter, you can't possibly want to go to this Grimace Island. Ah, shut the hell up, Brian. This is gonna be just like that time I went to Tahiti, but I thought it was I thought it was the the fruit punch instead of the island. Can I help? Uh, I don't know. This sounds way too scary. Don't be frightened, Grimace. We'll all go. We'll make so, it. So 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 this is that thing where Grimace is being called Grimace as and that's his name. But there's an island of people that are called Grimaces. So that's also just his people. So it is, it's like, it's like just naming your character human. Like, don't, don't worry about it, human. We're going to go to Human Island where there are other humans like you. And we're going to talk to those humans who will all have their own names probably. But for some reason, you'll just be called the name of your race, your entire ge ge like species for some reason. Adventure out of it. Gee, Ronald, you do that for me? What are friends for? I don't know. <laughs> what, what? Look, meet us at the <laughs> McDonald's <laughs> dock in five minutes. <laughs> I don't know, Ronald. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I didn't know it was piano practice time. That sounds great, Birdie. Oh, Birdie, are you one of the chicks? So what? Okay, so Grimace is like... We're gonna find out what Grimace is, maybe, when we go to Grimace Island. But, like, what the fuck? There's a bird character? So is that supposed to be all of the chicken McNuggets that you eat? This Is that what she represents? Like, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know if I like that. You can Why is there a bird? Practice over! Hey, Hamburglar! Hi, Ronald. Hi, Sunday. What's now, Hamburglar, here's a character I can get behind. This guy just, this guy's... This guy's like a libertarian, you know? He just sees what he wants and he takes it and God so help you if you violate his NAP, you know? Like he he's this is this is this is the kind of guy we need to run for president of McDonald land, frankly. You know, we don't need any of that. We don't need any of that Mayor McCheese guff. But. You guys, Grimace needs our help. He just got a letter asking him to save an island full of grimaces with a treasure on it. Treasure? Island? Well, what well. Is oh, this is gonna be great. This could be big. Terrific. Go get Why is the Hamburglar like one of their friends? Do they? Is he like a Robin Hood hamburger burglar man, and he like steals burgers for the good guy? Does he? So my th my head canon now for the Hamburglar is that he like goes. He's like a secret agent, and they send him into like like terrorist occupied zones to like retrieve burgers. So for 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 them to eat, and like they, yeah, like that he goes in real sneakily and he he steals the enemy burgers, and and that's that's his that's his mission. That's that's what I think he does. He's like a he's like a covert burger op. Our new friend Franklin. Cause like I I don't know if he's like I thought he was a bad guy. I thought he was a bad guy. I thought Ronald and the gang would foil the Hamburglar. Is this like when fucking? Like sh when Shadow is one of Sonic's friends, and it's like, oh, that's that that was after that was after the tournament arc, bro. You don't you don't remember the the chain the character changed. Is this a boob behind him? What is this? What is this behind him? This looks like one of those cannons in Mario Sunshine. Mm. And meet us at the McDonaldland docks in five minutes. I'll bring the ship. Bring us island. Here we come. Do you think we could ever just have a normal adventure? Now we're getting animated. Oh, little dog has a question. Man, he really hates this dog. Like he is, he is mistreating this dog. He like, 
he like kicked the dog out of the frame earlier and it like it was a comedy joke or whatever but but he does doesn't talk to the dog or acknowledge the dog the dog is like talking to him and he doesn't give a shit this ronald sucks ronald fuck i don't like ronald right now i think i i think i want the dog to like murder ronald and just like take over <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Like, that's, that's what he looks like here? Jesus Christ. Oh, that's terrifying. God, I hate that. Wow. thousand on these landings wrong oh wow that dog what is that the dog from is that just like is that rocco or what show because there's a dog that looks exactly like this everybody's saying like nickelodeon design yeah it's one of the nickelodeon is it like cat dog or something there's a dog that looks just like this at nickelodeon mega man jack in <laughs> rugrats lost episodes spike from rugrats okay maybe yeah because I watched, uh, I watched Rugrats, yeah. Donald. Sorry about that, pal. I'll get it right next time. But now, one ship. Just add water. Well, I mean... Okay, we're not gonna watch the whole thing. You know, I was more interested in the live action. People like the... This stuff, but I do want to see these fat tubs of fuck. I want to see them explain. I want the McDonald's Bioware or like Obsidian RPG, early Bioware maybe, like Knights of the Old Burger or whatever, where you get to go to Gr Grimace Island and you get to ask, what, so what exactly are you people? And get some lore about the Grimaces and the, the power struggle between the Grimace clans. You know, and then 10, 15, 20 years later, all the people will be like, man, you know, McDonald's was always garbage, but they, they, there was that one game 20, 15 years ago, whatever, uh, finally gave Grimace some good lore, you know. Oh, you see, once upon a time, bunches and bunches of oodles of years ago, there was Grimace Island. Uh, it was a happy yeah. place. A place where no one fought nor uh, yelled nor invited oh yelled. Boy. Uh oh, problematic. Uh oh, racist. Racist. Oh, ducks to come down. Everybody report this. Re report this video for racist. No, don't do that. Don't do that. But, but okay. So the so the grimaces are depicted as like tribals, and grimace is like a domesticated tribal that they just call grimace. I'm, I'm not liking the the imagery here. If you change the Grimaces out for, like, a Cherokee man, this is not... I don't know about that. ...at the Grimace Festival. Well, one day, people uh, came to the island. Oh, boy! <laughs> oh. Well, nice tunnel plugs, guys. You're looking... you're looking uh, hip. Me to the friendly Grimaces. Uh, uh, they heard about the Grimace uh -oh. treasure. And knew that Grimaces were not very brave. You don't say. Uh, yeah. No. So the mean people took the treasure away from the Grimaces. The mean people, everybody. Just, uh, and never came uh. back or said thank you. This aged terribly, oh god. Yeah, I mean, those tunnel plugs look awful these days, yeah. <laughs> so the Grimaces live in, like, beehives? Is, uh, and never... Look at how they live in, like, these hollowed out beehive things. Came back or said this thank you. basically what happens in Black Panther, honestly. You can't convince me otherwise. Argue with the wall. <gasps> That's horrible, Grimace! I know! Yeah, natives <laughs> stole from other natives, apparently, in this lore. I, I was, like, when those shadowy figures appeared, I was like, is this gonna be, like, colonists? No, it's just different dark-skinned natives. You should always say thank you. Then what happened? Well, you see, the mean people didn't get all the Grimace treasure. Grimace used to be an evil taste bud. Is that the lore? I Somebody explained. I heard somebody explain what a Grimace was. And, like, I don't know. I don't know what happened to that in my head. I think, I think this exact conversation might have come up on, like, a mic stream or something. Where he was like, I knew what a Grimace was and now I forgot. It's like, I, yeah, I know. I think I knew. At some point, somebody told me what it was. And I, it stuck and I was like, that was an, an anecdote that I had. 
But now I don't remember, and I'm just confused. I guess he's a- but he's a tribal. He's a native. Uh, and the grimaces were afraid they'd come back. So they did a big grimace dance and made the whole huh, huh. island shake so hard. So grimaces are essentially- I'm going to just assume that this is also the lore of Big the Cat's people. I'm just gonna assume that there was also, like, tribal infighting, and then Big left his people on a raft and, and just went fishing and found Froggy. That's my, that's my, that's my idea. It broke from the ocean floor uh, and drifted far, far away. Wow! So they figured if no one could find them, then no one could hurt them. Or steal their last treasure. That's why nobody has seen them since. Wait, what's from a re best of the worst? Which thing is from a best of the worst? I must have- Oh, yeah, yeah, it's from a best of the worst. Yeah. Yeah, there was one. I haven't watched it in a bit. They haven't uploaded one since, like, a few months ago or something, and until a couple days back. It was a good one. Canadian representation. That very, very sweaty man. You know? That was great. But, uh, uh, yeah, no, I, I think it was. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. They talked about what a grimace was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just as planned. Can you imagine how much treasure they must have on that One island piece right is now? SpongeBob. Okay, well now we're going. Yeah, now we're getting like, what is this like? Courage the Cowardly Dog. I mean, the animation is good. You know, you got to give them that. But we got the grimace lore. We still don't know exactly what they are. I guess whatever they are, it's like a, an evil taste bud or something. But like, but like, they're all like tribals or something. So that's also the lore. And then this goes on for a while. There's more. Yeah, somebody was like, is this racism? I don't know. I don't know if you can call this racism. Probably uh, to some extent. Amazing. Amazing. So this is the Hamburglar? Well, yeah, this is like Rocket Power Teen or something. There's so many shows that have this exact art style. Wild Thornberries. And yeah, this is like... This is like... This is like Hamburglar by means of, like... Chucky from fucking Rugrats if he was grown all grown up Chucky with this One Piece reboot yeah and this is basically One Piece they're all on a ship they just go to a weird island and, and get involved in their like tribal war that's happening and yeah I can see it They want us to follow. Then come on, everybody! Come on! I don't glibbity glue goo. Then again, I'd hate to be seen as a party pooper. Oh, they're secretly on their tail. Well, that's enough of that. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Ronald McDonald cartoon. Very cool. Uh. You know, teaching kids baseball. Catch a wave of fun. Disneyland. We should probably spin the wheel again, but, like, visit fabulous Las Vegas. Winning slot secrets. Now you have a fighting chance. Is this going to be... Look at this Ken Bone motherfucker. Is this going to be, like, top slot spotting the best with that coke head? Who's just like, give me a winner! Give me a winner! Ah, bummer! I lost again! I have no more money to do this video! Ah, let's go home! Is this, this going to be that video? I mean, this really is just, like, bootleg Red Letter Media segment right now. I mean, Wheel of Trash was always, was always like, virtually border bordering on the name Wheel of the Worst. And now we're doing, uh, like, old shitty VHSs. So it's, it's fitting. It's fitting. I love Fanfare for the Common Man. It's one of my favorite Emerson, Lake, and Palmer songs. Great, great choice, great choice. <laughs> Tiffany design. Just growing tourist. Oh Welcome to God. Las Vegas. The fastest. Wait, 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 wait. Vegas. Have
Have you seen this man? Have you seen this man? The fastest growing tourist destination. <laughs> we got this whole like there's music and and by all means indulge yourself they are more fun those one-armed bandits can just get you and you can yeah, win up to ten million dollars you can win trips i personally have been on two trips one by my oh, yeah, yep. las vegas oh god don't get too close even though this was filmed entirely in las vegas what you learn in this video will help you find loose slots no matter where you play in this video, we'll cover a variety of subjects, from starting a gambling bankroll to no. finding those mega jackpots. He's got all these locations We'll also show you the film. insides and outsides of slot machines and tell you the odds that nobody wants you to know. Oh, so this seems a little better than top slot spotting the best, but... ...machines are not quite as bad. The most sought-after machine by collectors. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, the, for those who don't know, there was a Red Letter Media video. They looked at a, a, a slot machine expert guy who literally just went around to all of the slot machines at a casino and pretended he knew how to win the jackpot or whatever and he kept trying and failing and he kept being like get it oh let's go for the big one oh nothing bummer bummer and and and, and he just looked like he was on something and and this seems like it has a little bit more information than that at least the slot expert on coke uh, I fully trust this man George Costanza Vegas style uh, uh, he does look like Dennis Rader a little bit, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little BTK, he's got a bit of BTK going on. You know, hang on a second. I'm just gonna... Let me just, um... These machines were created in the 1930s. This is a 1936 Bird no, of Paradise. No, see, I'm looking for... Yeah, I'm looking for a very specific, I think we were there before. No, I'm not going to find it. I wanted to find his face in this one shot that we found. But, oh, is it like right here? Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, right so here. So many different states, it's no wonder that everyone wants to visit the ultimate gambling mecca. Yeah, just like, just like that. Okay, all right, I'm going to go grab some cheese and eat it. I'm going to be right back. I'm sorry, I had an irresistible urge to eat cheese all of a sudden. I had some that I grated up last night. I made some burgers. Irresistible. Just looking at this guy, I really just wanted to eat to stuff my face with cheese. I, I don't know why. I don't know why that urge came over me. But I've got my cheese here. And, um... Ooh, what the hell is that? What the hell is on my cheese? Oh, God. Oh, get that off of there. Oh, I, oh, the, oh, I hate that for you. Oh, that's so bad for you. Oh. Oh. All right, it's it's fine. Um, so that's this guy. And um, the first chat message I see when I go back is a one-pound steak at that. Yeah, this guy's a real one-pound steak of a man. Um, there's something on here. There's like a black. There's like a black little thing. I don't like that. God, I want to eat my cheese in peace, dude. It's not molded. I just it just bought it yesterday and I grated it and it's fine. I think it's like in the bag. I don't know what's going on. But uh winning slot secrets, yeah. That's some VHS stuff. We've done a bit of VHS. I'll read a few super chats here um before we continue. We're going to spin the wheel again. Um and and while I do that, you know what? While I do that, it gives me an excuse Yeah, just put this on for, yeah, just extended, just the, ex the extended version of this one. You never played Deus Ex before? You, the, the, here's, here's why you should. Just 
a little bit of that. Just a little bit of that. We're going to do a, a few super chats. We're going to get back to it. Spin again a few times. Um, <clears throat> so you five bucks from a lady class. I heard Nimona is a good movie too. It's on Netflix. Nimona! Oh man, I got some cheese. Mm. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, that guy's face just made me want to eat cheese for some reason. I don't know why. Um, five bucks from a lady class. Will you ever look at the new cringe lists made by that one guy on DeviantArt? Yeah, yeah, I have that saved. If we land on it, we might we might look at that. One of those, because there's a few. Uh, two bucks from a lady class. Did you hear about the Linux text tips drama? No, I did not. Another five. This is random, but would you look into threads, blue sky, and or mastodon weirdos? Uh, man, a lot, a lot from a lady class today. Thank you. Um, uh, you know, maybe if there's any specific weirdos, sure. Uh, that would be, that would be fine. Uh, I, I don't know of any at this point in time. If there's like a, if there's like a Mario, if there's like a, a, a Simpsons no sexy guy on threads, then absolutely. Um, uh, two bucks from a lady class. Does James Mario count as a Mario adult? Kind of. I don't really remember that guy that well, but we looked at him a little bit. Yeah. Uh, two, uh, five bucks from Hunter Moore. Does this dude have... Dude did have the tism. Well, you know, that's not necessary. That's an explanation, but not an excuse. Two bucks from a lady class. What's the lore with this guy in the dollar store? Well, I don't remember. It's... Somebody came into the chat while we were talking about him and said that, like, he was expelled from a dollar store and maybe banned or something because uh he he was like hitting on a a, t a teenager or something like that i don't know how true it is somebody came in and said that anybody can say things but that's what somebody said um let me see uh five bucks from tivy two v's ah all tivy two v's over here I'm watching the supercuts while playing vampire survivors thanks for that any cool psp games for my hack vita well, you know, I hope I hope you're enjoying the the supercuts. Uh, they they that's 19 hours of pure sex right there. This is like raw sex, uh, uh, which there's no reason to ever have, by the way. That's gross. Uh, that that kid told us so. Well, he was like he was a grown up, I'm pretty sure, but he's very very adamant about that. But um, PSP games, I don't know. Um, I, you know. Uh, we don't have that guy in chat right now who always talks about Persona 2, so, so I'll, I'll mention Persona 2. Um, you know, there's a good, that's a good remake of that. Uh, PSP game, I mean, I never played that much on the PSP because it's kind of uncomfortable for me to hold. I always wanted one, and then I got one, and I wasn't very happy with it. Um, I guess the Disgaea remake, or like, re, re, report or whatever, of, of, of the PS2 game, the original Disgaea. Seems like a pretty good part of that, you know, so maybe that's a good one. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics is on there, you know. Uh, two bucks from a lady class. I feel like Marco Diaz counts. Oh yeah, Mario Adult. Two bucks from a lady class. Paul, like the guy from the Spider-Man comics? No, no, Paul Rodriguez, who's trolling the guy. That's obvious, obviously. Uh, five bucks from Seagriff12. He reminds me of the Bjork Stalker, the best of me, Mario Adult Edition. Yeah, I mean, people like this, just like, it's it's like Ben Shapiro, really. You're just sitting there all alone in this little room doing your thing with cameras on you and you just look really awkward and tiny and, 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 and it's Mr. Anime-esque. Somebody was co drawing comparisons between that guy and Mr. Anime, and I see it too. Um, tw uh, 20 bucks from Wagugus Jr. Yeah, the, the FNAF ambience was fucking with your speakers. Uh, five bucks from Seagriff12. Thank you, by the way. Uh, here, uh, wait, oh, I read that one. Uh, seven, seven fifty from Baneblade. Look in his eyes. He has that vacant, empty stare like the lights are on, but nobody's home. Like a twisted psychopath. Yeah, like you're cycling down a path and it's windy and, and, and scary and there's bumps and somebody left a bunch of pizza boxes in the way for some reason. I, it wasn't me. Five bucks from Spino Dino 4. Yippee! Whoops! Yippee! Whoops! Um, I added those. I, I added everything after the first yippee there. Five bucks from Mogugus Jr. I used to watch plus YouTubers as a kid, and I think it made me a bit regarded. Well, we're all a little bit regarded in our own ways. Uh, five bucks from Steven Victoria. As a Catholic, I don't trust this guy. Yeah. Uh, it was very strange stuff. Five bucks from Victor Martinez. A radio st station in Kungs Kungsbaka, Sweden, called Spinning Seal FM. 
plays the happy, happy Christmas tune 24 7. Oh, you mean. That's great. I love that. Uh, well, good. You know, uh, good, good for, good for them. They, they, there's always in Sweden. That's the land of mystery. I guess you always have a place for it. Um, two bucks from Aurelius. Well, it ain't Barney the Purple Dinosaur. <laughs> uh, five bucks from Cat. Keep us a stream today on my birthday. It's more likely than you think. Click here for a free PC scan. Uh, can't think of a better gift. Thanks for the laughs and your hard work. Oh, I don't know about hard work. I've been playing fucking Deus Ex for the last, like, week, but, you know, well, not that long. I've been playing fucking other stuff before that, but... No, I've been slacking. I gotta do more streams. Tomorrow I'll be streaming again. I'll be doing my dog food eating celebration. I will also tease tomorrow. Stop by. I have, um... Something that I found at like a novelty store. It is a uh, sour warhead flavored pickle. So I'm really, it comes in like a green sour flavored pickle slime. And it's like, I'm really excited about that. I paid, I paid too much for the pickle. So, uh, and I've got some weird drinks as well. So that's also exciting. So, so I've been, I don't know about hard work, but I'm going to be working hard to get through some of that shit. Uh, stop by tomorrow. Day- time tomorrow indetermined at this point. Maybe in the afternoon, maybe later. But, uh, we'll be doing some garbage. Eating some dog food. Eating dry dog food, baby. Um, let me see here. Uh, five pounds from Asa Fisher Films. Ronald McDonald peaked in Mac and Me. Yeah, it's never been- it's all been downhill since then. Uh, two bucks from Rydai. I never donate, but I like your content, so here. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, I hope you- I hope you're- I- I- I hope you're enjoying this one, too. Uh, you know, uh, this is- this is- this has been a pretty good stream so far. I hope it continues. We're at maybe- maybe the halfway mark. I don't know how long we'll go today. But, uh, I've got more stream in me, so that's- that's- that's cool. Uh, I hope you're- I hope you're enjoying it so far. Five bucks from Autistic Wolf. I needed this stream today, you have no idea, so thank you, Bear. Wish I had something funny today, I guess. Speed! Well, I was gonna ask Victor how your teeth are doing, you know, because I know you were doing- you had to do your- your surgery thing. And, uh, you know, you're- you're super chatting again. You- you- you know you should be- you should- you should be- you should be careful about that. You know, I, I appreciate it, but, you know, look after yourself, buddy. Uh, I- 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 I hope you're- hope you're feeling alright. Um, but... But we're back to, uh... Wait, no, you're Autistic Wolf. You're a completely different person. I'm thinking Victor Martinez. I'm sorry. Yeah, Victor Martinez. You- you- you had the teeth- you had the tooth thing going on. You gotta be- you gotta be careful about that. Autistic Wolf, you're the one who drinks heavily! <laughs> You're the one who gets wasted and then and then starts saying questionable things in 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 repeated super chats and and we're all like, are you okay, buddy? All right, well, you know, just be careful. That's what happens. That's that's I I know I know people. I know everybody. Uh, I let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Not to call you out, by the way. No, wait, that's the wrong thing. Not to call you out. <laughs> <laughs> Not to completely call you out, but there was that one time where we were like, we, I forget, I was like, it was during the fucking, no, I understand now, I get you now, it was the kick, it was one of the kick assias. it was like to boldly flee, and you were like really hammered by the end, Autistic Wolf, I remember that, and you were just like, you were saying stuff, and we were like, man, I hope you're alright, buddy, I know, I know to boldly flee is bad, but just be safe, dude, <laughs> like, so I hope you're doing okay. But, uh, but yeah, no, I am, I'm happy to provide you with some garbage today. So, we're gonna spin the wheel again. Wheel of trash here. We're, we're, <laughs> we're off of the cheese, man. Uh, two, two pounds from Space Cat. Thank you very much. Space Pat, sp Space Cat, scat to scat. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 we're off of cheese, man. We're off of top slots, top sluts spotting the best. Um, we're, we're off of him and we're going to spin, spin the wheelst again. Now I changed this thing to be red background instead of purple. I don't know why it's purple again. I mean, I changed it. I saved it at everything, but we're going to spin again. Oh, DeviantArt or Furry, Furry Infinity. You know, 
I just did DeviantArt recently. I just did DeviantArt recently. So let me, uh, we're going to do Fur Affinity. We're going to make it a Fur Affinity thing. So what am I looking up on Fur Affinity? Let me get that open. Chat, bombard me with suggestions here. Uh, um, fur Affinity. Okay. I think I, yeah, I have an account on here. That's good. That's good. I can see all of the garbage. Um... So I have it set so that it shows me the porn and stuff. Because there's a lot of stuff that will be marked as porn but is fine to show on stream. And then there's stuff that's not marked as porn that isn't okay to show on stream. So I have to exercise caution no matter what. So I, I'm like, you know, we might as well just turn off the censorship. So what am I looking up on Fur Affinity here? What are we... Gage... Gage... Gagey boy. Gagey boy. On Fur Affinity? I'm not seeing anything. Is it with an I? Gage, gagey boy. Blubby gagey? Nothing. There's nothing. Zippo! Zilch! Nada! Headless TF. Co cold collector. Uh, pick, pick omission freezing. Can I show this? Um, kind of. It's uh, it's um, human ponies, like from the uh, that one cartoon where they're human. Sunset Shimmer and Sonata Dusk with the kitty outfit without the tail and in freezing state. So they're freezing girls. This is on Fur Affinity. This is commissioned by Cold Collector, but I don't think they're on fur affinity so if you're looking up if you're recommending me people it should be people that are on fur affinity chat the wheel has decided yeah look up the that diaper is trick comic i don't know what that is mcdonald's grimace you know what yeah grimace somebody said grimace diaper fur i mean there's probably something grimace diaper um Oh god, what the fuck is this? Okay, I need some cheese. I need some cheese. Hmm. There. A fresh diaper. Can I show this? I don't know how much it's gonna show. I don't wanna show the sidebar. I don't wanna show the sidebar. Um let me show this. Yeah, this is fine. Um a fresh diaper for my Whittle Gator. I think I'm going to enjoy having my baby back. And, um... This came up when I looked up Grimace diaper. It's not Grimace, but he is kind of grimacing, so I guess I get it. Um, I like how his diaper has a vagina on it. That's cool. That's cool. That's the vibe, really. Um... It's supposed to be like a gator sona, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Morning routines. There's like a little EV gator. Or, gator. Now I've got gator brain. There's like a little EV in like a playpen. I'm not showing that. I don't need to. Next page is not coming up. Is the stream still going? Oh god. Looks like a dog. Family guy is better. Why do we. Um, yeah, why is this not coming up? What the fuck is happening? Fur affinity, please. Is there not more than one page of... Okay, gr Grimace... What? It's, it's showing me everything that has Grimace in it and diaper. So, and also everything that has diaper in it. So it's like, that's not helping. I hate websites. I hate searches that are that do that. Um, Brides of Grim... Oh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. So this isn't Grimace diaper porn. But what this is... I'm not sure necessarily, but uh, it appears to be a lady who... Oh, it's because of the fucking... Right, it's because of the Grimace Shake thing, that meme. The Grimace Shake, right. She she died, and she's got this thick ass. Like, it's a, th it's a thick old ass. Uh, I guess it's she, he, I'm not sure, MTF, there's a, there's a transformation gender bend thing happening. 
I guess he drinks, it's a guy who drinks the shake and then he transports to the, um, it looks like a grimace vagina. Like they're inside of a, of a vagina is what it looks like. And, and, and grimace is there, or maybe it's like the mouth, like grimace is like the tonsils, but he is turning into she and she is getting a thick old ass. Um, and that's the main focus of the grimace. It seems it's like, that's focusing on that. Um, so that's, that's cool. That's, that's good. Um, that's good. Uh, grimace, grimace porn. And this is a, this is a series. There's a, there's a series of this. This is one of six brides of grimace is the series. Um, uh, this is from somebody called scum muffin. Um, and uh yeah people there's a lot of art of the grimace shake thing there's a lot of art of the grimace shake thing um there's one here that's the family guy puking but it's the grimace shake and i can show this right everybody's clothed everybody's clothed it's the grimace shake and everybody i don't know who these people are but they're all puking up the grimace shake so that's pretty cool right there um there's um well, I mean, Grimace's humanoid taste bud feet tease. Well, I guess that is what he is. He's a giant taste bud. And there's his feet. And, you know, if he's a giant taste bud, then that means that his taste buds, his feet must taste really good. And, you know, he's got big feet. And you know what they say about taste buds that have big feet. They're really into Sir Strumming, uh, is what they say. Um... There's a whole genre, there's a whole tag on Fur Affinity for Taste Bud. And there's some on here. I'm not really able to see... Man. Like, it says Taste Bud found in 79 submissions, but then it shows me 1 to 4 of 4. What does it show me? The other 70 whatever. Uh, very macro. Uh, yeah, so, so, this Grimace stuff, you know. Um, yeah, there's some good grimace content here. There's whatever this is. I love this. I love that this is, like, not even, like, weird at all. This is, like, this is just Hot Apple Kai's Grimace 2 Purple shake by Infernal Fox 636. And, and Grimace is cool 2023. And it's, like, I guess a Game Boy Advance platformer where you run around and you collect Grimace shakes. And that is beautiful. I'm happy about that that's great i hope he has fun you know that looks like a fun game that looks like super kid the old flash game you know hell yeah dude uh, i like i like when there's stuff on here that isn't stuff like you know well um well st stuff like this you know um you know we don't need that that's fine by the way there's no tits being shown there's no nipples or genitalia that's just a big belly it's fine it's fine we can show that we can show that um animation grimace birthday twerk that's cool that's that's pretty cool though another victim of the grimace shake there's like a little skunk uh um there's a snake lady from sin's fortress there's like there's a lot of stuff that's just not even remotely anime. Like, oh, I guess this girl's like, oh, she's a pony. She's a humanized pony with enormous tits. And this was posted in something called Horny Jail. Um, this is from Koikatsu, the, the porn game. Uh, MLP FIM, Terra Mist Pony. And again, this is okay to show. She is in a shirt. It's fine. Um, but this is her giant tits holding up the Grimace Shake and uh yeah oh sweet i wonder if the grimace shake is still around is it is it in, is it still available in canada because i would try it i haven't tried it i would give it a shot um i would not not even for the meme i'm just curious you know what it would be like um yeah so there's some grimace stuff the grimace shake though i'm glad we finally it's like the year of luigi we finally reached the year of grimace what am i looking up next chat hmm hmm God, I love cheese. Huh. It's still in my eyes. Yeah. No more Grimace Elixir. Oh no, it's gone. That's a shame. Please look up Gritty. Gritty? But like, dark and gritty, grimdark. 
Or is that a character? Oh no, it's a character. Okay. Um, gr Gritty is a puppet, I guess. He's like a fucking hockey mascot or something. What the fuck is this? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I care. I don't think I care that much. But here's somebody I just looked at for one of the other things I looked at. I don't even remember what, but this is uh, going for a huge dip. And um, this is the, this is the, this is, and you know, they're all, they're, they're at the pool. They're poolside. It's fun. It's exciting. You know, um, I'm going to read for you the first paragraph of um, my my uh, story that's coming out in a few days, and you'll see why. As I this is the perfect backdrop. I'll just play a little, uh, uh, um, play a little more of the music here, maybe. Just a, just a, just a little. No, that's a little. That's a, that's a little too loud right there. That's just a tiny bit too loud right there. Now you can turn up the fucking volume a little bit there though now, but that's not okay, that's too Yeah, so 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 as we as we look upon this image Um It had been almost a month since he had released issue number twenty nine of his webcomic, Pixie Sparkles Playhouse. Almost a week since he'd even worked on it. In that issue, the main cast had finally arrived at the threshold of the villainous Gladys Jane Fisher's Castle Lair, a villain who was, incidentally, based on his cruel old high school te English teacher of the same name, and who occupied a castle based largely on the school as well. Pixie Sparkle herself, a fully original and unique My Little Pony character, had led the charge into the lair when a force field of dark magic suddenly appeared around the castle and incapacitated the poor filly, leaving the entire plan up to her companions. Sonic the Hedgehog zoomed off to find the source of the force field, while SpongeBob, the Scooby Gang, the Teen Titans, except for Starfire who flew off to scout with Sonic and the rest stayed to tend to the needs of Pixie Sparkle. Carl's self-inserted character started shouting wishes into his mystical star wand, begging for Pixie Sparkle to be okay, which resulted in a spray of fairy dust des descending upon her injured form. The true allegiances of Daffy Duck were not yet known to the others at this point in the story, and he played along as if he was none the wiser. And... I don't know, I've just always... There's just something about the, there's just something about the, thank you Deus Ex music. There's just something about the classic, the, the images like this. I don't know any of what any of these things are from. Like all these names on the side are just things this guy knows from his fucking childhood or whatever. There's like mascots, there's trash gots, there's like probably some of these are in, are like he probably found at least one of these through porn, I bet. Like there's like, what is this? Is this like a snake man? I don't know, but just the the tendency to smash everything together. Uh, this is Tails Gets Trolled, a little bit. Uh, the tendency to just smash everything together, uh, throwing together, like, is this like an aardvark man? The radically different styles and everything, and, and you know, it's really quite something special. It's really quite something special. Um, I, I, always, I always enjoy stuff like this, but that's what we get looking up. Gritty! And I don't know that that is what gritty gritty is, um, but I'm not really finding much from gritty. Uh, what else should I What else should I do here? Um, growing around Pooh's Adventures wiki. Yeah, I need to do more Pooh's Adventures because um, God, I can't do multiple fucking words. I cannot do multiple words on Fur Affinity. Is there like a way? Need to do like quotes around each word or some shit. Growing. Is that that's like the cartoon with the pedophile who made it, right? Isn't it? Alf? Oh, I should look up Alf. God. Uh why was this the first thing I saw? You know, I just I showed there's no cock. That's fine. <sighs> yeah. Well, Mm-hmm. You guys like that? You like you like Alf? You want me to look up Alf? Alright. Okay. That's good. 
Alf the Bard. Somebody made a Bard character that's like a fucking Dan Schneider. Um, yeah, it's a little bit Dan Schneider. Somebody made a like a foxy Bard character. He's got a loincloth. That's cool. Started playing Baldur's Gate 3, by the way. I'm amazed that it plays on my computer. Um, and I made like a Bard-ish character. It's, uh, it's pretty good so far. It's also blatantly just Divinity Original Sin 2. But like in Baldur's Gate, I guess. Um, which is fine. I mean, that game's great. But uh, yeah, it's good good stuff. Mm. Mm. Probably going to wind up talking about it on... I got to do a podcast in like a couple hours. I'm sitting here looking at Fur Affinity on stream eating cheese. You know, everybody's like freaking out about Baldur's Gate 3. It's it's like too good. Like AAA developers, people making Diablo are like, no, oh, you shouldn't expect our games to be that good. Like, yeah, you fucking should, motherfucker. I never fucking heard of Larian Studios. I've heard of, everybody's heard of Blizzard. Fuck you. Um. Oh, here's well, I can't even. I don't think I can show this. There's a sexy big titty elf. If you look up big titty elf, two t two d's, like tit titty, a uh, big titty elf 2019, and it's like elf, and he's like, is in the sexy like, cam girl pose, big tits, uh, nip. There's no nip. They're hidden by like his his arms, um, but he's got like slender hips and everything. You can see, uh, if you look it up. Um, um, there's like, okay, there's also this one. I can show this one. This is the same artist. So this gives you a little bit of an idea. This is some sexy mermaid elf. Um, which I also remember this character appearing in the, in the, in the Barbie movie. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I'll never understand the fetish for feet. Well, don't worry. There's sometimes people have a fetish for, for no feet, for mermaid for Mermussy. Elf from Pikmin? No. This elf, obviously. Very good. Yeah, you only need to see it for a second. It's fine. That's fine. It does have the shit post tag on the side, so I guess that's that's fair. Um Yeah, there's some elf stuff. It's mostly like shit posty a little bit. Everybody was 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 demanding I look up elf. I think that's good though for um for uh for uh for affinity i'm gonna you know what i'll go to deviantart a little bit too um what was it? it was like cold collector right so before but before we go before we search i'm looking at like what deviantart is recommending to me there's some decent art there's some like obvious ai shit Okay, it's mostly fine. Well, there's okay. There's like an AI little girl. Look at why am I DeviantArt? DeviantArt, please. Um, no, no, it's fine. That's no, no thank you. Um, sweet innocent anime female, and there's like AI people. There's a lot of this. There's I, I mean. People, I don't know, I'm sure they're totally... Okay, yeah, it even says created using AI tools. You've got, like, this one here is, like, the girl from fucking... What, Amber Heard from from Aquaman or whatever, I guess, is, is kind of that character. Um, uh, a lot of that, but then but then right at the top... See, here's the thing, though, is it's, it's like it started recommending stuff for me specifically at the top. Because we've got this Robin Williams thing, I guess. Um... Uh, I guess, in memory of Robin Williams, and then you've got Tic Tac Cru Strawberry Mix Crush YouTube sample from Crush Fetish Queen. Oh, I don't want to show that. Careful, careful. Crush Fetish Queen. And, um, you know, this is, I, I started scrolling down, but then I start scrolling down, and it's just a lot of stuff that looks like this, you know? Like, perfectly ordinary, decent art. A lot of it's probably AI. Most of this is AI. The whole world is dead. Art is a lie. Um, most of this is probably AI, but, uh, you know, decent, normal looking art. And then you get crush fetish queen up here. And it, for some reason that doesn't, that's not a trend that continues. So crush fetish queen. What's she got going on over here? I don't even have to, again, I like going on DeviantArt with my like account signed in. I don't even have to look the, the crazy shit just comes to me. 
uh, uh, like a moth to a flame. Um, and we've got like a little collage here of one of Crush Fetish Queen's films. And, you know, it's concerning because the term Crush Fetish is, is associated mainly with people that step on little animals and, and, and stomp on animals and hurt animals and things like that. And so this lady likes stepping on Tic Tacs. There is an implicit... Like, I'm kind of wondering what's the secret passphrase to get her, her secret videos that she can't tell you about, you know? But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just the love of stepping on Tic Tacs. She's crushing them. Uh, she do be kind of crushing them, though. Uh, I have Tic Tacs. I could do this if I wanted. I could make a whole career out of just stepping on Tic Tacs. There's probably, like, not a lot of men doing it. So, like, if I did it, you know, like, that would be huge. That would be huge. But, uh... Oh, this isn't a video. I, I press the space bar like that's gonna play the fucking video, but it's not. It's not a video. Um, I don't know if you even saw. I don't know how much of this you even saw. If I if I had it showing, but there it is. Yeah, she's stepping on Tic Tacs. It's like graphic footage. There's like feet, obviously. There's feet, but it's like uh, very. There's like Tic Tac corpses all over the place. Um, uh, it's shot from like various angles. It looks like you you could see the gore of the tic tacs on the bottom of the, the shoes and and really what I'm left wondering at the end of this you know more than anything is 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 frankly is um are there like are there are do do the tic tacs have personalities too? Cause like is this is it like um because I'm wondering who wants to fuck like the green tic tac you know what I mean like because. Because Linkara really wants to fuck the green M&M, but, like, who wants to fuck, like, the strawberry Tic Tac, you know? Is this a fetish? Is the Tic Tac specifically part of the fetish? This is the question. I don't know. But, um, where's that lady? Tic Tac strawberry mix crush. She crushes other stuff. That's cool. There's other crush accounts connected to that. Currently her name is Rosalind. But we're gonna look up this guy Cold Collector, somebody suggested. I don't know. The name... The name got me interested. Evidently, this is somebody who likes to... Yeah, he, I guess he collects cold women. Images of women freezing in, like, collecting icicles on them. Uh, and I guess, I don't know what... I guess he's collecting them. Uh, um, this is Summer Freeze Applejack. This isn't even related. Actually, this isn't even related maybe it's not related to this it's a it's a po it's a humanized pony who's frozen but it's not connected to this guy as far as i can see it's a different uploader legion deviations De uh, deviants maybe yeah there's a guy named cold collector deviant for 10 years he doesn't have any stuff one deviation you get favorites maybe Ah, yeah. Th 1,829 deviations in his all. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, I guess any art of women who are cold and, like, freezing and, like, there's icicles on them and they're remarking about how cold they are. Maybe they don't have clothes. Maybe there's a bunny girl who's in revealing clothing and she's going, N -n -n No, I don't have clothes for this th 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 thing. Um, you know, there's that maybe a little bit. Um, there's human girls. There's anime girls. There's, uh, there's, there's ponies. There's Mario girls. There's a, there is a lady with like her fat anime ass in, sh in, in like, in like striped panties. And she's like showering in the cold. I, and and she okay. We're moving on from that. Um, yeah, just a lot of images of people shivering and 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 looking cold. I mean, I you know me. I always enjoy the three D art on um on on here. I always enjoy enjoy some good three D art. Can I even show this? Oh God, they have like exposed vulvas. What the fuck is this? Hang on. Yeah, okay, I can't... Yeah, she's got her pussy out. I can't show that. Damn. Well, I can show uh, this part of it anyway. Hang on. So, yeah, it's it's like this. Um, these uh, these superhero ladies. And they're, they're out here in the cold. And they're shivering. And you can see their breath. And they're like in a shivering, you know, pose. I can't go down because there's, there's vagina. But, um... 
They're shivering. And uh, that's the whole thing. It's like different. This is the funny 3D art that I love. But like the, uh, you know, a lot of it, sometimes they're naked. Sometimes it's photo manipulations of like hentai. Sometimes it's just a picture of a fucking girl shivering from an episode of like Yu-Gi-Oh. There's Lucina. There's fucking like Lola Bunny. There's like Zelda. All manner of girls who could be freezing. Uh, so that's cool. This is, this is very cool. I wonder if he freezes his milk. Milk with lemon, you know. Um, uh, who else am I looking up? Give me another like one or two suggestions for deviant art people, and then we'll we'll spin again. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, a little bit of Lola Bunny. So frostbite is hot now. Ironically, apparently, yes, yeah. Frostbite is super hot. It's the in thing to do, you know. Put my super chat suggestion. Um, Gamera 1985. Two bucks from a lady class. All right. Gamera 1985. I think I looked this up. This sounds familiar. Gamera 1985. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I think this came up at some point when we were doing the um, the people. Oh, God. I can't show much of this. We were doing the amputee fetish people. That's basically what this is. It's one of these channels, one of these artists who's like, their art is like disturbingly kind of good. Kind of. I can show this one. Um, this is two ladies who are quadrupeds, I guess. And the nurse is feeding the patient with her mouth. Um, last chance to evacuate Earth. Before it is recycled, um, and this artist does a lot of that's the that's the the tamest thing. Well, I guess there's also this one. This is this is a little different uh, slightly. We've got uh, uh, I guess there was like a transformation. What the fuck happened here? Hang on. What's the story of this one? Maid mistress before after a new version of my old maid and mistress. Uh, Okay, so, oh, I see. So the maid, right. So you got the you got the timid little maid, and then you got the socialite mistress, and due to a weird, strange genetic condition or whatever, they uh, hyper they hyperfuse into, like, Samus Aran slash uh, 2B from uh, Nier Automata. Like, both at, at once. That's cool. That's a, uh, that's a great waifu, I guess. Um, uh, and yeah, they, that's a conjoined head situation. I guess that would be pretty hot, bro. I guess that would be super hot. Uh, until one of them gets mad at you, but the other one is like, okay with you. And like that, that, that would be kind of a problem ultimately. Um, let me see. Are there people screaming outside? What the fuck is happening? Give, give me a sec. There's like fucking screaming happening. I don't know what's going on. There's like... I guess it's not screaming. It's just like loud pitched talking. People are talking loudly. People are very... Wheels are in motion, Babu. I don't know why people are making noise. I don't know if it's outside. I don't know if the SWAT team is raiding one of the neighbors. I don't know what's going on. But what I do know is, uh, is, uh, yeah, this guy, this, uh, guy with, uh, art I mostly cannot show. There is a lady here whose mouth has been replaced with her, well, her, what the fuck? Okay, I cannot show this, but she appears to have had her mouth placed on her tit. She's got one tit out and her mouth is open on her tit instead of her nipple. And then her face has no mouth or nose. 
Um, I don't know where her nose is, but she has like a weird shape on her like underarm. Her arm is raised. I can show. I th I think I can show this much. Her her arm is raised, and can I show this? You know, I'm not I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm not even gonna risk it. But her arm is raised. It looks like there's like a weird line. I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, this guy has some interesting. Uh, this is like the D board on 4chan, basically, but it's, it's, I'm sure they love him, you know, uh, interesting. Not that, I mean, not that weird, decent artist, I guess, you know, it's, 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 it's strange fetish art, I suppose. Uh, I think that's fine. We've done some, we've done some good, uh, some, some good deviant arts and stuff. Um, and some, some, some fur affinities, you know, usually we pick one. I did a little of both. Um, I, you know, hang on. If I go back to, hang on, home. No, you're just going to give me the same stuff. That's really a shame. Still the Tic Tac crush. And then if I go down, it's all just like AI art. There's like the little girl. There's like some guy with bandages. There's like some memes. Sometimes the main page on, on DeviantArt can get you some funny shit. Like you just scroll down a little and you find like some wacky shit that's recommended to you because... Because I looked at some other wacky shit and it's like, oh, you might like this insane nonsense. And I'm like, well, yes, I actually do. Today, that's not happening. I'm getting like Freddie Mercury art that looks, it's kind of bad, honestly. I mean, not to name and shame, but this person, you, I, you know, you tried your best, I guess. But that's, uh, that's some deviant art. I'm going to maybe do one more spin, one more spin of the wheel. Um, let me see here. Deviant art, wheel of trash, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. uh... So, here we all are, born into the struggle. One last wheel spin, maybe. Maybe we'll do more. I don't know. But maybe just one more. Uh, depends on what we land on, really. If it's something that goes for a while. If we land on Mario Adults again, I might just do more. But we're gonna speed. Speed! Oh, the list. Wow. The list. Yeah, interesting. Interesting stuff that I would land upon the list. Uh, because we were talking about it earlier. There was somebody on a recent DeviantArt stream who had their own kind of like list. If you aren't aware, the list is a list of strange people that I found from like a decade old on, or however old it is. It's an old document from 4chan that has a bunch of strange people on it. And uh, we've been looking at some of them and scratching names off of the list and finding that some of them are a little too difficult to, 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 to track down. We haven't done a list stream in a while and I was going hard doing a few of them in a row there. Um, as for the list, I do have one person who I wouldn't mind looking at, but... There is, uh, we were talking about, there was somebody on DeviantArt who has, like, their own type of list with, like, some interesting people I've never heard of, uh, which we could maybe look into. But there is one person from the original list. Let me get it here. The the main one that we're working on. I don't know if I have it all, like, yeah. Let me just uh, transform. Let's just, uh, just fit that to screen. That's fine. And, um, yeah, you know, uh, a lot of people we've crossed off here. Uh, people obviously like Chris Chan, but then recently, you know, we've done streams. We've looked at Tim Box. We've done John of E. We've done, uh, you know, Iconoclast uh, was an interesting one. And I've really got to upload some of those because some of those were, were really interesting. Gabe Navarro down there, Zoo J. A uh, lot, of, lot of fun people that we've discovered because of this list. And uh, I, should, I should do something with that. But... Firstly, uh, there again, there is a new list. There's some new people to look at, apparently. But I would like to zone in here on this individual. Life of a Great Mommy. And some of you might be familiar with her if you've ever seen old Medicare videos. I've mentioned this lady before. And I've been waiting for, like, an Our Old Friends stream to, to do this one because I found some 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 pages of hers and i wanted to look at some of her videos if you aren't familiar this lady is a canadian woman who is like super into health food and veganism and all kinds of shit like that uh, fucking quinoa flaxseed bullshit and um 
she made this like she made all these vlogs where she was super sexualized around her kid out with her like a bra on and just like flaunting her big titties around her kid feeding him these very strange like soylent green like cupcakes and shit that and he was like malnourished and he was clearly like fixated on his mom and like like unable to function without his mommy there and that's how she wanted it and it was very it was very ungood double plus ungood and uh and he he um you know mediker mediker made this video like a, probably like a decade ago or something it was a while back uh it was back back when he was like before i think I, before internet aristocrat even i think um but he was he was looking at her and she was an interesting individual she's been kind of gone for a while but uh she here she is on the list and i have a few pages of hers that uh have some old videos of hers uh certainly nothing that's all that up to date currently uh i think i think there might be some new updates but yeah, her name is Catherine something, and so there's a few here. God, there's like six of them. She has six different accounts that I'm looking at here. And, uh, oh, I clicked off of the thing. That's a shame. So this one, you know, there's like four videos, and it's her with her giant tits in a sauna. That's the, that's the, that's the, uh, the image, uh, on the, the account, and then when you click, like, the first video here, she's got her her she's got her tits and she's in she's in a bikini and here she's got her tits and she's in a sauna and uh her old channel was taken down to due to trolls but she hasn't uploaded anything in 12 years on this one Catherine plays in bed dancing naked in the rain and uh she um yeah very vegan v voodoo woohoo kind of fucking again flaxseed motherfucker off with his head both of them uh, what's she doing in the bed? Wah, wow, pomp. What are we gonna do in the bed? Why is she doing this? She's like weird Barbie. Or put your foot around your shoulder. My mother, apparently, at any unknown reason or time or moment, my mother would suddenly take her ankle and pick it up and put it... Oh, oh, oh. I am my mother's daughter. Indian powwow style. I'm Is that why you're like this? I'm 16th native Indian, and uh, would you like to see my bare tootsies, or do you just want me to poke a guy with my bare toe? Uh oh. oh. Was, she, was she doing like a native voice? What was that? I had some pictures taken of me earlier. I looked like a big black, skinny stick. <laughs> Lululemon, I love you. So I'm pretty sure it's her son who's taking this video right now, and she would like force her son to like video her while she's doing stuff like this. I think that's, I think that's what it was. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got these little native pogey wogey shoes from oh, actually, boy. about two and a half years ago. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that is the sun. And I had a big bowl of soup just a little while ago. This is my favorite stretch right here. Somebody asked if I can even show this on, on, on stream. I mean, Shit, dog. She's wearing clothes. I I don't know. Um, the shirt, sheer. I mean, and then again, I've got to imagine the fucking again. I'm pretty sure it's her kid who's filming this for her. Her laughter is hunting. I assume you meant haunting, but you're you're right. Thirty bucks for milk steak. Thank you very much. Um, uh, you know, I appreciate it. I didn't even know Lululemon existed back then. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this wasn't that long. It was like 12 years ago or something. Yeah. So I just wanted to say hi on my messy bed with my mucklucks. And uh, uh, I love the beaded work. Reminder that she's Canadian. And we've just been watching hours of Kaylin and I at Woodcock, the gated community. That's the sun. I never thought I'd get out of Ibra and alive. So I ran, I ran, I ran. And there's, there's something like 45 or 55,000 Iranians in Western North Vancouver alone. But what? I wasn't alone. But how come I was so lonely? What the fuck is happening? Is this woman having a crisis? Is her whole life a, a crisis? Well, she's saying, like, Iran, Iran, and then switched it into, like, Iran. And out of cheese, by the way. I mean, we got more. I could get more cheese. It's possible. I could. But like, yeah, is this like a stream of consciousness 
poem or something? What the fuck is happening? And so anyway, she used to go like this, and then she would bring it around like this. <laughs> what if I try? Oh, God knows what's <laughs> in the bottom of your moccasins. Probably Caleb's hair that I was just... I'll put your head on my shoulders. Or put your shoulders on my head. Anyway, I just had... Put your head on my shoulders. Put your shoulders on my head. One bowl of miso soup. Me so missing my long hair to my ass. This lady is, I think she had like multiple struggles with custody of this child. Obviously the child allegedly shouldn't be with her. Allegedly, uh, obviously. Allegedly, obviously. Uh, the kid shouldn't be with her. Uh, the kid has been kind of fucked up by this, this woman's, uh, nonsense. Uh, she's like unmedicated, I'm pretty sure. And she's just like a kind of schizophrenic or something is, something's up with her. And yeah, I uh, don't know. I don't know about that. So I do not have a hairy ass. And uh, I'm just so happy to be alive. Doesn't matter what sleep went wrong, how bad you feel. What the hell's that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Is that a me so soup? <laughs> I probably ended up in the toilet. Oh, it's like a tassel from her boot. My flushed ornament. It's a royal flush. Well, yeah, she's like deliberately like sexualizing herself around what I assume is her kid. The video goes on like that. Here she's dancing naked in the rain. I don't know that I can. I mean, can I show this? Sometime. Uh huh. I mean, I would assume if it's on YouTube that it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Sometimes. You just have to feed your soul. Right. Remember what it's like to be a child. Feed your again. head. Sometimes you just have to do it. I'm meeting you halfway, you filthy hippies. Do it over and do it right. Do it again and again. I don't know if the kid is filming her here. It looks like she's holding the camera, but the kid probably... Yeah, the kid has probably seen... Saw a lot of his mom naked. Yeah, probably. Sometimes you just have to... And snake in the rain. <laughs> oh, barefoot and beautiful, just like nature. Mm. She's one of these nature mamas who's all like, who's all like, oh, it's okay if I'm naked around my child or all the time because nature. Set forth your intention. <gasps> the ultimate prevention. Yeah. When there's a suppression, there's a depression. You have to have plenty of expression. I'll see you dancing in the rain. You know, Mario might be super, but I'm super duper with a big tooper. Be whole, wet, and wonderful. Make it in your glory. Again. And again. <laughs> Ah, oh, careful there, careful there. So she's she's feeling herself, she's dancing. This video looks angry. If you can believe it, I should have this camera on, man. <laughs> I, I see guy. I see guy. He's right there with that wet spot. You see that? He's doing this is her son recording. Oh, this, sorry. Not like that. And I thought, what is that nervous twitch? I mean, maybe it's her. It looks like it, she might be holding it. Fuck, you see? His dink is out. Oh, here, our rate. It's out, everybody. I mean, I'm Canadian, but come on now. Okay, a little weeby. And this, we're at Marple Oak Ridge Community Center. And I go into the gym wearing my bikini. Now, you better believe it. I'll probably get in trouble for wearing my bikini. And I said, you know, there's a guy fucking jerking off. Sorry about it. Jerking off. Okay, well, I mean, that sounds like a real problem, but it also sounds like you... I don't know that I necessarily believe what you're talking about, but, uh, you know, that's fine. So she has other channels here. That's one of many. Uh, there's another one called Catherine Exposing Herself to You. But here we got one called Goddess Great. And this one, again, hasn't posted for uh, 12 years. But it's got more videos. There's one with the sun. There's a few with the sun, I think. This one's Kaylin's Creations, Happy Homeschooler, Raw Vegan Key Lime Pie, To Live For. Mm. 
food? Could the... This is what she makes for her son, like this weird vegan food that's like this soylent green slop slime thing. And the son looks like a school shooter. Like, there's just not much chance. There was there was some talk about the kid. Like, he, he had, like, a YouTube channel where he was very, very questionable and saying, like, he was about what you might assume would be the worst case scenario for somebody raised in this scenario. Uh, and, 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 uh, yeah, I don't know. This is not, this is not good. This mom, this, this mom probably shouldn't have had this, this kid. Let's be... Let's see that beautiful plate that's looking at me. Beautiful plate. Wow. That's a beautiful Hold plate. Up. Close to your beautiful chinny chin chin. Chinny chin chin. <laughs> so I mean I don't know, there's gonna be somebody in chat who's like, you need to You need to blur out the kid's face claw but like whatever, it's on a YouTube video. It she you know, shouldn't have uploaded it, I guess. But yeah, she uh you know, he's got the, the thing and you know, he, I think he starts talking here. Day in the kitchen. Coconut key lime pie. Mmm. What's the crust made of, doll? Doll. Doughy walnut and leaves. <laughs> so a dough made out of? Walnuts and leaves. And what did you do with the walnuts? God, I hate these people that just like coats, coach their children. Like, like you're you're trying to quote unquote have the child speak on the camera or whatever, but you're just like feeding him the fucking mad libs of what he needs to say to you. I'd love Beat them up too well. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really a dough. Let's have a close up picture of that. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, get even closer. And so That's tell good. me what's. Uh... God, it's like wasabi on top of uncooked cookie dough or something. In the filling that looks like a green frosting from Smurfville. Get away, get away, get away. Come on now. And she like zooms in on them for this whole video. Some people call themselves begins or begans because they don't eat honey, but we're raw vegan and we do love honey, don't we? So dates. Yes, mommy, I love everything you love, mommy. Um, and yeah, you know, Catherine makes magic in the kiss kitchen. Kaylin getting pussy cat out of a tree. Our hero. Um, burlesque comedy promo trailer. She used to be like a burlesque or something. Burlesque dancer. Kaylin cupcakes over here. More of that. I guess this is is this her end of it? Oh gosh, oh, yeah, I feel like I made these again. myself. <gasps> Wait, she didn't make them. These she aren't... made them. Mm. Like key lime. Mm. But it also says raw, so you just didn't cook any of it. So that's why it's just like a weird slop. It's like a weird. It's like a weird slop because it actually is like uncooked cookie dough. But like, oh god, why? Like, to, it's not like heat isn't a part of nature. You can fucking cook things. Jesus Christ. Oh gosh, I feel like I made these myself. <gasps> these aren't... Mm. Aren't for anyone but me. Mm. This is key lime pie. And their Kaylin calls them... Kaylin cupcakes. They're so yummy. <laughs> and it's uh, coconut butter, avocado. Victor says, please and stop what this. Else we Mine. just started, bro. We just, we got like four more channels to get through after this one. Lime. But we've only just Lime started on this channel. And then the bottoms are walnuts and honey. Honey. Walnuts, walnuts and dates. This kid is like frightened trying to remember the lines that she gave him. To say about what's in the thing. This I hate. I hate it. You hear that a lot in like, say what you say. What I told you to say, child, and like just God. You really God. blended it together, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Aren't you? Aren't you? Healing. You never get fat on these desserts. I just yeah, want to say you that would never eat enough of them to get fat. I'm having a. I'm having a yogurt bar. Today is my mom's birthday. And Kaylin made these for her. Happy 75th birthday, or what should have been in earthly loving years. Mummy, dearest. Oh, God. Thelma, Marion. Can't even talk. Thelma, Marion. Happy 
75th birthday. You like that in this weird situation where she's doting on her kid too much and naked around them all the time, she's literally using the term mommy dearest. Amazing. Walked along the railway ties. We plucked tomatoes and talked to little girls and roamed local parks. Got some of that sunshine. This fine September 7th day of 2010. Created an intentional community also. God, this is fucking insane, dude. I mean, this is fu this is like... This is like a scene out of a film. There are, there are so, there are, the number of horror movies that are less effective in trying to be scary than this is completely effortlessly at being scary and unnerving should not go unnoticed, should not go without question. That's, that's, that's huge. Online and uh, created it when you look up potential communities, you look up um, healing space and then let's say supernatural sanctuary. So I did a few good things in my day. That wasn't all. I love my son. And now, turning in the morning. <laughs> it's like on the eighth day of in the 70s, yeah. I watch a movie while ingesting <coughs> and digesting some of the best. That's supernatural. And he says, was it her son's birthday or something when she gave him a sexy dance as a present? There were videos on her performing the same thing to some greasy office creeps. That was her job. Yeah, she, whatever. Supposedly like a burlesque dancer. And I don't know. A lot of the time that's just like... I don't know. It's just words that you use to describe being like a stripper. Like, oh yeah, I'm an exotic dancer. Like, there's real burlesque dancers, but some people will just be like, yeah, that's I'm a burlesque-themed a burlesque -themed stripper. Or whatever, basically. It's like giving lap dances. I don't think that's exactly what a burlesque person does, is like that kind of thing, but... Uh, I mean, burlesque is like a different thing. It's like a whole art form. But then there's people who are just like strippers. You know, it's like the people, oh, I'm an exotic dancer. Like, well, no, you're just, you're just a stripper. But, you know, like, okay, it's fine. You could just, you could be a stripper. But, you know, it's not, it's like, it's like the, it's like the fucking custodial technicians who are just janitors at Walmart. Come on now. Come, come on now. You, you, you're, you're just a janitor. Let's not, let's not rise above our station here. Oh, awesome. Love child of mine, Kaylin has to offer. So I double dare you to call Kaylin up or email me at Rawsome, R-A-W, magical meal today. And uh, that's some of what I have to say. Mm hmm Why was she daring people to email her son? That's weird. Um, that's weird. Uh, yummy mommy k honey peaches rhubarb and honey more honey double honey all right mother nature's treasure is raw and real fresh grapes in vancouver i'm sure these are all scary happy home learner practices the art of self-expression wow this is beautiful i love this piece of art this is very different it's a departure we just bought this these new paints yesterday didn't we at the dollar store yeah. So tell me, sweetie pie, about this piece of art. You think I can see it better there? Not quite, doll. Um, the best way was over. It's better like that when it's got the Smash logo over it. Over there. The sun behind me, doll. Not behind you. Okay, now tell me, Kaylin Happy Home Learners. These scribbles are supposed to be sky. Okay. Sky, yes. And comforting. these. As somebody who was homeschooled, it's comforting to know that I'm at least, at least my, my upbringing was not this crazy. I mean, it was crazy for other reasons, but just like this lady, like, oh, my ha my little happy home learner. Like, oh God, oh God. This is every stereotype about, <coughs> about like mommy dearest mo moms who are a little too attached. The lines are supposed to be clouds. Beautiful. And then the green. Yeah, uh, f I mean, it's rude to be mean to a kid and everything, but this kid is like 12 or something. This looks like a five year old drew this. I mean, I don't want to be. It's not even about like, haha, you're bad at art. It's about like, this kid is probably fairly underdeveloped. I mean, I'm not much better when it comes to art, you know, but like, he seems to do this to some extent. 
And this is kind of reminding me of, like, Chris Chan. Like, wow, you draw a lot and you still are like this. You know? So, I, I don't know. That's not good. That's not a good sign. Trunks are tree trunks. And then this little red thing is a tree. I thought it might be a tree and that those were the trunks and the actual tree. I was just leaning against my favorite tree out front. I feel so supported. Unconditionally loved. So, what inspired... What? 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 You just start talking about a fucking tree okay i need to do that people in chat are really uncomfortable and yeah i mean the fact that the kid's face is visible i'm sorry it would be blurred if it if i if i clip this i'll probably try to blur out the kid or something i don't know i don't really i don't really care personally i mean it's just it's fine it's just a fucking youtube video but like some people don't like that and the whole thing the whole vibe in general is concerning uh, you know, yeah, it's, this has been a long time ago at this point. This is like 10, 12 years ago. I don't know where this kid is now. He's not a kid anymore. He's a grown up now. Uh, I don't know where he is now. I don't know, uh, if he, I don't know how many victims. I, I mean, uh, no, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. I just thought that's, that's the thing. <laughs> Did the picture come up in your magical mind? Magical mind. Well, you got it from somewhere, right? Let me see. It's beautiful. It's quite the big blob of beautiful red, isn't it? The closer you come, the less I can see it. It looks like blood. Thank you. Wow. And your art all over the walls. Yeah, I hope you're going to post this up somewhere. You could do a blog about it. I mean, like, yeah, it's rude to be mean to a kid, but man. Man, that's a shame. Um, so that's this channel. Let me take a look here. I'm probably just going to do another Our Old Friends stream, um, soon. Not Our Old Friends, uh, Cringe List. Because, again, we've got the full list, the old one, which isn't done. She's on the old one, this lady we're looking at now. She's on the old list. But, um, there's also new ones. Those are, like, smaller, but they've got some interesting people on them. Uh, made by some guy on DeviantArt, so we're gonna look at that a little bit um, as well. But I'm maybe gonna, gonna do that for just a full stream, because I have enough here just from this lady. We're like halfway through her channels now. What is this? Goddess Great. This is the second channel. Here's the third channel. This one's got very short videos. This is from 15 years ago. Um, so this is like the oldest one so far. They are, there's, there's three short, like 30 second ish videos. Pics of me, Kaylin in x-ray mode. Hi, it's me. Did you like me? <laughs> oh yeah, this is the kid, everybody. So, um, so you wonder how this kid has been affected by, uh, being, uh, uh, this uh, lady's uh, son it, it, it's it's this this is the result of that hi it's me did you like me <laughs> let's have a great time why don't we <laughs> you smell good oh you smell very good I smell you mm. yeah no I mean he's probably trying to seem creepy I guess. But it's also really easy to look at this and just be like, oh, this poor, poor child whose mom did this to him. Jesus Christ. Hi, I'm Brain Boy, and this is my mom. And she has very, very nice teeth, don't you think? I We're got, the Brain family. I got something stuck in my tooth. <laughs> Yeah, do you think? I mean, it's kind of cute. It's like a little bit wholesome, but you know that it's not really that wholesome, so it's kind of... Not great. It's not great. Don't bite my brain. <laughs> super adorable. Uh, Martian Mama over here. stuff well uh, uh uh that's cool i mean that's a that's a full channel right there boom three three of her channels done this is rossum chef and uh this one 
Again, no uploads in 13 years. Here goes the lighter, goddamn. No uploads in 13 years on this one. Uh, this is her cooking channel, it seems. And she's got, like, other people in here, too. Um, Rossum Chef, don't be a fool. Eat, do, eat your fuel. Uh, Kaylin makes a peace day cake for mommy 2003. Licking the red spatula with supernaturalwoman.com 2003. So this dates back quite a quite a ways. This is winter 09. Home, home sprouted sprouts for supernatural living. Winter 09. Green is the color of my heart chakra. Who is this other guy that shows up in these videos? M Mickey? Mikey? It's, it's, it's Mikey, I guess. Um, Vancouver Farmer's Market. Rossum Chef, hungry after a long day. There's a lot of lore surrounding this woman, too. And, like, she's, like, a famous person around Vancouver. She's been involved in a lot of court cases, I think. Uh, click on one of these ones with... Here, she serves up a sexy meal for this guy. Here we are, at home, with Rossum Chef. Camera and Michael because he's really first, but we'll put him in there third. <laughs> and are you hungry today? Because <laughs> you have. I don't. Um, you know, I don't want to be just rude. You know, because I don't know these people. Well, this guy's probably dead by now. But um. This dude is, uh, creepy. It's right out the gate. This is creepy. You know, they say, like, icky. So it's a little icky. I don't know. There's just something about him. He kind of looks like Joseph Fritzl. Not a fan. Because <laughs> you had what happened today that got you so hungry. You had a sauna. I had a sauna and I had a massage. Yeah. That leg, that swelling's gone down incredibly. Incredible. It's incredible. Thanks to Vaughn. Still needs icing again. Yeah. Well, maybe you'll get icing put, for dessert. <laughs> put, the, put the icing on, on the leg instead yeah. of on the cake. Made with pine nuts in the raw world. <laughs> you know what we have for you today? Looks because like you like down. You got this like fucking haunted trip hop in the background. Jeez. Very good for your liver. Yeah, lion. And you're going to be able to wrap it up. In this. And now this could look like a lot of things. <laughs> I meant this. Yeah, it could look like poo, it could look like shit, it could look like diarrhea, it could look like hummus a little bit, or it just looks like that other raw fucking slop thing that you served in the other video. <laughs> and this is beautiful hummus made with sesame oh, seeds soaked for eight hours and rinsed. Made with sprouted sunflower seeds. She does have some fucking banging tits, though. Goddamn. Spread it for two days. Rinse. I do like the uh, the sussy the the sussy sh face back here for like when when it's time for for uh, you know it's time when it's time to stop being sus and among us you, you you whip out this this face over here. That's cool. And then parsley, good for the gut, intestinal tract, probiotics. And we're going to dip the veggies in. Why don't you take the first dip, my dear? Did you forget something very important? Um, to say bless this food. No, no I, got a, I got a motor. Yeah, I already did that in another video, but it never turned out. So thanks for reminding me. There's garlic in there. There's onion. There's walla walla onion. There's celery in here. There's um, we often cilantro, but today I put in parsley. And a lot of goodies in there. God, who are these fucking whack jobs who are using parsley as if it has any fucking flavor or substance or presence? Just use a real herb, you freaks. It's not a real... It's that There's nothing. It's not par... There's nothing to parsley. There's no use for it. You don't even need it. Fucking... Fucking K with her parsley. Like adding parsley to something. I had to try to buy parsley. I'm like, I'm not wasting money on this thing that adds nothing to anything. Fuck that, dude. We're just gonna have to do a random video and then I bring up exactly what went in there. <laughs> and uh, that will be another part. So why don't you dip one of these veggies in here? I think cauliflower tastes great. And olive oil's in here and some heirloom tomatoes are in this hummus. Hummus. So why is this a sexy meal? Catherine serves up a sexy meal of living foods, sesame and sunflower seed hummus, whipped up in less than five minutes. 
Book your awesome, your awesome retreat. Uh huh. Why is it sexy? Cause it's natural. Isn't everything you fucking do natural or something? Yummy. Anticipation. Now taste this, baby. And there's lemon oil in here too, and sea salt from Tibet, Himalayan crystals. Mmm. Mm. Yep. Good. Now, you don't even miss garbanzo beans, do you? No. Sunflower seeds takes the place of garbanzo beans. I hate these fucking people. These fucking... Everybody who is like a fucking vegetarian or a vegan, they do this thing where they're like, Oh, you don't even need that, bro. Just eat this. It takes the place. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. If your fucking shit-ass, terrible fucking ve vegan food can't stand up on its own merits and you have to be like, oh, it tastes just like a cheeseburger, dude. No, it fucking doesn't. You should fucking shoot your... And then you have that beautiful sesame seeds, white, all organic. Yeah, it's all beans. What's wrong with like garbanzo yeah. beans? And you can wrap it up and then you can put avocado slices in too. Avocado tastes good with anything. And good old green onions to put in there as well. You can dip your radishes, your heirloom tomato. So uh, when the camera says goodbye, we'll just go wild, and then Kaylin will clean up the walls. Okay, have an <laughs> awesome evening, and I mean, I happy homeless to you. beans are making you, like, fart or something? Oh god, what am I opening? I think I just clicked on something. What's opening? Oh, it's Game Capture HD. The HD, that's cool. I don't know why she has to substitute out beans. Like, that's when you get really fucking in the weeds with these people. It's not even like, oh, you don't need meat, bro. Eat these beans. It's now, it's like, you don't need beans. Eat sunflower seed. Like, where does it end? Where does it end? You people just want me to consume sunlight and die, don't you? You're all breatharians, you freaks. Um, so, yeah, this is like our cooking channel. Uh, Mickey loves it. The next best, the next breast thing to mother's milk with Mikey. He's back. And Kaylin, I'm sure, is on wow. the camera. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there's some shit floating in here. Is this her breast milk? What is this? Why is it like slightly? Oh no, why? Uh oh. So there's something floating in this glass. This is like slightly. Like, m milky, cloudy water? Is this from her? Oh, God. What is this? Well, here we go. Nuts on the floor and parts of dinner on the table. And, <laughs> <It's spoken. laughs> and Michael, friend and client. Little bits of of uh, little baby little. coconut flesh in there. Coconut? Well, here's oh, to the next best thing water? to mother's milk. And uh, what? What? It's let's wrap our lips around it, swallow. Yeah. And then we're going to ask Michael how he feels after his uh, one more day of loving himself. Have a sip. Cheers. Here's to being the blessed and the blessed. What does it have to do with breast mm. milk? What a thing to join to. Life want. is beautiful. Guess he had enough mother's milk years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kid is like, oh! This is yummy. Too bad you had to share it with me. Mommy, can I breastfeed? Not until later, sweetie. I'll give you your own coconut tomorrow because we're doing smoothies tomorrow. You are what you drink. A real smoothie. What was the smoothies with that mock and everything? What? What is that? Rosemary or something? Yeah, that's my lavender growing over there. Oh, wow. yeah, it needs more sun though. So, we softened you up with an hour and a half massage this evening. And how did it feel? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What are we, Tommy Tallarico Studios over here? You're going to do, we softened you up? We we did, did we? You you and your son, is that, does that? With an hour and a half, my son, no. So, we softened you up with we. an hour and a half massage this evening. We. And how do you mm -hmm. feel? <laughs> how, do they, how do I feel? Yeah. You feel damn good. Like, like. <laughs> Yeah. And worked over. Worked over, but I was gentle. Oh yeah, nicely, yeah. nicely worked over. Yeah. And now tomorrow you're going to see Vaughn at the spa underneath Fitness World over here in North Van. The cloudy yeah, sun is North Van. Good. She's going to get you. She got me, I told you the other day, she just stuck a knife under there and oh, just I know. transplanted part of me. You got me a little bit worried about What? That. She is firm. What came up for me was that she is fearless emotionally. 
She said, it's okay. I'm crazy. And so, like, this is happening, and this kid is, like, filming it while she's talking about mother's milk and about how we massaged him earlier and all of this. And while all of this is happening, there's, like, the fucking, like, oh, the fucking, like, velvet room music is playing in the background. Like, in both of this video and the last one, it's like this, oh, fucking choir spooky shit, which is really adding to, like, the eyes wide shuttedness of this. That's just a little, it's a little bit creepy. I don't know. Somehow. Yep. So she's protected. She's gonna go in there and haul your I don't think that's the dad. <laughs> and you got the left shoulder, right? Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's, it's the all right. left side. All left side. Anything, and your and foot anything too. that happens to either of my feet. Let's have a look at this leg. And did you get the back of this leg? Not just the little tattoo. It's a pretty leg. It's quite a story, isn't it, Michael? It is so. Yeah. What happened to him? It uh, was part of me that like, got nailed by a car. Yeah. I bet you the car doesn't look kind of quite as nice. <laughs> well, I don't need I don't give a shit. Nobody could pay you enough money for that, could they? Well, it's not just that. It's yeah. And now we're doing healing work. So what has caused you to do a... So like she's pretending that this is like some kind of professional shit while her weirdo fucking Riddler looking son is, is filming. Um, not a bully stream. But uh, yeah, yeah. So this is another one of her channels. This is like more focused on her cooking and healing side of things. Less on the family. Um, let's see here. We now have uh, King Kalen's Life, uh, which appears to be the, the, the Sun's channel. Uh, so if you want more epic adventures of the Sun, um, these get a little bit interesting. Yeah, these have some these have some views on them. I'm just gonna play these three here first, then we'll decide what to do after that. Uh, Oh god, oh god. Um, so this is, uh, me getting eaten by the bad bed. And there's th another three, like, short videos here from the sun. Oh, okay, play the video. The bed's eating me! Shh, Kaelin, the landlady might come by. My god! You're hilarious! Okay, we're gonna just not show this. That's not necessary. Um, is this the mom filming her son having, like, a nightmare? And she's, like, blaming him because the landlady might- Why is this on the internet? Oh, yes. <laughs> she's calling him hilarious while he's struggling and stuff. He's, like, flailing, trying to get out of this bed. God! You're hilarious! You're hilarious! <laughs> So he appears to have trapped himself. What, what the fuck? Okay, I am going to show this a little. This kid is like wedged between the mat, like two mattresses. You see this? There's like a mattress above him. He's like trapped on between two mattresses. Are they torturing this kid? I'm not going to show that for too long, but like, what the fuck? Why is this kid trapped under mattresses? And he's, like, screaming. I mean, she must have put him in that situation, right? Uh, ah, no! I'm getting eaten! Ah, my, my leg! Yeah, he's, like, distressed. This isn't a joke. The, the description, this is from 2007. The description just says, It's time for bedtime! Triple exclamation mark. And... I mean, the, the video's only 44 seconds long. We're halfway through it. I'm going to keep playing it. Kaylin, Kaylin, I love you. It's very funny, but I'm not kidding. The landlady might come by or somebody. I You're love you. It's very funny. I mean, but why did you stuff him between two mattresses? This doesn't seem like something a kid could have just accomplished on his own. It seems as though he was, like, sleeping and maybe as punishment or something, you put a mattress on top of him or something? I'm not sure how, because that's what it looks like. It looks like he is middle between two mattresses. And he's, like, struggling really bad t to get out. And she's, like, telling him, oh, that's very funny, sweetie. Like, he's being funny. He's clearly not being funny. 
What? Why would she even film this? You're hilarious. Help me. Do you need some help? help? Do you need some help? Help. Do you? Help. My arm, my leg, my leg. Uh. Okay, let me give you a helping my hand. My legs. All right. Okay, well, he might be playing around a bit, but he is, like, trapped under a fucking mattress or something. I don't know. Um, next... Next meme. This is Tales of Tweety. This has 17,000 views here. And, uh, this is a minute and 26 seconds. astonishing that some people like you guys remember the dude who made the pizza with like the blended up beef and like he put on the whole cloves of garlic it was like the british guy his whole channel every video we clicked on seemed like it was perfectly like meticulously designed to be insane like the editing just the the, the shots everything about it looked perfect like, looked like it was going out of its way. This is that same feeling of, like, somehow effortless, effortlessly, everything that that her, that her and her son makes is, like, terrifying and strange. And, and, and it's, again, I mean, I'm, I was kind of joking, but kind of not really, like, the amount of horror movies that try to be scary and fail... Compared to this, just trying to be, like, wholesome and, and, and innocent or whatever it's trying to do. And being fucking terrifying. Like, it's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the one that's super fucking symbolic. I remember seeing this video. This is... This is the one where the little kid who's being overly mothered by his crazy mom is playing with a little bird who's desperately trying to fly away from the nest but can't manage to somehow. Yeah, he the heavy symbolism video. I remember this one. <laughs> This is so depressing. <laughs> Most of this is just this thing crying. Help me, help! I wanna fly! I wanna fly. <laughs> no matter how much you wanna fly, Kaylin, your mom won't let you. It's a shame. It is a shame. I mean, I don't know if I'm reading too much into it, but that seems pretty... It's a shame. Uh, this is part two. Hi, it's me again. How are you? Uh, once again. I've been trying to fly, but I can't. I can only get five inches. Darn. Let me fly, God! I mean, you thought I was joking. Like, it's this kid. Let me fly, God. Please let me fly. And he just can't. He just can't leave the nest. He's desperately trapped. <sighs> it's This is terrifying. It's very unfortunate. And we go. <coughs> we go no, 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 we don't need any of that. We don't need any of that. We go back to the channel, though. Kaylin eating edible flowers. This is a minute and 13 seconds. 25,000 views. Most views on the channel. The other popular one was Tales of Tweety, the first one. They're all pretty popular here. This is a big channel for this, uh, as far as uh, Goddess Catherine goes, because, yeah, this is where you can see kind of the effect that her parenting has had on this kid to some extent, and it's pretty it's pretty shocking. Uh, what's this video like? They look really cute. <laughs> How do they taste? Do they taste as good as? They taste great. The love they I have for you. Great. They just do. They taste as. Great. Do they taste as good as? The love I have for there you. There's a part two to the bed. Hmm. You know what makes my Mother's Day as wondrous as it is? 
what is it? Can you eat the leaves? The fact that I'm a mother. Do you know why I'm a mother? Because, um... Other than the birds and the bees story. Because you're my sun doll. Look at me. I love you. I love with all you. my hungry heart. Man, that's a shame. Overflowing heart, sumptuous heart, my best sumptuous part. Sumptuous heart. That's what you are. And we're gonna have Happy Sun's Day one day, <laughs> right? It's only fair, isn't it? Don't eat all the flowers. <laughs> so this kid who can't eat real food because his mom's a weirdo, kooky vegan has to eat flowers. Man. <laughs> Just... <gasps> Kaylin, I love you. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> no, I love you three. Remember we used to play that game? <laughs> I love you forevermore. Okay, sweet. Oh, God. Okay, okay. There's another bed. Bad, bad part two. Look at this the bed is moving. <laughs> There's a squeak. Did I watch you? Okay, maybe it wasn't child abuse. Maybe this is just a weird game that he plays then. Maybe we're, we're overreacting, but it is still strange. <laughs> Me! Ah! It's the bed. It's hungry again. Yeah! What's happening underneath here? Yeah! What's happening underneath Come this bed? Give me That's it. Oh my Give god. Me! Oh my god. Come out. Come out. Ah! Ah! Help. Help me. Okay, see. So okay, all right. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Bitten by a wasp. Tales of Tweety 3. This one's 4 minutes and 11 seconds. What happens here? How is this going so long? After 100 years of trying to get out, I have to get it out of This whole thing is just this thing trying to fly and he can't fly? Okay. Um, melting man, what is this? Hi. So tell me today what you did in your, what was your class today? It yeah. was Future Tech Workshop. Yahoo! Now read to me a little something that you've got for me. Go ahead. One cold winter morning, Jane was walking down a narrow country lane. Wait. Wait, wait, he wrote this? Last today? It yeah. was Future Tech Workshop. Yahoo! Now read to me a little something that you got for me. Go ahead. Got for me, so he wrote this? A cold, chilling story, dot, dot, dot. Only a person whom is deeply loved would ever hold such trust. This boy, oh, this is from seven years ago. From Rossum Chef. This is from her. This is the mom trying to convince people, I guess, from seven years ago. Which is like, what, five years after she stopped posting anywhere? She hasn't posted any videos since at least like 12 years ago, according to what I'm seeing. But seven years ago she posted, Only a person whom is deeply, lo whom is deeply loved would ever hold such trust. This boy is safe and feels comfortable to be himself. Courage does not come easy to most, only a rare few. Kaylin is such as that which pure gold is made of. I deeply love and fully appreciate the beautiful boy you once were and the young amazing man you are now becoming. You are such a fine example for others to wisely follow. And the one reply says, whoa, you still existed a year ago. Yeah. Um, but I guess this is, this is like a poem he wrote for her, maybe? One cold winter morning, Jane was walking down a narrow country lane on either side of the lane. There were four horse houses. Horses. <laughs> Jane noticed that each house had a different colored front door and different colored cars parked in the driveways. Outside one of the houses, she noticed a man standing in the garden. She was very well, he was very well dressed. Okay, so like I don't know if he wrote this, but I mean that's fine. It's it's fine. It's we don't need to make fun of all of this kid's art. Uh, one final channel from this lady, and uh, we move on. Maybe do one last one last spin of the wheel, I think. But one final channel here is 404 Catherine, and I think there's just one video here. Um, what is this? Kaylin exclaims, words cannot express my disgust after his ex-friends abuse his mom. Is it on? Mm -hmm. I love you. And now that you saw that video. They're like cuddling in bed in the afterglow chat. This is horrific. Sad. Help. 
Kiln's giving me a big hug here. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, look where I love it. The hand I love is you. Placed. Oh, God. Now, you will just watch the video, and what did you see in the video just now? The video I took Jerry, from the bed. Jerry, Michael, Sorry, and Perry. Kaylin, Kaylin, let me finish talking. Go ahead. You were asking him a question, and he was responding. I saw a Jerry, Jerry, Michael. Wait, but so he was finished talking then? Wait, what the fuck, bitch? He started talking, and then you're like, let me finish! And then you finished saying that, and then just that was it, that was it, you were finished, and now he can talk? Wow, what a cunt. Well, Perry. Bad Jerry, good Jerry, as their names are, right? Michael and Perry. Michael and Perry. Okay, then what did Is you... Is this a Kaylin? fucking nursery rhyme? He's talking about his former, his ex-friends. Bad Jerry, good Jerry, Michael and Perry. Was it Huey, Dewey, and Louie? Were they there? Focus. What did you hear them say? On this video that I captured from my bedroom this afternoon. Um, Why is this woman so angry right now? It looks like she's fucking... She's like very on edge, seemingly. 5th of March. The Be Ides of March. Pick up. We're calling you. Bitch, pick up. We're calling you. And then effing and a bunch of other stuff. And guess what? Guess where we're going to air that? Since we got our other computer back. Uh, YouTube. If you Oh, this fucking kid looks like was joking about how he looks like the Riddler, but man, no, man. They're like, what are they doing? They're getting it revenge or something? Sadism disguised as compassion. Fantastic role model. I cannot believe how exhausted this single mama was, and still is. This is from her. At the same torrid time, they only felt right to share our truth. No matter what the many maddening, maddening trolls who have nothing better to do, say, or hope to project. Let the judges get up and wear the truth as we do. I love you, Caitlin, for exposing the truth and telling it like it is. So sorry that I am the one we have been put throughout this wretched ordeal online that hurt us both so very much. To one brave soul. This is pretty much covert incest, says this guy. She's basically wanting her son to get upset over things that a spouse should get upset over and when her doesn't her son doesn't she feels extremely betrayed she wants her son to take care of her emotionally like a husband but at the same time she's very controlling and doesn't let him do a lot of adult actions uh i feel bad when this kid grows up and wants a girlfriend yeah i mean shit dude shit dude don't want us to air Stuff about yourself being hostile and defamatory and slanderous, don't give it to me, okay? So she's like, I guess friends of his are like bullying her, and now she's like shitting on them and doing a call out video or something. What a gift. Do you know how my heart was racing after I videotaped that? I was so excited. I, I mean, I was scared, but. <laughs> so excited. What the hell? I just cracked. That wasn't a crack, that was something else. Jesus, God. <laughs> puberty, no. Oh, <laughs> uh, puberty. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, boy, get this kid away. <laughs> you pierced. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Your face is red. She get a sundown in March? The three below weather. <laughs> no, I just, okay, Kim. Just... <laughs> okay, now... What would you suggest the next step is after having called 911, get Officer Kevin here, and then him taking off his shoes and sitting on the bed? What? what? You're um, very impressive. Yeah. After your friends do that to your mom, and that's what you have to do. Sleep deprived child. What does that mean? Your friends do what? She, like, I think maybe her friends, his friends sent, like, the cops to her house? Like they sent a fucking wellness check or something, maybe, and that's what, because she's talking about the cops coming over and sitting on the bed. Anyway, you know what? A lot of moms would be elsewhere after the crap that I just went through, and, um... You're lucky, Kaylin. A lot of moms would give you up. You should be thankful that I'm like this. I tell you, everybody, don't expect your child to look after you. Children, don't expect your mother to take care of you. Kaylin, yesterday at Choices... Uh, be whatever, he's just be himself, a kid in puberty. And I said, So CPS actually came. Yeah, this is people trying to get this fucking kid help or get this woman in trouble for obvious reasons. 
Uh, but but uh, not not really working. Not really working. I'm no longer your mother, only a name alone. Actually, I said I am well, to take care of you. Kaelin yesterday at Choices, uh, be whatever. He's just be himself, a kid in puberty. And I said, I'm no longer your mother, only a name alone. Actually, I said, I am, I am your mother, but it's not my name. It's my condition. And that's actually probably another video, isn't it? So anyway, Kaylin, do you have anything to say after all this? You saw those uh, hoodlums, your friends, in puberty. Hoodlums. What ages are they all? In puberty. She keeps mentioning puberty. She keeps mentioning it. This is like the fourth time in this video that she said the word puberty. For one reason or another. Your hoodlum friends in puberty. What ages are they? She's really interested in that. Express my feelings of disgust for them. Two Jerry's, a Perry, and what's his name? Michael. Yeah, in Marple. Good Jerry, bad Jerry, Michael, and Perry. That's, that's They're like the Pac-Man ghosts. Jerry, Jerry, and Perry. Yep. Jerry, what Jerry, and Perry. Them? Is she? Is he making this up? What the fuck is this? You just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're double, you're double Jerry's and Michael and Perry. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like it's like the Simpsons Sherry and Barry twins. What age is? Thirteen. You're you're fourteen, almost fifteen. So are they younger than you? They're very stupid, aren't they? You need some sleep, Kalen, because you're doing some weird shit. Or is this how you feel and comfortable when you're so-called friends? Well, your friends have been calling me on and off now for a matter of months on and off, and weeks and then days. Sometimes they call me many times in a row. Today they called me four times in a row. So, okay. So maybe this kid, I mean, he's like homeschooled, so she won't let him go to school and make friends. So she's probably upset partially that he has any friends at all and isn't spending any time with anybody that isn't her. But, I mean, assumedly, it's either his friends are trolling him and are trolling her... her and like sending pizzas to their house or whatever. Or it's they're legitimately concerned for this kid that they know whose mom is clearly insane. And they're like trying to get the cops over there. Because she mentioned the police. Somebody in chat might have known. And they, they mentioned CPS. So like maybe, I mean, I think it's Canadian CPS, whatever that is. But yeah. Three were on my voicemail. Do you know that you can lay charges on someone? You do a star, what is star 69 to find out who's calling in Canada. Star 67 to record it, and then you call the, the police. kids probably found her YouTube. Yeah, like, it, it does seem like she's, it, it's, it's, the, it's the isolating behavior of, like, a cult. Like, oh, they don't know what's best for you. You have to cut your family out of your life because we know the way, and they're just trying to hurt you. I had no plans of calling the police until I looked out the window. I heard of, I heard some noise. I thought... Okay, they want Kalen. Oh my god, they're underneath my bedroom. They're over underneath the underneath living room and underneath the kitchen. What? Oh my god, I gotta do this. There's like cops swarming into her house like fucking, like, like, like head crabs from Half-Life. Just through all the vents and everything. Video. I was like so afraid I was, wouldn't get it. I was screw up or whatever. Then the police officer is looking at the video, watching all my sexy dancing videos that went up on YouTube. He said, I've never been on YouTube. Do you believe that? so weird so you showed this cop all your sexy dance videos that your son filmed of you is that what you did did you mention that it was your son filming you in those videos did, did the cop know about that why do you still have child access 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 to your child why do you have access to your child i don't understand and, he, and i said this is my facebook account and i thought is he trying to find out my password because <laughs> he's watching everything right and I didn't know how to run this silly computer. I said, I've got enough it's in my computer. brain. <laughs> it is a computer. It's a video. You know what, Kalen? I mean, the eyes are screaming for help for this kid. But there is also this, like, misguided love. You can tell, like, this is like somebody's, like, we're all thinking it. This is like somebody laying in bed with their partner. Like, he's all cuddled up to her and, and like, I, I don't know. This is This is very... This is very bad. This you know, is like bad Jerry. It's very bad. What most traumatic stress disorder is when people are abused. After what happened by those little abusive mongrels outside, 
I'd have every reason to she be on. PTSD because his friends were trolling her or something. She has PTSD. That's what happens when people are abusive to you. Yeah, I'm sure he won't know anything about that. On tranquil tranquilizers. I can't even talk. So you can make fun of me if you like. I'm not making fun of you. When boys th go through pu puberty, most Puberty's of them never budget. survive. I hope you turn into a real man, Kalen. Most of them never survive. This is so fucking creepy, dude. God. God. God, this is one of the worst things I've ever looked at on this channel. I'm not really impressed right now. So I just, all you can do in this life is look after yourself. Please this clarify if the kid was taken away. I don't fucking know, dog. I mean, I know all these videos were uploaded like a, over a decade ago. Um, I don't know if the kid was taken away. I don't know what's fucking happening in this situation, you know? It's, uh, I, I think the kid eventually was. I'm pretty sure she's... She's been, like, involved in various courtroom shenanigans as a result of this. And as a result of her many things that she would do. She's been, like, homeless for years, I think. And she still does her, like, raw food vegan shit, I think. But I, I'm not sure what presence she still maintains. I think she is still out there. But I do think the kid got away from her. At this point, this was 11 years. This was, this was 2011. So this was a while back, and, and this kid has grown up now. This kid has probably, like, moved on. His life is, he's out there somewhere. Uh, he's probably close to my age or something. Uh, he, he, could be, he could be watching videos like this. We don't know. We don't know. Getting more and more insane. Survival of the fittest. We're talking mentally fit. Emotionally fit. And you're going to have maybe a little emotional fit here and there. But these kids are messed up. And um, I'm going to go see their parents. We're going to get... According to Encyclopedia Dramatica, Kaylin was taken away and she was found homeless in like 2014. She has several blogs, some of which have posts up to 2015. Yeah, I mean, that's what I heard was she did wind up going, you know, getting ho uh, winding up homeless. Um, yeah, multiple issues with the police, legal issues, stuff like that. Um, always everyone else's fault. Uh... Let me see. What is this? Um, mentally fit, according to you. Yeah. Do you understand that? We're going to go see their parents, and the police are going to go see their parents already. They've told me that, and I've suggested it. So we've only just begun. I've written up part of my statement, but not all. And the police officer wants their names and where they live from you, because he wants to be able to talk to them about who they are, where they live, and what their part in it is. And after that, he dispatched four squad cars. We're in the area. And we live in the nice part of Vancouver. <laughs> so, Annie, what do you have to say after all this, Kaylin? Uh, Anything? Yeah, never to trust your friends with your phone address. <laughs> or your phone. You're a real comedian. Yeah. Sorry, Kaylin, you didn't get the right answer. That wasn't the right lesson to learn. You're wrong. Beep! Buzz! You're wrong. You were supposed to say that mommy is the only friend that you need and that you should never have friends. That's the right answer, Kaylin. I guess it will go over well that, in Family Guy. That to choose your, ones, your friends wisely. Choose your friends wisely, yeah. And what are you going to do about this? Since those are your Political friends. Political friends that aren't... She's Don't. manipulating her kid into feeling bad because she's claiming how bad she feels. She's got PTSD and all of this. Because he dared to have friends. Choose your friends wisely, right? So anybody who isn't you, basically, is not wise, I'm assuming. Right? Don't ever do anything to appease me. Just do what you feel this is right. Is your and what you're fault. courageous enough to do. That is it. You let them go before, didn't you? Why'd you let them go before? Well, last year? Because they were swearing. There was something else they were doing. And talking about the F porn. Yeah. The what? So they're a little obsessed with porn, because they're online. The F porn? And talking about the F porn. The F porn. They were talking about the F porn, everybody. That's bad. They're obsessed with porn. So this woman who gyrates her fat titties all over the fucking place is talking about how... Oh, these boys, these, these teenage boys are obsessed with porn. That's very unusual and strange. Yeah, that's the worst, most strange part about this, is that teenage boys are interested in porn. Yeah, no, I've never heard of that. Yeah.
So they're a little obsessed with porn because they're online all the time. They all have computers. They all have cellulars. Cellulars. Why are you doing that? Kill needs some sleep. He's having some puberty moments. Because I have sprouts in my teeth. Puberty moments? My teeth, I'm sorry. Sprouts in my teeth. Why does she keep mentioning... Wow, I really don't like this at all. I'm a 51-year-old young woman, and I only own my power. Do you know what Oprah Winfrey's new network is called? What is it? Own. I found this out online. Own. Oprah Winfrey Network. Wow, dude. Half-Life 3 confirmed. She owns half the world. <laughs> and now she's got her another new network. And guess what own is? It's in Canada. So we must own our power. That's all we can do. Hard to hit a moving par target. Target. I can't this even talk. This is the now. worst thing I've covered in the years you've watched me, huh? Well, uh, you're probably... I mean, this is pretty bad. Yeah, there's a certain vibe it's like even if you're wa if you're reading like the sangi posts at least those are just or like the snake thing logs or anything at least those are just logs you know there's you don't have to look in their eyes while this is happening this is uh yeah alarming concerning a little bit and this stuff but i need some sleep anyway i'm very proud of myself that i called the police i'm, I'm very proud, proud. You. and you know what i'm a fantastic role model and all you can do in this life is be a role model i've been a model I played roles, but my greatest role yet is that of role model. She's clearly still upset at this kid. That's the thing, too, is, like, she blames him for whatever happened with his friends. And so she's, like, he's snuggling close to her, and there was that time when she was like, What are you doing? You're going through a puberty moment. Like, like she's upset with him. And he's, like, too young to understand this and have any concept of fucking... Like the signals she's sending or whatever, which shouldn't even happen, but... I love you. I love you. Everyone. I love you, boy. I'm a fantastic you grew up to be real man, model. and that's not the behavior that does it. Bless you. Bless the children that empower themselves, and if their parents aren't doing it for them, then sometimes you just have to be your own. Bitch, shut up. Okay, so that's the only video on this channel. There's no playlists or anything. There is this. Is this them doing Let's Plays, Robot Alchemic Drive? What? They are they are subscribed to this one Let's Play channel with 83 subscribers who haven't played anything in eight years. But what the hell? They played Smash Brothers. This isn't, Ash. This isn't Kaylin, is it? Two, I'm gonna fall out. One, you know you two, don't really need to. Oh. You don't really need to do any snake impersonations. He's in this game. This is the most horrifying thing we've seen, Chad. Is that is that uh, this guy is the the kid or the mom? One of the t two of them or both. Big fan of whoever this guy is and his content. So that's cool. Good good YouTuber there. Um uh uh yeah that's that'll that'll do it. Um I think that we can scratch life of a great mommy off of the list uh where is the the list here there you go um uh, i think that'll do it for the stream i gotta like eat and stuff go out and then i gotta i got a podcast in a little bit so yeah i'll have to i'll have to do that let me uh read a couple of super chats here um Let's see, five bucks from C Griff Twelve. I was friends with Gagey Boy on DA. He draws women drowning for pleasure. He's thirteen, I think. He also dated a twenty-year-old by lying about his age. Well, why were you friends with this thirteen-year-old on DeviantArt, sir? Two bucks from a lady class grimace. Are you craving my McNuggies, Claw? I mean, I, 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 I always am, dude. I, I, I've always been grimace sexual. That's me. Two bucks uh, from Ataru. Look up Banjo. Uh, you know, probably next time. Next time. Uh, two bucks from a lady class. Look up Gamera 1985. We did, and yeah, that's one of those ones where the art was a little too good for what I was seeing. It's like, man, it's a shame that you've got these fucking strange-ass fetish fetishes. Because your art is fine. Um, uh, five bucks from a lady class. Does fat man being dead prevent you from looking at him? Not prevent necessarily, but you know, there's a reason why he's crossed out in like purple or whatever because he's you know, no longer with us. There's a little, little extra 
Oh, a special special cross out. Uh, Thirty bucks from Milk Steak. Thank you very much. Um, two bucks from Milady Class. You know, let me open up the thing here. Actually, there's a better way to do this with the fan funding thing. Oh, apparently he lied about his age. That's the the thirteen year old person. Yeah, that'll happen. That'll happen. Uh, on on Deviant Art, I'm sure. You know, I mean, I remember how I was. You know. Oh yeah, I'm I was born in 1900. That's me. Um. Let me see. There is uh, two bucks from Milady Class. Is her life of great mommy's kid okay these days? We I don't know that we know necessarily. It would be great to find to find that out in some way to to have some kind of a deep dive ex exploration analysis done into the life of a great mommy rabbit hole, the whole thing from beginning to end because she has videos dating back to ten, twenty years ago, two thousand three. She has videos. And then 2007 was like the the one with him in the bed. Um, I think that was I think it said 2007. I think it was that one. But one of them was 2007. So there's yeah this this was this is a long time ago, and that kid has grown up by now. And the question of what he will be like when he is older is uh, I think well and truly put to bed. You know, um, uh, two bucks from Autistic Wolf. All her vids are like a found footage horror film. Yeah, yeah, again, effortless, effortlessly creepy. All of the work that it, people put in to make a movie look scary and be creepy, and then just the effortless scare factor of a uh, Life of a Great Mommy video. Uh, two bucks from Milady Class. Fun fact, Illuminati was once a stripper. Oh, well, I know about the shit porn. I didn't know about that. Uh, five bucks from Milady Class. This is random. Would you ever look at weird or messed up news stories? Or historical moments. Well, maybe news stuff. Um, you know, I did look at uh, uh, Weekly World News at one point, and uh, you know, Bane and I did journo trash that one time, uh, where we were looking at like bad BuzzFeed articles and stuff like that. Um, um, a soapy with a one-month membership. Ladies and gentlemen, please sign up for a, a Deadwing Dork channel membership today if you want more scummy emotes in the chat. We gotta make more soon. On a soon stream, one of the next few streams I do, we're gonna do scummy emotes. Add some more. We got like th four, five, six, something like that right now. If you join the channel, I think it's five bucks a month, you get some scummy emotes. It's it's probably worth it, you know. It's it's more it's it's definitely worth it, you know. How else are you going to be smuggo in my chat, frankly? How else are you going to post What other chat room are you going to post a Tony Kornheiser it's time? You know? Like that's 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 here. That's that's well, I was going to say that's free. It's not. It's not. You you pay money for it. But that's, that's you go away at least you 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 come you come to the stream, you at least go away seeing other members at least. Who have the Tony Kornheiser "It's Time" emote, and 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 the Yes Man and all of that, and then that's that's free. You can see those emotes, and that's great. That's a great feeling to see to see those those cool people who have those awesome emotes. Uh, but but one month, a member for one month, Soapy uh, says, "Lady is stacked like a bo a bookshelf." Yes, uh, it's funny. I don't know if people know there was a sitcom that Pamela Anderson was on that was called Stacked. And the entire joke of the sitcom was that she was she had big tits and she worked at a bookstore, and so t stacked. Um, and uh, that's the only thing, that's the only thing um, that I, I remember from that show was that she had big tits and it was a bookstore. Uh, but you're right, she is she definitely is five bucks from a lady class. What causes people like Life of a Great Mommy to become like that? Uh, you know, she's indicated that she has some issues with her own mommy dearest so i'm assuming it's a cycle of abuse type thing probably uh five bucks from kate what the fresh sam hill did i walk into what in the goddamn yeah uh welcome to the stream you know that's uh that's the vibe a little bit uh you you come in here and it's 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 chaos it's anarchy it's 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 fe it's fear and loathing frankly it's wrath and it's 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 treachery uh, five bucks from Milady Class. Who is worse, Life of a Great Mommy or Miranda Sings, Colleen Ballinger? Well, I mean, I don't think I don't think they're really comparable, like just because they're women who are kind of creepy. Uh, I don't know. It's like who is worse? Probably the probably the mom lady, uh, I guess. I don't know. Five bucks from Kate. This lady has the same speaking patterns as QAnon supporters. Well, it's one of those people who's like speaking in fragment fragmentary passages of thought. Just like, 
oh, we're gonna big, build a big, beautiful wall. A big, beautiful wall. Just, like, thinking in daydreams. And speaking your speaking out aloud your daydreams of what you're gonna oh me and my son our great beautiful love oh like it's it's, it's she's she's like half conscious even um that'll do it for the stream thank you very much uh, thank you for stopping by I hope you had fun oh uh, five bucks from Seagriff twelve to clarify we were friends because he was part of a Splatoon group I was in I then found his DA and promptly ghosted him you know that's fine. Um, uh, I can, I can look into, uh, that person, Gagey Boy, I suppose. I mean, if it is a kid, I don't know if I want to necessarily make fun of the guy, but, uh, you know, uh, it is, it is funny. Uh, we'll probably do another, it's, it's been a little bit since we've done a, uh, like a full, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's been that long. It was like a few weeks ago or something, we did like a art theme stream, but those are always fun. I'm enjoying doing those lately. Those are just a, those are like an easy shut your brain off and just look at some trash kind of stream. Just an easy, like, let's, let's just, you know, and, and it's, it always delivers. There's always something. It's, 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 it's wonderful. DeviantArt is, DeviantArt is wonderful. So we might do more of that soon. Maybe look at that then. Um, but for now, that'll do it. Thank you everybody for stopping by. I got to eat more cheese. Or maybe some other food too. I don't know, um, but thank you uh, for for watching, and I hope you had a I hope you had a fun stream, everybody. Take it easy and uh, penis. Oh!